Okay. There we are. There we are, okay? Here, and then probably just like enlarge it. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, it's not perfect, but I'll take it. I think we haven't done part 51 yet. Okay, okay. Let's, let's, let's do this. <laughs> let's do this. All right, I'm going to fix this real quick. I'm going to fix the, uh, the title. Chris Chan Endurance. Chris Chan Endurance. And then fix this to, um, just special events. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Um, yeah, can Ahmad go in and say that we're doing the 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 goal, the Christian endurance stream goal right now, please? Wake me up, wake me up, dude. I can't wait. Okay, so anyways, hello everybody. My name is Leah Bell. I love to travel, and I'm just trying my fucking best. We are day three. Give it up for day three of um. My uncapped subapalooza, it is $1 for every minute. Every $1 that you spend in the channel or in donations is an extra minute for how long I stream. We've been streaming for 40, 40, not, 40, 50 hours. 50 hours, 50 hours. And we have about 5 hours and 45 minutes left so far. So right now, I am taking this opportunity to do one of my other goals from a, a different fundraiser that I had, <clears throat> or still have, um, of an, a Chris Chan endurance stream. All of August, we were watching Chris Chan, A Comprehensive History by Jano Samuel, um, starting with part one, and now we are currently on part 51. So today, today, I am going to try my best to get as far as I can in this uncapped subathon, the rest of this uncapped subathon with Christian. Um, I will end it by the timer or by the part, whichever ends first. So here you go. Get comfy, people. It's going to be a while. made her this way? What is the attraction? What keeps us fascinated? Okay, hopefully the audio this is, is good. This is the story of Christian. <laughs> Video's pretty quiet. Uh, let's see. Okay, so the, the music itself, or the audio of the video itself is on. A one minute break in between every episode? That would be smart. Yeah, 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 sure. For people Christina using the bathroom and shit, a YouTube sure. video in which she reads the first chapter of a work of online fan fiction called Unicorns, Rainbows, Why? and a Bluebird of Happiness, written by Kiwi Forms member Reverend Lovejoy, who frequently communicated with her, posing as an online friend. It was later revealed that William Elliot Waterman had regained Chris's trust Layton, and had convinced why? No! her to start making the videos because he told her that she would likely receive monetary donations from people in return. I want to thank, firstly thank everybody for their donations. Oh no, why is this? Why? My, my mom chose the term red flag. <laughs> what this dress, but anyway, uh, she got her medication for her asthma, so that's good. Very good. And, Scrubby, uh, and, and thank you so much. Thank you, thank you for continuing your first class. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Bank account out of the red because a couple of automatic drafts. <sighs> but anyway, we're still gonna need, we're still need money to help us be able to eat better for the rest of the month. 
but also our electric bill came and it's due immediately, rounding up to about two hundred dollars. But anyway, in the meantime, we're beginning a I'm beginning a new se a new series of a recommended story called Unicorns, Rainbows, and a Bluebird of Happiness. I have not read this thing, though I started to recently. It bothered me, but I checked with my uh, friend who assures me that it all ends be it all ends a lot better than the way it sounds at first. So anyway, it'll be like a chapter per day. Uh, every other day or so. But anyway, oh God. we're doing this. I'm going to start reading chapter one. Oh my god, why do I feel like this chapter is me one. when I started this? Day. Huh. Let's see. Do I have everything? Do I have everything? An average sized man with pink hair said with a smile as he stood in the center of his bedroom wearing a light blue tuxedo as well as a pair of pink and blue checkered pants. Wait, who's, who's writing is this? Who's writing is this? Over the next two weeks, recording only the first four chapters out of the 14 chapter long story. On June 19th, Chris wished a happy Father's Day to all to be still alive and departed fathers, honoring her own father, Bob Chandler, by posting a previously unreleased photograph of him. Three days later, Marvin, former major troll, really... TV Farms moderator and administrator of the Quickie, leaked a recent video of Christine in which she advertises her services as a prostitute. It's a really, it's a really weird that she calls him Mr. C, honestly. Hello, ladies. Ah! Like the little quality time. What? 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 In which she advertises her services as a prostitute. The reasons for production oh. and means of acquisition of the video are not oh. certain. Hello, ladies. How'd you like to spend the little quality time with this sexy bard, huh? These sexy breasts. Hmm. And the thing that I was wrongfully born with down there. Ooh. Good quality time. Can I have it one way? Or we can play it the lesbian way. Oh my god. So, for $50, we can do a cuddle. You want, want, you want to bring back Chat Bear? Bring back Chat Bear? We can do it pretty much. Okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, let, me, let me bring Chat Bear. Let me bring Chat Bear. I know, I know y'all miss me. I know y'all miss me. Hold on. I know y'all miss me. Hold up. Hold up. Okay. 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 Chat. Chat. There it is. Chat. There it is. There you go, honey. There you go. I got you. I got you. Don't worry about it, baby. I got you. I ain't pretty much near anything. I don't do ain't no, though. I don't do ain't no. But we'll do anything else. We can even romp with toys. And I Hi, have Lily. lots of Good luck. Potential. So send an email. Give me a response. No, I'm good, thank you. Tell me one little lovely, sexy evening. No, I'm, I'm good, thank you. Miss Stephanie Buscakes. What? What? Advice to the email only. What? Nobody with STDs and only women of any orientation, the apply. Well, straight lesbian and bi. Oh, y'all got, oh, y'all got the pussy. Oh, I'm very my. happy to work. Ah! A bit of that. Ah! I meant to show up a booty. Did booty look good enough for you? So, respond now. On June 26th, Christine posted a short random thought on Facebook, simply writing, Hosiery and stockings are one of society's non-conforming garments. The next day, Chris wrote a rare tweet on the social media site Twitter, directed at her half-brother, Cole Smithy, angry at him since he apparently lived in New York's bleeding Carnegie Hall, with rent Dude, set at $2,000 per month, and so could also afford to support their mother, Barbara. Later that day, Chris wrote a heated Facebook post elaborating on the same topic. 
This just in. Hashtag Joseph Cole Smithy residing in Carnegie Hall with wife as early as 2000. More than $2,000 a month's rent. Okay. Pissing and burning away money. Should really be sharing it with his caring biological mother and sister. Mother paid his way through schools. Paid for his car. Reared him with lots of love and care. Mother and daughter really could use financial help. Cole hates his own mother over father issues and false rumors spread by aunts and uncles. Never contacts neither his mother or sister. Sister, Christine Weston Chandler, quoted, We hardly ever hear from the bird. Hashtag JCS is- I'm so sorry, this is her post, right? Why is her po- Why is she quoted in her post? But we hardly ever hear from the bird. Hashtag JCS is quoted to be world's Source smartest myself. Update. I just relearned and confirmed with a past signature care package sent to Cole last Christmas that he currently lives a few buildings down East 90th from Carnegie Hall. But he did live at Carnegie Hall as early as 2000, as confirmed by a Christmas card mailed to our mother, December of 2000. This was a couple of years before the bird disowned her. The block must still have very pricey rent anyhow. Money burner. The post also included a new drawing in which Cole sits in his Carnegie Hall residence, literally burning a box of money originally designated for his mother and sister by throwing it into the fireplace. At the same time, his TV shows a report of the Chandler's house fire while he is thinking that the theatrical play version of A Christmas Carol at Carnegie Hall is garbage due to its good ending. Christine Strossum gal pal, Kim Wilson, left a comment on her post writing that Cole had a different experience with his mother than Chris did, and his feelings about her should be treated as valid. Chad, thank you so much for continuing your first class. I really appreciate it. Thank you, YouTube, thank you. In the first of which, she asks for more donations and apologizes to the male gender. But first, I have, uh, do have a couple of announcements to make. We received a good number of donations. From the male gender? Is that why? we could still do better. Oh my and, god. Uh, yeah, it's fair. We've We've managed for the most part. Um, anyway. I also have an I have a most sincere and direct apology to... Yep. All the males worldwide around the world. Of which... Apologize the for the male gender? more than in common. And I'm gonna, I wrote it down, so... Go read my apology. Gentlemen of the world, I have learned and realized that y'all, as a male, are okay. All people, you female hear that? and male, you hear are that? more alike she than we realize. Okay. We are all the what same What episode are we on? We're on part 51. Half of us come out changed from that, and half of us gets to remain unchanged. And really, the difference between genders, genders, is the one mutation created by the chromosome, and the varying levels of mentality and ability individually. And for putting y'all down as a group, I deeply apologize. Deeply and sincerely. I respect you each as people and individuals. But I still maintain the respectable arm's length distance when being approached in person. Congratulations, males! Y'all are y'all are valid video, now. Chris states that she has allegedly <laughs> cured herself of autism through the use of binaural beats. How does she mess this one up? Did she have, just I've she, she did just did subliminal project? As a lot of you or some of you may have been aware of through my history or whatever that I try to keep private amongst my YouTube settings. What is private about you? Chris. What is what is private about you again? But I have been enjoying for the past three Are months. Are we okay in your eyes too? Get rid yeah, of autism. No, I'm just kidding. Obviously, y'all are in my lap. I love y'all. So listen three, listen three times per day. 
for just its time. I still don't believe that though, Combi. For I have real. I've been doing that, and I've actually found myself more mentally capable. What is she doing? I don't. I do not blank out as much. What is she doing? I feel. A Oh, never mind, never mind. It's like that listening thing, A little bit huh? faster in mental processing. And I feel a whole lot better. So with that, I'm essentially cured of autism. Wow! Oh, I've been able to socialize better out in public. So that's another good deal right there. I'm going to put the link underneath this video. And those of y'all with autism... Try it for yourself. Three, play three times per day for three months. It worked for me. On July 3rd, Christine wrote a post on the news aggregate and discussion site Reddit specifically in the subreddit, dedicated to discussing the series of YouTube channels run by an organization of creators known collectively as Planet Dolan. In her post, she revealed her opinions regarding a revelation learned from a recent Planet Dolan video. Hey, boys, get ready to have your minds blown. As Planet Dolan has said, everyone is female inside the womb until if and when the Y chromosome mutates the girl to be a boy. Which, when you really think about it, with everyone being female initially, even pre-birth, being manly or manliness is very much made up. Anyhow, and you can try this at home in private. Push, maybe tough, into the center of the skin patch between your legs. The taint. You may is, find is one or true? two grooves hidden under there. One of them, yes, is your unbirthable vagina since the uterus would be shrunk during the Y mutation. Well, I mean, not this part, but like, is it is it technically true in science? Because I feel like I've heard that before in biology that like, that, that, not really, okay. Punchline, if every gay male knew about this, all they'd have to do is cut their taint and they'd have a new uh, hole to play with. Seriously though, maybe professional uh, sugary uh, would be best for that Is this that what's happening? Opening. Is this what's happening? Or, for the price of Wi-Fi and your YouTube viewing device, you could try opening it no! in a soon as six months. Let's have listened no! to more often with a subliminal track. No, no. On July 9th, Chris made a lengthy video on YouTube featuring oh several God. announcements. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hello, this is a tired Christine Chandler coming to you live from home once again with announcements. I have been made aware that the recent Video logs for reading no, rainbows, unicorns, and the bluebird happiness happiness are not very popular. Well, you could definitely blame that on Mr. Bill. Because he was the one that suggested I do it. <sighs> anyway, and then I real and then I have been made aware that y'all would like maybe something original. It's kinda crazy because she actually like, like day in my life. But guess what? She's having full moves. what? My days. I don't think she. She's. I don't think she lately, has like transition medication, every, does she? My, in my subconscious, there's a new thing that's got press. That's got press on my anxiety and stress levels that just totally drain me all over again. Where I'm not gonna feel like doing anything. <sighs> just drives me bonkers. Oh, has she? <sighs> and then the finances. There's this. Always with the finances here, the mortgage, the bills, everything. I know you don't want to hear this shit because y'all have this, y'all have these problems yourselves in your own way. But you know what? What? And over, I'm in over my head. Obviously, dumb bitch. Anyway, hi Grady, how you doing? I just. I Welcome don't to watching Christian. From Sega officially, and I really would prefer actually to get the, get in the mailbox physically at home. I don't check my emails that often. Even though my even though my friend even though my lay friends do. And sometimes they have to thin out the trolls and whatnot. Uh, but I'll tell you what, official Sega representative, fly on over. Proof, him or herself. To me, and then we can actually get talking right here in Ruckersville. But no. She's literally so delusional. Like she, and she Sasha really is thinks. Actually, I believe to be, actually, could be the next big thing for Sega. Guess she helped pull Sonic out of the ground. 
Oh my god. With all the she's she's literally fan fiction direction. She kept it original, Sega. Stick to the original plots and whatnot. Not change a darn thing, including the arm color change, which I'm glad that that got finally resolved with the new Mario and Sonic Olympic game. And then on. <sighs> ah, finances. Mortgage payments. Ah, we really could use some more money around here because as quickly as it comes in, it goes out. Because we gotta pay bills. And we You're happy to be back on here. stream? Are you sure? Because we're watching Kristen. So please help us. I really do want to deliver new Sachin and Roast you content, but I, it's hard for me to get back to the pages and drawing with all this stress in my life. Oh my god. And I really would like to be able. I have. I should have made little to no progress on the orders from Etsy store. I mean, I am that I am working on. I'm working on getting myself motivated to do all that. And if I had the money, I'd re I'd reimburse everybody. But I don't have a thousand dollars or so. And I wonder fucking why, it's all, dude. It's all gotta go out to the food, the bills, everything. And it's you are literally food. sitting in this room. We can see the room. We can. <sighs> Help. Please help. Oh my god. Help keep me and my mother fed. 74 years old she is. Two dogs. Two cats. Got a family of kittens in the backyard. <sighs> and I'm still looking for, a sweet, for my sweetheart. You think I'm famous enough to actually be able to get women? I have not been so fortunate. And yes, I've only had sex two times, ever, in my lifetime, so I'm not a virgin. And they were both in the same month, and that was more than, that was more than four years ago. <sighs> <sighs> you think your life sucks because you're dwelling in your mother's basement, you darn dirty internet trolls and cyber wow. bullies. Wow, wow. With who? Oh, case. see, she hired a prostitute. I wish Cole Smithy would help us, but he's in New York being greedy, throwing his money away into the fire when he could be sharing it with his own mother to help pay him back, to help pay her back for the, putting him to the schools, the college, and the brand new car that was new in about 1980 or so. <sighs> I thought they were both and from that Carol prostitute, the same prostitute. Because I'm still their half sibling, and with, the, with our late father being in the memory. He comes visit me in my dreams nearly every night. Today, I don't know, I'm on a night schedule right now and I'm trying to get back on a day schedule. It's difficult. My subconscious doesn't want to get me out of bed because I know something is going to make me crazy that day. Every day. Something crazy. <sighs> I get drained. <sighs> oh well. <sighs> That's it. Have a good day. On July 10th, Chris asked her Facebook readers for $20 or $50 via PayPal. This was soon followed by the first in a series of four short videos in which she asks for money. $20, $50 American. What do you and mean I, the first? Like, like Chris has been asking for money for ages? Money right Hello? Now. Chris has been asking for money for like, since I've known them. In the second video, she provided some comic relief in exchange for donations. Oh, no. hey, Photoshop dad is now morning. Welcome to Leva Airlines. Hope you have a safe and enjoyable flight. Donate. Pick and bounce. I'm a little picky. Here's my snap. How did oink, you sleep oink, from your oink, nappy? Oink, oink, oh, it was oink. short, but um. I'm a little picky. It's a good Here's sleep, I would meme. say. Oink, oink, oink. Oh shit. Here's my snap. The third video seemed to be a result of a request from a possibly willing donator, either the YouTuber Mysterious Mister Enter or someone pretending to be him. By request of the mysterious Mr. Enter. Flub, fluff, flub, 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 flub. Chris proceeds to say the word flub a total of 86 times. In the final video, she thanks her donator for their contribution. My mother and I, we have received the minimum $20 that we required in the meantime. <laughs> for our immediate emergency. 
But there is a bigger emergency. My mother still has her teeth problem. So further donations are greatly appreciated to help pay for that. Okay. I'm so glad anyway, that 86 is not actually here, you guys. I would feel so bad. The minimum $20 we need right now. Have a good, safe day. On July 12th, Christine revealed on Facebook that she had been watching the animated series Sonic Boom and complained about the portrayal of the character Knuckles, writing that his grammar and common sense used to be more normal. She attributed his decrease in intellect to a possible takeover of his brain by the Y chromosomes. The next day, Chris wrote that she was feeling stressed, dizzy, and mentally lost. She soon after didn't wrote Chris, that she like, had taken an online- Didn't she, didn't she like, vow to never support Sonic Boom? Isn't that true? And personality test and found that she was kind but thought that either bad people had taken male advantage of her kindness or not enough people around her noticed her positive qualities. On that same day, Chris I'm uploaded die. a YouTube video centered on her mother, Barbara. I'm Wait, oh my god. Chairman. Oh my god, Barbara Those lost a shit ton of weight. Need of financial help to get dental work. Oh my god, is she okay? That's expensive. Dude. Asking for donations. She is not okay. No, it's my dental. She she can't even Fair. fucking talk right now, dude. Any amount. <laughs> she's not be helpful. I don't think she's she's definitely not okay. It's like she hasn't blinked. Thank you for your consideration. No, they said that she was like 70, or at least, yeah, she said she was like 76 a little bit ago in the same video, so, bro. On July um, 14th, Chris advertised scary, on Facebook dude. that she was selling a Pokemon card, which she won as part of a sweepstakes sponsored by game publisher Wizards of the Coast in the year 2000 or 2001 on eBay, setting the starting bid at $50. Bidding on the card soon exceeded $300, due to Wings leaving trollsome bids. Christine Damn. soon after listed more Pokemon cards up for sale, set well, yeah, at $100 scripted, each, and only available really as buy okay. now items, possibly to deter Wings from bidding falsified amounts, since by this time, her first Pokemon card listed up for sale had currently reached a bid of over $9,000. Also over on that $9, date, she revealed that she had downloaded the new mobile game, Pokemon Go, but was wary of playing it due to the cons mentioned in a video oh my by God. YouTuber Pokemon Go is out here. Chris added that she this might not ever play the game because of stresses Go? and anxieties the in her life. Fuck? The next day, this Christine <laughs> posted a photo of a bag branded with My Little Pony character, Go. Sweetie Belle, looking down charming and expressing the sentiment the of meh. Chris added context to her post. That's how I'm feeling right now. Please, at least help me with buying one or both of my Pokemon cards right now. P.S. I am not on any drugs, nor have I ever smoked. You accusing, prevaricating, internet trolls and cyber bullies. Yeah, sorta. And I suppose my mother and I and our two dogs can starve since nobody wants to donate to actually help us here at home anymore. What Ugh. the fuck? What the fuck? In the replies. Kim Wilson stated that Chris was indeed not smoking drugs, but was on Lipidor, her medication, and had it's allegedly just, tried marijuana. It's just like, Jessica Quinn I, I can't Chris believe to build that this happened in, in my lifetime, you know what I'm better. saying? Kim later added that Chris should refrain from using complicated words, like prevaricate, which may make her appear to be dumb, as she tries to make it seem like she was more educated than she actually was. On July 18th, Kiwi Farms user Kuzbane using the alias George, texted Chris, asking if she would record a video for his girlfriend Amber to celebrate their anniversary. After receiving the details concerning the message of the video, Chris asked to be paid $50. She ended up recording and then uploading the video on YouTube before getting paid. Kuzbane later revealed that he refused to give any money to Chris. This was also notably the first video in six years to feature a Captain's Log introduction. Captain's Log, Stardate. Oh wow, yeah, July it has been a while. 
18th, 2014. Christine Chandler coming to you live from home once again. Uh, to start us off on this thing, I have a special dedication from uh, George to his girlfriend Amber. Personalized anniversary video. Well, George, you're lucky to have Amber. This is not 2014. Anyway, this is uh, no way this is 2014. Anyway, to Amber. Happy anniversary. Is it? I love you so much. Didn't, didn't they just talk about po Yeah, there's because they just talked about Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go came out 2016. This has been the best. I remember where I was on that life. night. <laughs> all, all to you. You make my life so wonderful. I hope this is only the beginning to the rest of our lives. From George to Amber. Happy anniversary, y'all. If you want, uh... Hang on. My brain's gone. I'm trying to... Uh, stress, stress, anxiety. Yep. Uh, no, I don't think Chris well, left anyway, the house so, at all. Alright, so reminder that I'll do personal videos for, uh, $50 a pop. Just like I did for George and Amber there. But since my shop is down, I'll take it, do requests, via text message to my phone number, which will be located... Wow, right really video. smart. Super, super smart. So, we'll, we'll do the arrangements there, and I'll do the video recording, and so on and so forth. Anyhow. Mm. Long day, long day. Ugh. Exactly, no Onishan. Exactly. Life. Um, no confirm or deny to rumors or facts, whichever. Um, <sighs> anyway, that's it for now. Thank you, and <sighs> have a good day. Have a good day. As a result of Chris publicly releasing her phone number to discuss making commissioned videos, so. she received a large amount of text messages from people wanting her to make videos reciting texts that were for the most part discreetly mocking of her character. Thought so. Homosexual known as Josh has paid me $50 in the United States currency to paint this video. He is truly a crazy fucking idiot for doing so. His words, not mine. He wanted me to tell his friend Nicole that she is an attractive slut. Photoshop Dad, thank you so much for joining the first class. I really appreciate it, especially with your prime. I know you only have one, so uh, th Happy thank you for choosing me. Happy birthday, you magnificent thank you. piece of human garbage. You are such trash, and we all love you a lot. What the fuck? On a more serious note, Josh also wanted me to remind you that... Josh's friend Nicole. I don't know. It's all trolls. It doesn't matter. I've always been a worthwhile human being that deserves a great amount of respect and gratitude. Dude, for read the fucking message the before it actually effort, says. I have poured forth. Before you actually say it, Please take it. a moment out of each day to think about the tremendous good I have done for you and others and what you could do to give back. Be the hero that you feel inside. Welcome back, Frodo. Be the you doing okay? That's in your heart. And go fast. Go to PayPal and buy a personalized video just like Josh did. With much love, Josh asked me to bid you a fond farewell. And may lightning hedgehogs guide you to a path of happiness. Well, Nicole, at least uh, he appreciates you. Over the course of the next nine days... She released nine videos, which were made as part of her commissioned video plan she devised in the absence of her Etsy store. These included her singing the Beatles song, Yellow Submarine. Well, I'm sorry, Frodo. Yellow I hope you feel submarine. better. Rest Be a lot, please. We all live in it. Ah. <laughs> we all live in a hippopotamus, a hippopotamus, a hippopotamus. We all live in a hippopotamus, a hippopotamus. Sitting yeah, on yeah, so my she head. was reading off of like a dog. a video in which she sings a supposed song called Fuck, Fuck, Shake My Boobies. Fuck, 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 fuck,
because of the content of this video. It was soon removed, and her YouTube channel received a strike, leaving <laughs> being it one more strike away from being removed and terminated entirely, about which she complained in the Facebook post. This also prevented her from uploading any new videos for I can't two pause weeks. during an endurance stream? That's weird because you asked me to do minute breaks, right? It was around this time that Christine became depressed because allegedly some unknown lesbians told her that she was not oh, a real female Oh, thank you so much for the videos. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Believing that the subliminal frequency videos she had been watching on YouTube were having a positive effect on her, Chris thought okay, that her inner but then, labia was that, that would be the, that, I'm just saying, the you... Her that, her that would be the same after drinking some alcohol, she took a knife and cut open a gash in her taint, thinking it would release her labia, trapped underneath. She then took photos of it and published them on the image hosting site, Imager. On July 24th, Christine made a Facebook post concerning her taint, or the space between her testicles and her anus. After drinking some alcohol, she took a knife and cut open a gash in her taint, thinking it would release her labia, trapped underneath. She then took photos of it and published them on the image hosting site, Imager. On July 24th, Christine made a Facebook post concerning her labia, but implied that it had naturally burst out and opened. Announcement! As a number of <laughs> online people may be aware, I have been grooving with the subliminal frequencies oh God, and binaural oh my beats God, oh towards my, my transition from male to female body. The source being the subliminal frequency hypnosis wizard's binaural beats channel on YouTube. 100 pi Last March, prize cows is now wording. Welcome to Limbo Airlines. I hope you find a safe. Uh, I mean, I hope you have a safe and enjoyable flight, but not right now. I'm so sorry. You're listening to Chris Chaw talk months. about their taint. I've also, to 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 I've also listened to change my nipples to teats, as well as begin producing breast milk. Also related from a separate track on another channel, I have eased and cured the worst of my autism too. But since last May. I decided to take it a step further and begin my transition from male to female with the penis to vagina tracks, including the individual organ changing tracks and for a while the intersex track. And two Fridays ago, July 15th, while I slept that night, my labia started splitting open and I found the initial hole in blood the next morning and over the few days that followed, the labia opened to its full length and I've been dealing with the blood that came out. I have been keeping it clean daily monitoring it and treating it with rubbing alcohol. I have started the wheels in motion for the full HRT and SRS by seeing my doctor last Friday because I felt like I didn't want to wait much longer to fully become the woman that I should have been born as. With that, I have uploaded a photo of my labia onto Imager for all 18 plus year old individuals to see. But I do not want to be overrun with tabloid and paparazzi attention over this or have a total big deal made. As for my own statement to quote, I will state the following. Have belief and faith in what your body can do. And with such binaural beats and frequencies, as well as persistence and patience, what you'd like can happen for you. Her Facebook friends and onlookers from Kiwi Farms showed great concern over her situation. Null, the administrator of the farms, informed a medical professional about Chris's condition and they felt that if the hole was the result of her past infected taint piercing, there was a great chance that she could die because of it. Kiwi Farms user Doc Cassidy wrote Apparently several text not. messages to Chris, begging her to go to the hospital, to which she replied that she had gone to the hospital the previous night and found that there was no infection. She soon after wrote a brief post to publicly announce her alleged medical examination of the previous Photoshop night. Photoshop that. I'm sure Jessica you can find it anywhere on Reddit. Like, if you look hard enough, you can find it on Reddit. Proof that For she had sure. Gone to the doctor. Christine later edited her post but to also state why? that she had gone to the doctor on that same day, rather than the previous night. After receiving numerous messages of concern for her health, Christine soon followed up with a short post which stated that the photos were allegedly faked to troll the trolls. On that same day, she made another Facebook post 
showing that she had gotten a woman card in support of politician Hillary Clinton's presidential campaign, and also that she had gotten a new driver's license, which stated that her given name was Christine and that she was female. Two days later, QB Farms user Innocuous Banter sent some text messages to Chris, attempting to learn more about her current health situation. Chris informed them that she had gone to the doctor and apparently was told that her labia was coming in good and that it would finish growing in a few months. What? Marvin what? of the QB Farms and other former trolls what? close to her tried their hardest to convince Christine to go to the emergency room and provide proof of it. She later sent them the prescription she received as proof, but upon checking it, they determined that she had lied about her condition, as her medication seemed to be for testicular pain rather than her self-inflicted taint wound. After aggressive persistence, Chris sought proper attention to get her wound treated, after which time, she deleted her Facebook posts regarding her labia and tried to avoid the topic online. According to Marvin, Christine had believed that her labia was going to sprout out at some time, but by cutting her taint open, she thought she could accelerate the process. On July 28th, she made a new oh paid video God, for YouTube to evade the TV calling that ban. She so created much. a new YouTube channel, Christine Chandler, in ah! order to upload it. Sexual intimacy will no longer be intimate. Oh no. The act will be as mundane conversation. What the fuck? What the fuck is we this? We will be monitored by artificial intelligence through every medium for our own protection. And humans will always feel inclined to erode morality through slogans relating to love and freedom. Believing that it is part of evolution, conditioned from birth to worship the institution. Two days later, she uploaded another video to her second YouTube channel, a reading of the 2008 novelette written by the troll Vivian G, which up to this point was left unread. Yeah. Anyway, so yes, we have been busy around here. We've been clearing out lots and lots of boxes, so I should go ahead through them since we moved back here. Anyway, among which I found... A book that I have been curious about for a little for a little while, for a while, because I never actually got I actually never read it. <clears throat> a girl who brought down the world who survived a house fire. Boo! Is you know, that about that's about Chris, right? Actually, sent me the proof copy. Uh, so anyway, I have been curious, so I'm gonna start reading it now. In the videos, in the other video series. And this is on my own personal merit. Nobody has paid me or asked me to do this. Okay, they literally look one, so neighbors. upset that nobody paid them to fucking uh, read this. Hello, my name is Kid. I'm just a cute girl. At least, that's what everyone tells me. I don't have many friends in the city I live in. She would eventually make two more videos reading through the book, covering the first four chapters. In early August, Barbara Chandler was sued by Capital One Bank for unpaid debts. The hearing was set to take place Wait, on September that? 14th of that year. Christine was also ordered to pay fines amounting to $111 for failing to acquire licenses for the family's dogs. Also during this time, Chris was keeping busy with clearing out old boxes from the family's house, which Jesus had been lying stagnant ever Christ. since they moved back in a year and a half ago. This made her unavailable to respond to mounting text messages or fulfill video orders, but promised that she would return to making videos shortly. On August 6th, Chris shared an article oh, a on Facebook bank. which I wrote see, that see. PayPal had decided to close the accounts for the Quickie and the Kiwi Farms due to the harm the sites caused unto others. Chris called herself the top victim of the criminals and asked if PayPal would provide her with compensation in return. On August 8th, she regained the ability to upload videos on her original channel after a two-week-long ban and continued her paid video campaign. Ah, hello, this is Christine Chandler coming to you from my home once again. Uh, so, hey, uh, Shelly from your husband. He definitely wishes you a happy birthday and I'll wish you a happy birthday too. Okay, so... You turn another year older, another year wiser. Not for you though, Chris. Good. Have a good day. Not for you though! On August 9th, after the person who bid over $9,000 on her Pokemon card failed to pay for it, 
Christine relisted the card again on eBay, set at a buy it now price of $500. She also listed a VHS release of the Disney film Aladdin, set at a buy it now price of $3,000. What the fuck? Are you serious? Upon believing the claims at the time that the Disney films released as part of the Black Diamond collection were worth thousands of dollars. That's not, Next that day, never happened, she right? An article, That's not real, which reported right? That a mother and son that were involved in an incestuous relationship <gasps> were arrested. Chris also let her own feelings on the subject be known. I have a few things to say in response to this article. Firstly, the child was over 18, and surely the mother has talked it out with him beforehand. The child might have had social problems, or a situation where socializing or going out to socialize with other people oh my God, this was is a happening. greater this is difficulty. Happening financial situation to prevent paying someone else to come over and help out in the situation. Moreover, it was the lifelong affections between parent and child. Also, the mother probably could not bear any ovum for children anymore. Anyhow, who among everyone in this world has not had a dream of having sex oh with God. one of their parents? Never acting on them ever. I, myself, did have dreams of having sex with my mother. Although incest is quite a controversial topic, but there are circumstances where there would be not so much harm as one may think, feel, or believe. The child is over 18. The mother is unable to have any more children at the time. Birth control and protection is available and can be used. In the case of father slash daughter, birth control definitely should be used anyhow. Also, consider if the child is adopted, not as much biological. Plus, this offers a chance for better teaching the child how to better satisfy their eventual partners. The schools can only teach from books, not so much practice. And nobody wants to end up being a 20 or 30 plus year old virgin. I know, that is a huge, enduring pain. Unless the sex act was abusive, hurtful, or would result in an unwanted birth of a physical or mental challenged child. I would not judge or persecute the parent and child. I would encourage the child to socialize more, maybe make it easier for the child to meet more people his slash her age. Do not send the mother and son to jail. Kim Wilson commented that incest was not harmless like Chris stated, but in fact could cause serious mental issues and emotional scarring, and advised her against taking part in incest. Christine clarified that she had not and would not. Ah! As Christine caused herself a medical emergency, she refused to admit that she was bringing herself in harm's way overcome with the belief that she could transform her body into a true female form. With the overflow of messages of concern and advice, it appeared that rather than observing her every move out of mockery or amusement, there was an increasing number of people watching to make sure she was safe. For Chris continued to prove, day after day, that she could not live her life comfortably on her own. good minute pee break that Layton asked for. I need to get my socks. I also don't know when, when the ad is done because I, I can't see it. Let me get my socks. What made her this way? What is the attraction? Thank you. Yeah, I what was talking. I'm sorry. Thank you. I said thank you, Cornflower. Of Christian. For letting us know that the ad was over.
You guys should hear me now. I just unmuted. On August 10th, 2016, Anna McLaren, one of Christine's oldest gal pals, changed her Facebook profile photo to one in which she shares an embrace with Chris's mother, I am Barbara. raising money also it for Leighton, my very good friend, and the back one of my community. Uh, the next day, Christine shared a year old Facebook away post we do a VR of chat meet up. that was sent to her by her half-brother, Cole Smithy. She angrily ordered him to get off his ass and apologize to the Chandler family so he could make peace and help support them financially. Can you guys, can you guys hear 13th, me? She posted a photo of her cat, Lucy, sitting on the arm of Chris's chair. Three days later, Chris commented on a post from a teacher. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Let me, let me, I'm sorry. I'm confused. Hold on, hold on. And apologized to the what is, what is this? What is this? What is this? In which she shares an embrace with Chris's mother, Barbara. It is unknown what circumstances led to this meeting. The next day. Christine oh, Anna, shared a Anna. year old Facebook post of the postcard that was sent to her by her half-brother, Cole Smithy. She angrily ordered oh, him to get off his ass sick? and apologize to the Chandler family so he could make peace and help support them financially. On the ah, 13th, ah, on. she posted a photo of her cat, Lucy, sitting on the arm of Chris's chair. Three days later, Chris commented on a post from a teacher who wanted to show her class how quickly her picture can spread on the social media site. Christine thought that it was a dumb idea, because according to her, not only was online socializing really bad, but it also only discouraged actual friendships and in-person meetups. Her comment was met with mass disapproval. On August 18th, she posted another photo of her cat, Lucy, this time sitting on her lap. It's because nobody on can that get same mad day, at fucking Christine Lucy. Christine posted on Facebook that she had tried the new Waparito, a tortilla-style item from the fast food establishment oh, Burger well, King. She offered some Thank constructive so criticism, really but generally thought that. that it was of good value. She later edited the post to rescind Thank her recommendation, you. adding that possibly the chili sauce in the Waparito did not agree with her. Oh, and so I, I hope you love it. I hope diarrhea. you love it when you get it. On August 24th, as consolidation for failing to deliver an item from her Quickville shopping store on Etsy, Chris recorded a video in which she sings a slightly altered version of her song, So Need a Cute Girl. The video also features okay, the first appearance of a Christine doll that she customized from a figure of the My Little Pony character, Vinyl Scratch. And now by special request, an old ditty, which I still have the handwritten lyrics to, written over a decade ago. So, enjoy. Hey, look at me. It's okay, Violet. It, the, the new model is new, literally. The, the model is new. Tell me why I'm stuck in my sad long. Damn, they still have the lyrics. Honestly, this was like this was so this. <laughs> like, why do I miss this time? You know what I mean? Like, I'm I miss this time. Like, this time was like the the least troublesome still. On that same day. She recorded and published a short video request for a 3D printer. Hello, this is Christine Chandler coming to you live from my car with a little bit of an impulse decision. No, Blue, I can't. I, said, I definitely would like to seek the assistance of somebody with a 3D printer and a knowledge and of the software within it and all that. Somebody local within the shots of Virginia only, please. Text message me at my phone number listed below this video. Thank you. Have a good day. There's nothing wrong with having two a receding later, hairline. Christine posted There's two something new wrong featuring with Chris having Shoe, it. Because Chris is a jackass, readers, terrible person. Such awful, as keeping awful. a clear head, ignoring bad critics, being good to others, keeping a happy thought, and being modest. From August 26th to the 28th, she attended the anime convention OmegaCon in Charlottesville, Virginia, after winning a free ticket. On the 27th, Kiwi Farms member Love You Long Time, who was the troll behind the Emily and Kim Wilson personas, was at the event as well and wrote an account of what she saw. Observed him while he sat in a panel. He looked like he was wearing the same thing as yesterday. Take this observation with a grain of salt, but during the Q&A portion, he would seem much more interested when a girl asked a question, looking at them while they spoke, but didn't do the same when a guy spoke. 
Like I said, May be nothing or he trained himself not to pay attention to men. The following day, she updated four members with another written description of what she witnessed. Chris was playing Pokemon against some seven-year-old and beat him. Didn't act like a shit to the kid, but would sigh periodically. He wore the same thing for a third day in a row. Has two silver rings on his right hand that were connected by a blue string. I never what? noticed this about his thinning hair. I just thought he had a receding hairline, but the top of his hair is pretty sparse and short. Chris also has a MASSIVE binder full of hundreds of Pokemon cards. Saw him later rushing around with what looked like an empty food carton. I don't know. And Did somebody he didn't out on anyone or act like an asshole, oh, which I will back Marvin on this. Chris truly doesn't act like a dick to people most of the time he's out in public. On the final day of August, Christine informed her Facebook followers that she was feeling last sad and asked now boarding. if anyone Welcome wanted to, to pay so the family's $115,000 mortgage. Wow! Wow! In early September, Love You Long Time began posting records of emails she exchanged with Chris from up to four years ago, with many concerning his encounter with the prostitute, Mia Hamm. On September 6th, what? Chris called U.S. Uh... presidential candidate Donald Trump crazy in the head, comparing him with Transformers figure Galvatron. She later shared a YouTube review of Transformers figure Brawn by YouTuber MGO316 and paraphrased a conversation some characters performed in a short skit in the aforementioned video. Chris rewrote some of the dialogue to lambast Trump and soon after created a meme using a still from the video with added text to better visually display the conversation she had previously posted. Her Hi, Facebook 256. friend, Jessica this is Quinn, a once thought a month that both offer. candidates in the election were poor choices. Chris replied that Hillary Clinton was the better choice since she was pro-LGBTQ and pro-immigration, as well as a woman. Jessica rebutted, stating that she felt that Clinton was simply saying what people wanted her to hear, and that voting for someone purely for their gender, race, or religion was not right. Also on that day, Christine shared a year-old post which displayed her range of customized Sonichu amiibo figurines, lamenting that that was a more productive time for her before her creative feelings were shot down by shocks and trolls. Finally, on that day, she uploaded a short paid birthday greeting to a certain Alex. Hello Alex, this is Christine Chandler coming live to you from home. Pretty much an inconvenient moment. Anyway, wish you a happy birthday. I hope you had a good one today anyway. You know you could have chosen the moment to make it or more convenient though, right? Late in the day than I'm confused. the day after. Anyway, happy birthday to you, true and honest love fan. It's after the extreme. Take care. Stay safe. The next day, Chris uploaded a paid video message directed at the trolls, specifically the members of the Kiwi Farms, written under the pretense that it was actually pinned by Lauren Armstrong a child predator who was arrested as part of a sting operation on the NBC show to Oof, catch a predator I hope you're okay, and in the Thank years you. since had established a cult following of trolls for his unusual speaking patterns and laughable antics. Hey there everybody, it's your old pal, your old friend, Lauren Armstrong, and I'm here to tell all you bleep at Kiwi Farms how much I hate all of you. First off, me. What I want you to do is leave Christine alone. Hello, Christine. What? I'll take it to Christine. I would do anything for Christine. Anything. I'm the only one who gets to see her. Badge. Oh, Dune, thank you very much You're for the swallow noises. Get to see Christine yeah, I'm, I'm the, this is my disgust face. Badge. I just, I feel like every single time I watch Chris, badge. I should be like completely disgusted. You, so there it is. But you, Hellblazer. For you, flowers for some. Uh, excuse me. Oh wow! Hi, Soma. For you, tricky and. How you doing? It has been a bit. Holy shit! Comics. That's Sully Christine's chewing uh. his work. Babby, thank you so much for scuffed Lily. Okay, my mouse is still fucking up. Hello, mouse. Please stop being an asshole. Thanks. Yeah, but I haven't been reading it. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me let me get the timer. What what the fuck? Okay, timer's on. 
I need to I need to move myself down. My mouse. There you go. Hey, <laughs> hello. Fucking. And most of all, for you, love you, moon time for spreading Christine's personal emails about the lady who he was left years ago. She was left years ago. She was the first person that was true and honest. Christine. How are you doing, Sama? Who she was. Go to heck, all of you. Sincerely yours, your buddy, your pal, Lauren Armstrong. That's what the said. last name 25 is now boarding. Uh, Welcome to Label Airlines. Hope you have a safe and enjoyable mm, flight. Whatever. And now for a special bonus. Here's what I say to Orange Face. Orange Face Donald Trump. And his anti feministic ways. Trump, you can take it up. Go! Thank you, have a good day. On September 8th, YouTube user Lil E, also known as Bravery Jerk, uploaded the video interview with Christine, recorded at the End Games, a card and game shop in Charlottesville which she liked to frequent. She agreed to the interview because Lil E had falsely promised her the use of a 3D printer in return. Uh, we have a few questions for you. So, first off, are you still on your love quest? Uh... Yes, yes, more or less. Um, I don't get to go out of, out of the house as much, but I'm still very much looking for uh, my... Woman, don't do my, this, my you guys. Sweetheart. Don't put me in here with Lil E, so please have don't. have you heard of uh, Sachumo? Sachumo, he's a YouTuber. He made a documentary about your life. Um, yeah, I have not heard of him. And wow! Is this a defensive documentary that I keep hearing about yes this is a documentary on YouTube it has about yeah. half a million views yeah I still have not watched it definitely should it's pretty good and you consider yourself a transgender yes I'm a lesbian trans woman still very much interested in women and I'm going to be transition at least that to the I mm, mm, no and uh, I'll also be I'm also looking into uh, the uh, HRT for real and uh, and, if, and if not a natural transformation, then I will have the SRS. Interesting. So, do you still recycle your gravy? Uh, oh my god, no. oh my god. No, what was that all about? Because a lot of people were talking about that. Uh, that's a uh, public situation right now. I'd rather not talk about it, but yeah, let's just, let's just leave it at that. I have not done that for years. Okay, it's good to know. Sorry, people were just asking about that. Mm -hmm. Had to bring it up. Um, Never ask that question again. Just leave it at that. All right. A lot of trolls have tried to troll you. What? You Quit it. Don't try to stress me. Don't try to bother me. I'm an artist, and I'm trying. To, I'm still long trying to recover from all the stress and the shock since 2007. It's a very long and tedious process, especially in my mind. You would, I mean, I don't know, y'all will probably not know, or you might know if you have your own family situations and you're stuck in your basements or whatever, but anyway, just, just... Yeah, Compi, they mean be come. Nice to me. If you, if you have nothing nice to say, just don't bother me. I only respond best to uh, kindness and honesty and more, the more to the point, face-to-face, -face, in person. All right, well, thank you for doing an interview with us. It's been, it's been an honor. On September 10th, Christine wrote a Transformers-related anecdote on Facebook. I have recently looked up what the Autobahn was, the highways and highway laws huh? in Germany. I liked the pun between Autobahn this part is part and Autobot. 52. With this education, the joke is valid, we have seven says the soldier parts. to Hitler. Mein Führer, Heil, spits into Hitler's face. There is und Autobot on the Autobahn. What do you think about that? And then, I remember the G1 episode with Octane and Triptychon in the Russian country. I wondered if any Decepticons had a deal with Hitler. How would that played out? Too bad he died in 1945. That might have been an interesting scenario. On September 13th, user of the news aggregation and discussion site, Reddit, the Bleach 212, recounted their sighting of Christine. 
I work in a Toys R Us in Charlottesville, Virginia, and Chris Chan came in yesterday, bought two tins of Pokemon cards, and promptly left. But not before I saw MLP figurines sticking out of his purse, neon green tank top, short shorts, and bright blue hair. I just started working there, but according to my boss, Chris Chan comes in every two weeks or so to buy Pokemon cards and video games, presumably because he was banned from all the GameStops in the city. The next day, Chris's mother Barbara was due to attend her hearing at Green County General District Court for unpaid debts owned to Capital One Bank, though it seemed that she was absent. She was ordered to pay oh, $15,906.99 to the bank. What the fuck? On September 17th, Chris attended Charlottesville's Pride Parade, sharing a photo of the flags at the park, and then a photo of her figurines of My Little Pony character, Vinyl Scratch, and her modified doll made in her own likeness, purportedly enjoying the music together. Bravery Jerk was also at the event, recording a YouTube video in which he asks various people how many genders there are. He saw Christine in the park and featured her in the video. Hey, look who it is. It's Christian Weston Chandler. How many genders are there? Oh, I just learned. There's like 58. Bravery Jerk then took Chris aside and recorded a long-form interview with her in a private venue. Yeah, I'm custom evil figures of Sarge and Rose Chu, uh, Sonny and Rosie, and Angelica Rose Chu. Um, so you make Oh, they really yourself? brought everything. Yeah, they brought all their shit. Hours. It's very pretty. How much would one of these go for? Some them were around fifty dollars a piece, or fifty. Hmm. I'll give you two for it. I bet. No. That's all I got uh, in there. Ah! Uh, Is that the original medallion? Yes. No, uh, it's not. Number three, whereas yeah, the first two go. have been destroyed. That's and that's a whole bunch of other stories. Is how were how are they destroyed? Uh, don't do this, don't do this. The first one, then the other, then the second one was shoved up my a hole. Uh, you shoved the Sanichu medallion up your ass? If, yeah, it was, yeah, I don't want to talk about that. Okay, why did you do that? Okay, uh, everybody, dude, everybody on uh, Between, uh, theoretical Honestly, it's just not fucking worth it to ask about this anymore. Yeah, 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 they did this. Yeah, I don't, that's, that's enough said. You're a brody? No, I'm a Pegasus sister. Oh, right. Ah! A yes. trans woman. I'm a, yes. I'm a female soul. What, do you wear glasses on your own online videos? Sometimes. If you could undo one thing that you've done in the past, what would that be? Mia! Oh. Mia, Please hello, hello! Hi there! Thank you so much for taking your folks on tour. Hello, tourists. My name is Lebo. I love to travel, and I'm just trying my fucking best. Aha! ha You guys came in while I was doing, while I'm using my, um, my scuff model, which is a redeem. How was your stream? Oh, thank you. I'm glad y'all like the scuff model. I'm glad. I'm glad. Speed heat, that sounds uh, intense, intense. Oh, shit, oh, oh, okay, okay, chill, chill, chill. I like that, I like that. Um, yeah, you guys came in during my uncapped subapalooza, so uh, I've been streaming for 48, 49, 50, wait, 48, 9, 50, 51, 51 hours. And I have five more hours so far. Each dollar into the channel or donation is an extra minute. So uh, there we go. Blissful welcome, ignorance. welcome. Right now we're doing an endurance Do you finishing of Chris Chan, a comprehensive or history. Or we're currently uh, part 52. No, I did not regret posting them. Yeah, I did sleep. I, I did sleep. I have been criminally defaced. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. I, I mean, I did sleep, but I had content but I feel up. I like that the trolls and the boys. I had content up for everyone. So I did some pre-recorded content, and while I slept, I, uh, I put that it. on. And you've said things that could be considered. Yeah, and the stream crashed, but I, you know, uh, obviously you restarted it right away. Yes, it's, yes. Um, I never really had anything against uh, race or people. Thank you. I'm glad you like my mouth. I have nothing against black people or anybody else in other countries or Orient or. Wait, that was weird. Sorry, I heard like vibrating. That was weird. Right, wherever, whoever. Well, we have a quote here. You said, I hate. I never said that. What? 
might have been that parody I did of Uncle Ruckus' songs against the gays, but which that, my views have been changed. But, but feel, welcome, feel, tourists. Feel, feel I hope you have a good time, even though I'm so general, sorry you're watching Chris John. For the most part, you literally I came in during this time. Civil and, oh, perfect uh, timing. Not mean, to, not mean to any of them, unless any of them are this is my new model. mean to me. I definitely respond better to kindness, but um, yeah, I, but my, I still have my eyes set on the women, and very much attracted to women. So you're straight? I'm a lesbian trans woman. My female soul is attracted to women, so therefore I am a lesbian. But you were born a man, correct? Uh, yes, born male, but that's irrelevant. What do you think about the Black Lives Matter movement? Uh, Black Lives, I have not heard of that. Black Lives Matter. It sounds like it's, uh, baby, People, black people are, sounds like they're having trouble, but I feel, oh, my bad. That, you know, to help any person in general, regardless of race or whatever, I mean, I'm for the uh, black lives forever. Now, can we get an update on your man clip? Please, no comment. No comment? You made several comments on your uh, public Facebook page? Uh, yeah, that was impulsive, and some of that was brought on by... Oh, on their man clip. Yeah, girlfriend of mine of mm -hmm. recent. You can Google uh, that. It's, uh, it, it's there. She of the uh, dishonesty therein, but anyway, I'm still transitioning. Let's just leave it at that. So you, you believe that the bloody hole in your taint oh, is... Please, please, oh, please, please. No comment. God. No comment. Uh, please. Have you... Everything's healed up. It's all good. I'm still alive. Let's just... Let, give that... Let's just leave that... Lay that down to rest. Is there anything else you want to say before? Uh... I'd say to everybody on the internet. Yeah. That's it. That's it. To everybody on the internet. <clears throat> eh. Kindness and meet and greets are better than online. Yeah, meet first. That's a whole. That, I feel like that's more important than meeting anybody online communicating. You can. Anyway aside, from, anyway, aside from that, um, be good, be kind, have a good safe day. Hell yeah, my On September 19th, Christine <gasps> made a post revealing that she had gotten a new pet. Oh my god. Hey everyone, this is our new adopted pet, Sorbet. One out of a litter of four, two went elsewhere. We've been feeding the family of cats for a few months now. Sorbet's sister is more white than orange, but seeing that kitten first, I called her Orange Cream. Then I saw this one and Orange Sorbet came to mind. A few weeks ago, I noticed something wrong with Sorbet's left rear oh paw, no. but I was unable to pick him up to see it better until last Tuesday. Half of the paw was missing, Holy shit. looks to be cut off. I have Thank no idea you. or have inkling a good how. Eat, Anyhow, I ran him to the SPCA <laughs> Thank in you, Mia. I appreciate. Thank help us Thank since you. we live in Greene County. So they directed me to the GC Animal Shelter. They were not a vet, but they directed me to an inexpensive vet with no overhead, Dr. Hagen. He and his staff has been able to successfully close the wound, and it is healing very well. I have been keeping him inside in my bedroom with Lucy to keep him company. On that, I would also like to point out that regardless of what I spent our money on, what I spend the money I get at the beginning of the month is none of your business, nosy trolls. You're asking for money okay to pay the bills. Few weeks, they should so have, have not the right, had no? To ask James, for money thank for you the so while much since for the support. I, last I really such a request appreciate it. Video. Thank you, thank you. Anyhow, from among that and kind donations, we were able to afford the bill for Sorbet's operation and healing. So this little kitten is able to better walk again thanks to the help of contributions from kind people like y'all. Thank you. On the 23rd, she notified her followers that she had registered to vote in the US presidential election. Kim Wilson commented that Hillary Clinton was a terrible choice and that the so-called woman card that she gave out, which Christine herself owned, was sexist. Chris replied to her, writing that she did not like what Kim had to say. Chris clarified that the woman card was a rebuttal to Trump playing the woman card, and that Trump was an immature brat who mocked everyone. When Kim asked if she had any other favorites in the political race, Chris said that politics were not her cup of tea, but generally supported those Dr. who showed Juliet the Winters most positive is now boarding, personality traits the and habits, and, have a and that women flight. were smarter. She added that she did not want Trump to become president because according to an episode of the cartoon TV show, The Simpsons, Trump would seriously harm the country's economy. 
Christine pointed out that Trump, spelled backwards, was permert, which rhymed with hurt, punning that he would badly permert. Okay, listen, listen. We don't talk about politics in here because that's just not something that we're going to get into. Okay? We're not doing that. We're not doing that. But why is those reasons? Why are those reasons? Like, we're not, we're not talking about their, their stances and we're not talking about what the fuck this is. Just essentially actually sitting down and saying Simpsons episode and Pummer rhymes with her. Okay. I'm, I'm glad. It was so nice to see you again, Soma. Miss you and hope you're doing well. To the country. Two days later, Chris posted photos of her three cats, commenting if anyone could figure out which one was the odd one out. They're so beautiful. On September 26th, I want them. Chris let her Facebook followers know that she had been excited for buying the new movie, My Little Pony, Equestria Girls, Legend of Everfree, on DVD or Blu-ray, but found out that it had prematurely debuted on YouTube. She didn't watch it, but asked those that did whether or not the character Vinyl Scratch spoke for the first time since her incarnation. Her Facebook friend, William Elliot Waterman, commented that she should just watch the movie on YouTube and not give the filmmakers any money. Chris disagreed, to which Waterman responded with a comment calling the humanoid versions of the ponies creepy. Chris took his comment as hate and encouraged love and kindness. On the 27th, she wrote that she had watched the presidential debate between Thanks, Donald Dennis. Trump and like Hillary Clinton and still found her to be the soundest and smartest choice for president. She found that Clinton remained cool throughout. I'm sorry, Ida, but honestly, the stuff that's like recapping is not worth it, to be honest. Trump, on the other hand, was a one track tape and repeated himself on past deeds that he was proud of. On that same day, she posted a paid video in which she states the reasons why she identified the most with Pearl, a character from the cartoon series Steven Universe. Ah! I feel like, uh, she's a quite a reliable character, she is. She, had, she learned some of her mistakes. She... I think she knows everything, but then she realizes she's not perfect. She doesn't know everything, and nobody's supposed to know everything. And plus, she's a good motivational speaker and teacher. This was soon followed by another video made on her own accord. I got one more that I forgot, inspired by Red Skelton. You were a mean king. You want to be ashamed. You put down women. You want to put money towards STEM businesses and whatnot. You're so mean. You're so ugly. You're so vain. What the fuck is happening? You're a mean king. At this, at this time, we are not voting for you definitely. And if you ever run for king or president again, we're not going to vote for you either. In her third video of the day, Christine performs a political skit using Transformers figurines, originally inspired by musings posted on Facebook. And I just want to say for the record of note, I mean, Omar and I, we've been faring a little better financially, so that's why I have not been uploading videos of requesting more money, so don't think Why do I feel like Plug A had us all on? Frivalities, they have been going towards food, and definitely as I've cited in my one of my recent Facebook posts to help the little kitten who has the hurt foot sore bag. Oh, okay. okay. I was like, wait a minute. So now, Didn't we just see it? Different. A few Transformer jokes. And here's Trump to Tron. And now, by Fuhrer. Oh my God! Right in the Fuhrer's face. Yeah, this is now boarding. Welcome to Level Airlines. Hope you have a safe and enjoyable flight. How do you feel about that, my fur? We saw a picture <laughs> of Sorbet, though. Eh, that's okay. But now, get away from me, you stupid lug nut. Ron, it's me, Donald Trump. I know who you are, and that's why I'm voting for Hillary. You lady hating bastard. <coughs> that's why I knock his head off. Knock his block off. But now, for on the bright, on the positive side. I am an optimist. My name is Optimus. Optimus. Wow. Optimus. Optimus. Wow. Optimus. Yeah. I am an optimist. 
My name's Orion. Optimist Orion. Optimist Orion. Yeah! And now, we'll stop Donald Trump's head. Vote Hillary! Vote Hillary, because she is the smart, the more smart, more intelligent choice. Sarah, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate you gifting to Plage. Jesus Christ, full 30. Thank you, Zero. Let me say his name backwards. Mert, what hurt? You need to stop this. You know that, right? That's that's the last one. That's the last one. Bros, what's the name of this video? This video is called Chris Chan, A Comprehensive History, Part 52. From which she had been banned five years ago. She recently had tried to resolve the issue by sending a typed document to the I've, managers I've of the store, the Discord. which Seriously, was required don't, to be signed Seriously. and then sent back if management accepted to rescind the ban. The contract remained yeah, unsigned. Yeah, 52 so the ban of 59. In place. There's 59 episodes. That Walmart were thusly discriminating against the LGBTQ community and also individuals with autism and wanted her post to go viral so more people could read her message. The next day, she wrote another very similar post this time directed at the GameStop, from which she was also banned after pepper spraying an employee. The to-be-signed document sent to GameStop was later leaked on the Kiwi Farms. In it, she proclaimed that her protest against the changing of Sonic the Hedgehog's arm color from tan to blue was an outdated matter, and that she regretted her actions. The management's failure to forgive and forget her misdeeds to her meant that they were uncompassionate and lacking of heart and soul, and much that's like okay. presidential candidate Donald Trump who only wanted to make the country broke so he could pay off his petty debts. Oh if she were God. to be forgiven for her vintage actions, it would provide peace of mind for both herself and the employees of the store. She left a blank space meant to be signed and dated by the managers of the store. Is it? On the 7th, she posted a no, philosophical no. query asking Ten her readers whether they would build like 10, a stairway or a ladder to heaven if given the ability. This episode is episode 52. On October 17th, Christine shared an article detailing Donald Trump's messages on the social media site Twitter, uh. written in the aftermath of actor Alec Baldwin's parodic portrayal of him on the comedy show Saturday Night Live. She reflected that if Trump could not take a direct parody of himself made in jest, then he was immature and not unlike a spoiled baby brat. Yeah, we started she at one at the, the beginning of August, so it's been this long. Christopher Winfield Vega from the troll Vivian G's novelette renamed by Christine to Critabel, bore a striking resemblance to Donald Trump, even though Vivian had originally based the character on Christian Chandler himself. The next day, oh Chris God. made a short oh video God. asking for monetary donations. By this date, she had not delivered any commissioned videos in 18 days. Hello, YouTubers. This is Christine Chandler coming to you live from home. Again, See, I actually expected my voice today to be like this, but, uh... Me, I'm sick with a cold in my throat, and I am currently... That's definitely fake. That's whisper. definitely fucking fake. All right. So anyway... That's Just so they don't have to do any work, that's definitely fucking fake. This is day three with not being able to speak above a whisper. It's been quite difficult on me. I've been, drink I've been enjoying some chicken nose soup. We're running low on chicken soup too, but we're also running low on we're also low on money, so donations would be greatly appreciated. So yeah, please help. Me a Day more three, <laughs> week or two. All right, thank you. Have a good day. On okay, October I really need this video to end soon. Christine I need to pee. Christine the Twitter account for the reality TV series "The Internet Ruined My Life." A show detailing real-life accounts of personal torment and trouble caused by actions online. She asked to be featured in the next season of the show, even though the series concluded its first season half a year prior and was never renewed for a second season. On the 26th, Chris wrote a backwards message on Facebook, which translated to, Here's a good exercise for your brain. Spell any words backwards and pronounce them that way. Have fun with that. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. On October 28th, she wrote of the upcoming animated film, Trolls, made by DreamWorks. A gamer without a piss bottle? Yeah, I can't aim very well. Sorry, movie, Carmel. Since personally, the concept of making Trolls a positive icon Hi, had been Crane. soured by the word's association to her past experiences yeah, with Yeah, I think it's been a while though, right? Boys. On November 8th, 
Christine informed her readers that she and her mother had voted for Hillary Clinton in the 2016 U.S. presidential election. The next day, she complained about Why the, the both of you tell me issues it's concerning the racing video game Skylanders Superchargers <laughs> Turn on the aim assist. Oh my games, god, copy! Asking the developer, Activision, to resolve the problem, even though it was impossible to have Nintendo-made characters playable on the PlayStation 4 ah! console like she wanted. On November 9th, Donald Trump was officially declared the next president of the United States. Christine took the news very negatively, making posts both on Facebook and Twitter, asking if anyone could take a sniper rifle and kill Trump. Jesus, my she Christ. deleted the Facebook post after two hours, but her tweet remained, which was then used. Y'all, it's fine! I can wait rifle, a little! What the fuck? Radio host, Paul Joseph Watson, as an example of the hateful remarks expressed by Trump haters, which was published on the website run by controversial radio host and political commentator well, I'm glad Alex you're Jones. I'm, I'm glad you're happy to be Chris back. Chris herself <laughs> later shared the article on Twitter. Her tweet was consequently shared by others, or retweeted, over 250 times in the first day. Among wow. those who retweeted was popular YouTuber Sky Williams, who asked if it were possible to report Chris as her comments could be argued to be an act of treason, an imprisonable offense. Another person who featured Christine's comments in their tweet was David Duke, American neo-Nazi and former Grand Wizard, oh the leading figure of the white supremacist hate group Ku Klux wow. Klan. Duke saw the comments from her and others to be justification for rioting in the streets to defend their democracy. Before the end of the day, she either deleted the tweet or it was forcibly removed by moderators. Also on the 9th, Chris followed up with a Thank YouTube you, video it's okay, it's okay. Aid I know. Mert, aid, which was the phrase, die Trump, die, spelled backwards. Well, Mr. Trump. I know, I heard that too. I was like, Grand Wizard? Oh, like what you are you watching? We're watching Chris Sean, A Comprehensive History. You would so it's a Chris Sean documentary. Country, definitely. I have heard you won. Therefore, now you can feel the pain. I hope you feel this pain, because you're a mean one, Mr. Trump. Now go die. Die again. Die, Trump. Die. On November 10th, Christine pleaded on Twitter for everyone to pray that Trump would die before being sworn in in January of next year. Three days later, she began adding URL links to presents that she would like to be gifted for Christmas of 2016 uh, as part of her wish list. The list largely included Skylanders and Transformers figurines, in addition to any newer Lego sets. She added that she would not accept any forms of gift cards. She told Kim Wilson that it was because she had been sent gift cards with no money on them and did not want to get tricked in that way again. Her other Facebook friend, William Elliot Waterman, criticized her for asking her fans for gifts That's when true. she had That's yet true. to deliver 100 new pages of her Sonichu comic for which she had been commissioned. Chris also linked to the Facebook post oh, on she didn't Twitter, even answer which was that. not well received by followers. On November 13th, she wished on Facebook for the deaths of Trump and his running mate, Mike Pence, because she feared as a Libyan trans woman what they would do if they would move into the White House. A Libyan. Also on that day, Jesus she delivered her first paid video on YouTube in over a month, a half hour long reading of a story <laughs> concerning a terrorist plot. Anyway, so I've been paid for this oh my god, oh now. my god! On a cold and windy brilliant, day brilliant, in honestly. Chicago, Toby was born. He was an adorable little baby who always laughed and <gasps> Kitty! 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 Hmm. Toby. That's not a good time. No! Boy. Keep him! Oh, no. Let him That's stay! Let him know! Ha <laughs> ha! The night passed slowly. Danush and his men never showed up. Toby started wondering if this was actually Danush's hideout. One afternoon, Toby... This is hey. episode 52. Get down from there. Not allowed to poach from the dry food. Sorba, get down from there. Get down from there. Shit. 
Thanks a lot. Now I got do a take two on this part. How do we get this? How do we get this if this is take two? I'm confused. <sighs> oh. Dude, what am I watching? What am I watching? This was soon followed by a personal video in which Chris spoke of her feelings regarding the election. I record this video. Be with my random boot check right now, though. That I am not obligated to accept the current situations, nor do I accept Mr. Trump at all. I have absolutely no respect for Donald Trump. And I uphold the First Don't Amendment. Don't forget your boot checks, y'all. Pleading the First Amendment. And I plead the Fifth Amendment as well in the following statements and video. Personal thoughts, responses, and everything. Thank you. Oh! Damn, that editing is wild. Hello, people on the air. That boot's good? Speaking yeah, so far. So far. Home once again. And. Wait, what's yeah. the spot? Trump has been elected. I'm just kidding. But there's a I'm chance good, I'm good, I'm good. that he will, not, he will not make it to office. Jesus of fucking age, Christ. At the very least. Everybody's and boobs good? Die before women. Give me a break. Hello, everybody on the internet. Right. What the? Layton, what's wrong with your boobs? Elected. Anyway, uh, obviously being great, the great Hillary supporter, both my mother and I have voted for Hillary. At <laughs> least I lost one. Where is it? Because she won the Virginia vote. Anywho, uh, let's, anywho, aside from that, so yes, I have responded to the election results quite barely. Yeah, but Chris uh, doesn't care about anything. Roughly. Chris doesn't know anything. Right. Chris, I think so even if Chris knew, Chris wouldn't which, care. Orange face, being pretty much representative of Trump himself, because he is orange face. All right. So, everybody, we must pray for Trump's death to happen before January 2017. Oh my God. Not the words, but he's been encased. We can have a tombstone, a mock tombstone. And we can pretend it. We can have fun dancing on his grave. Wow! Wow! Of course, that'll be regardless of whether he is buried underground or shelved in a mausoleum. Either by illness or by hand of it, by the hands of his own Mike Pence. Die, Trump! Die! And then, Pence, Pence, you're under arrest. So says this chain cop. You're going to the jail belonging to the truck cops and chain cops. <coughs> Pardon me. So they got you too, eh? Huh? They got me for being a jerk cop. Among all the other jerk cops that Thank use you. their badges like crackers. Anyway, don't sit on the toilet. The end. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yep. I feel the same way, even when spelled backwards. Good night. The video was also accompanied by a Facebook post, which featured a picture of the Lego incarnations of Trump and Pence being hanged together, and text in a meme-like format read that since jail for them was unlikely. The LGBTQ community wished death upon them to preserve their protection and rights. As Christine tried to deal with a reality that was not to her liking, she, like in many situations before, resorted to creating realities which existed only in her imagination, because the only reality that she had full control over, for the time being at least, was in her mind.
every day we stray further from God. How many is the bathroom? We shall prevail! What made her this way? How often have you been peeing and hydrated as fuck? Well? I'm trying to stay hydrated. What keeps us fascinated? We shall this overcome! The Lily, Christian. have you slept? I, I have slept. My sleeping hasn't been all that good, but I'm sleeping. Like yesterday I only had, or this morning, I only had like five hours, but it was really good deep sleep. And then, yes, the day before, I had like a long time, but I like kept waking up every On so November often. On November 15th, so. 2016, Christine made a short update video, letting her observers yep. know We're that she had been an banned from posting on the social Christian. media site a Facebook for history. one week. Possibly because of the many death threats she had written concerning President-elect Donald Trump. Because of uh, Facebook giving me the uh, removing post and block me from posting again, it's at this time lasting for less than a few, a couple of days, a day or two has passed, so it's less than a, one week now. But anyway, in the meantime, yeah, I don't I will think I was complaining. I was just explaining Twitter during the days, if and when I am unable to post on my Facebook. So please do atten pay attention to those po to those tweets. Thank you. Have a good day. What are we paying attention to, Chris? In the videos after what are we paying attention that, she to? went to Twitter to link to her 2016 Christmas wish list of items that was originally posted on Facebook. Chris wrote that people wanting to buy any presents for her should not wait for Christmas to do so and send them to her as soon as they could. She then shared a screenshot of a custom character created in the game Skylanders, meant to represent herself and then added the chance to 3D print her character for $50 as another item on her wish list. On November 16th, she tweeted a picture of her custom-created Skylanders character, Fort Chanonymous, which to her was the representation wow! of the real internet troll and cyberbully mascot. Wow! On the 20th, Chris wrote a long Bye, thread Sarchi. of tweets addressing her feelings regarding President-elect Donald Trump. I mean, nice to see you again. Thanks Hashtag for being here. Donald Trump. Hashtag not my president. 
I have given my issues and feelings of Trump some thought. They are justified between all of his and actions stated and acted during the three debates. I still feel strongly from those that he is never qualified to run this, our, country. He is a hot-headed, impulsive, orange-faced, money-grubbing, double-dealing, immigrant and race offensive, and most offensive to us in the LGBTQ communities, regardless of his transgender bathroom choice statement from before any of the debates. He offends me greatly. As much as I would like to choose to be rednecked and stubborn enough to plead Brian's complete Angel ignorance is now and utter Brian's denial Angel of him is now and Pence not only on the verge of taking office, there oh. are still too many damn visuals about the best. <laughs> Moody! 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 Thank you so much for buying a ticket. I appreciate it. What the fuck? Ah ha ha! What the fuck? What the fuck? Ah ha ha! Ah ha ha! What the fuck? No! No! Thank you, Moody. I really appreciate it. Why would you want this? Why would you want? Why would you want this? Why would you want this? Astrid's that plane. Why would you want this? I still Thank sincerely you. want Trump and Pence to not take office and give the role of president what with the most fuck? What the civil fuck? grace to Hillary Clinton. And since that is most ah! bloody unlikely of Trump ever, I'm still most pained to continue having to. <laughs> Pray for Trump's and Pence's deaths to happen before January 2017 by someone else's hands or illness. Trump is the most offensive, most insufferable, and is of so many typical offensive male stereotypes. He probably was born with two damned Y chromosomes instead of the usual XY pair. And regardless of any redeeming media about him, counting the transgender restroom topic, versus everything else that piles against him, including every word and action of his from the debates. Wait, and especially wait, counting. Wait, wait, okay, hold on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I have to do the math. I have to do the math. This is 40 minutes. Okay. Fifty four, fifty five, fifty six, fifty seven, fifty eight, fifty nine. That's six. Let's say around five, six hours, right? Let's say that. Um, oh, oh, okay, okay. His every verbal oh, okay. and physical abuse to women what, everywhere. What, like, Trump what? offends me greatest. A lot of people agree with me on that. And there is nothing, nor any amount of time or whatever else, that would make it the cold day oh, in no. the Earth's core oh, no, to ever like, make me no, have no, like, even a no. remote inkling of a That's mystery wrapped in a riddle inside an enigma of any change of feeling or heart of mine about Trump. Ever. And I know Pence is just as much anti-LGBTQ and everything else that Trump is. So my feelings are the same with that. Rat bastard as well. Very much. I'm fine. Trump I'm, I'm trying Pence to figure out either stuff. Either down and let Hillary happening. and Kane take office as just and redeeming. Graces. Or take 24-7 prayers of death from the lot of us. Until when you Lame both do before next January. people are going to get January mad if there's too many ads. Someone. You either else. need sleep or water. Science. Illness, I have a lot or of whatever sleep else. water. You both really piss us all off. On November 21st, the Chandlers oh. paid $616.52 in property Not taxes three minutes, for their home. Jesus Christ. Shortly after, Christine uploaded a short YouTube video asking for monetary donations. Hmm, our mortgage company's biting our butts once again. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to scrounge up enough. Oh my locally, god, I still can't believe you, sure Moody. Moody. <laughs> so, I mean, I am very thankful for all the kind donations that I have received from y'all within the past uh, year and greater. More than a year. Long time. Well, a few years. But we really could use, use some you. more help Thank now. You, oh, Jesus. So, oh, Jesus. Just what you can send to me via PayPal. Please. 
Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. In response, Kiwi Farms member Philosophy Phil sent her a donation of one penny, about which Chris complained in a tweet, asking for donations of $10 or more instead of a penny. On November 22nd, Christine gleefully announced that her week-long ban from Facebook had ended. Hey, On that same day, Hello Therese, my name is Lilo. I love to travel and I'm just trying <laughs> my fucking best, okay? Um, thank you. <laughs> How was your stream? Was it more singing? By the way, I sang for like seven hours straight yesterday. Surprise, surprise. You don't, I, I, he, he literally doesn't do anything but sing. Uh, yeah, yeah. I actually, it, well, it was crazy because I think like yesterday I was like feeling myself and I did full belting. We did, I did full belting and, and I hit a lot of like stuff and notes that I did not think that I was going to hit. We were doing a lot of really good songs. Th thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I know. I was like, holy shit. I didn't even sound this good in the recording booth. That sucks. But nice to see you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hello, Taurus. My name. Oh, wait, I already did the thing. Um. Um, yeah, yeah, to all the tourists, if you guys haven't seen me or known me, uh, I am in the middle of my uncapped subapalooza. Every dollar spent is an extra minute to how long I stream. We are currently... Wait. Don't, don't tell me, I have to learn by myself. 40, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57. Hours in. We have 11 more hours to go. 20 minutes ago, we only had six hours. And then Moody just dropped a shit ton because Moody didn't want to end on Christian. Eh. She wrote a lengthy post declaring that skirts and dresses. I sleep. Were more I sleep. Just in case you guys don't know, yeah, I do sleep overnight. I, I do sleep. So I have, through all of August, I've recorded. 10 hours of content every night, like worth 10 hours of content every night for like a week that, that I can just put up while I sleep. And you guys get to still watch me do shit. And, and I actually get sleep. It just so happens that yesterday I got plastered and uh, having alcohol in your system fucks up your sleep. So like I slept at 5 a.m. this morning and then at 10 a.m. I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm I. What if you run out of content? You guys would have to keep me here past the 7th. No, past the 8th. So another like four days for me to run out of content. Yeah, unaired content. I know. I know. I've, I've been doing it. I probably... No, it's not a challenge. It's not a challenge. I'm just... I'm just saying... I'm just saying that's how it happened. I'm just saying I overprepared, that's all. And then, you know, so, so I don't, it's not as easy for me to run out of content. That's my point. My point is it's not as, that as easy for me to run out of content. Um, but if I do, I know some of y'all have been asking for ASMR sleep stream. Not that I'm gonna let y'all hear it. It's just, we can all just sleep together. But it's nice to see you. Thanks for taking your post on Tour Hibiki. If you guys don't know, on my channel, actually, uh, shout out to Hibiki. He is uh, my actual younger brother, literally blood related. Same parents, same childhood. You know, this is the one that this is the one that like at the age of seven, he saved up all his money from Christmases and birthdays to get me, the 13 year old, a, uh, a, a 3DS. And we played Animal Crossing together. It's great. Comfortable attire than pants and that they also served better to hide the pelvic and groin region. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was actually mentioned on yesterday night's uh, overnight content. Who wore pants, which she felt were too revealing and allowed perverts no. to imagine what women looked like. He saved up to buy me a 13-year-old, comma, she was by me, comma, a 13-year-old, comma, and a 3DS. The cooking utensil she used, the spatula spreader, made yeah, by Cutco, which was at Hibiki the time over 10 years All right, old, love you, kiddo. likely meaning that this was one of the unsold items received during his short stint as a salesman for the company in 2003. Also over Thanksgiving, Christine uploaded a gameplay video titled Stop! Quick vs. Coass. 
featuring Christine W. Chandler fighting against the villainous Super Chaos in the game Skylanders. Chris meant for the video to act as an advertisement for her custom-made character, which could then be produced as a collectible card, t-shirt, or a 3D printed figurine by the makers of Skylanders. Oh, she by the way, I'm so sorry for all the tourists. To Chris um, we are doing a Christian from fans endurance stream, so we have like six more episodes of Christian. For a profit, with an autograph costing an additional $20. Later again, she made a Facebook post Wish addressing the trolls. Feeling off. Ugh. Once again, I am feeling off. Feeling dizzy. Mentally here and there. Feeling like I am jumping in three directions simultaneously. Taking a rest right now. I tell everyone Excuse online me. something, especially the internet trolls. If you haters had not reported my Sonichu comic books on Lulu last December, I seriously would be maintaining the creating groove I had before that major mishap. Since that happened, you it right, has though, left Rota. a huge you scar right. on me emotionally and mentally. Think about that for a while, you jerks. Ugh, I'm a Erech. <laughs> on November 26th, Christine notified her Facebook I'm readers that her mother had slipped and fallen, but her fall I'm was broken arrow. by some household items and was ultimately <laughs> not harmed. She later wrote a post concerning an episode of the animated series Teen Titans Go, which reflected that a fan base can make someone feel better. Chris could not personally appreciate that sentiment since she had been fooled and trolled so many times to the point that she cannot accept compliments as genuine. She felt paranoid about people trying to trick her into doing things, reflecting on the interview sessions she had with YouTuber Bravery Jerk, who had promised her the use of a 3D printer but failed to deliver, which caused her a lot of emotional pain. On November 30th, she shared a YouTube animation from Doopy Do-Over a voice actress and animator working for the collective of YouTube channels known as Planet Dolan concerning the fan support platform Patreon. Chris stated that she was hesitant to start up a Patreon to receive extra funds from fans because she was unable to offer additional gifts and previews in return. Later that day, she updated her followers that her mother had to pawn off her 14 karat gold necklace in a pawn shop for $325, which she was hoping would help the family pay off their mortgage. In response, Christine decided that she would ultimately try to set up a Patreon account to hopefully buy back her mother's necklace or to pay the mortgage in full. Mission fail. We get she then made a we'll formal get announcement on her YouTube channel. To try to help out with finances here at home, I have set up a Patreon account, which there's a link. There will be a link in the description below, and use the. Icon Dude, you can't even do. Are you kidding me? Like you can't even do the Etsy orders that you have. The reflective way it goes backward. So anyway, the big goal is to have two hundred fifty thousand dollars pay off the mortgage, all our debts and whatnot, so then I can feel the whole financial weight. Woof 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 woof. So that I can quickly. Hi, Mary. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Thanks for coming by. We're on episode fifty-three. We'll get to you soon, Mary. <laughs> Hi! Things are coming by. Anyway, on Patreon, everybody that donates ooh, ooh, can ooh. request a video and also will be allowed to add me onto their Skype. How are you and doing? The larger the donations, the quicker we can get to the goal, the faster I'll be able to feel creative again and actually be able to do better on gifts towards for toward everybody because I can't offer much for much for right now. I'm serious no, about yeah. that. And that's regardless oh? of everything that I Mary, you still have it? Background here. Oh my god, I'd be honored. Okay. okay. Are you kidding me? Thank you so days, much for gifting. Thank you for gifting to Mary. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Mary, if, Mary, if, if I'm not plugging you out too much, to please, I'd be honored. Will you reach it tonight? Also in the final yeah, we have to November, finish it today. <laughs> she updated her 2016 Christmas wish list to remove two Transformers figurines, which she received in the mail, leaving her phrasing vague so that it was unclear whether they were bought we're doing, by a fan we're finishing it or tonight. by herself. We're doing an endurance. She then showcased them in a in. video uploaded that same day. But anyway, I'm doing this video because I have heard on the radio earlier about how successful the ice bucket challenge was. And I, yeah. And 
regardless of how everybody is getting a new challenge where they're they might they might still be dumping very cold water from buckets on their heads and also more recently I've heard again backpacks thrown upon them by crowds or standing still to be mannequins oh we're gonna do something different I think days. Mary Since conducted Mary, the interview MGO game MGO 316 I think the, the link to his channel will be in the description below this video as well as bigfattoystore.com I have just received this in the mail today from a, from a very nice Yeah, video. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mary conducted the, the interview with, with Chris. Since the Alpha Trion video. I, is, yeah, I'd be you know, honored if you're okay with it. I, I definitely don't want to uh, pressure you or anything. Mgo did the voice for Alpha Trion. <laughs> Here's one example that I'm... It's going to be a lot easier since we actually know you like and have a good time with you. Soundway video. Here, Mr. Howe, I don't understand me. Tomorrow. When the gerbil retreats into its bug hole, the moon shall fall into a vet of Tokyo. Okay, that's not, I mean, I'm sure. I, I mean, I know you. You're, and the man you're not says, willing to do that, that so. Sounds, you know what's weird? I understood that. Thank you. I would, I would really appreciate it. Thanks, you Mary. Would. What's that supposed to mean? Did someone need to find door open again? Anyway, so, yeah. So, from there, the old theme of Young Warrior has been has been around since so i'm issuing a new challenge you got to see how see how long everybody can go hit go on saying that just you can call it the alpha trion challenge or it can be also known as the young warrior challenge chris john likes anime I don't know how they are about anime during this time, but they they like grew up loving anime. So, warrior, I love that line. Hear me now and understand me tomorrow. That makes that definitely the question true. Two days later, Chris made another video attempting to explain how to accomplish her recently created challenge. Upon reading that some fans did not understand the reasoning behind the challenge. The uh, challenge is starting the video, starting off with, and you want to do this live from your own voice, live recording. You don't want to, you not, do not do a previous recording that just goes on and on and on and on and on and no video edits. That's part of the challenge. But anyway, the joke was, as Emgo put it, he said, Yo! Oh my god, the mic is... What the fuck? So, you want, so, starting off, the first thing you do, you say Young Warrior, and you go long on the O, as long as you're Okay, I still don't know exactly why the challenge breath. is a challenge, though. And after that, you uh, speak to the camera, some sound advice, of which you might have thought of yourself, or heard from your parents, Daddy. or your grandparents, or other relatives, or friends, yada yada yada. And on the more serious note... Me, the longest yeah boy. Me, Hillary Clinton. was Trump and pets. Da -da 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 -da. Seriously though, Trump, pets, Donald Trump and pets, advocate the office and let Hillary Clinton take it. Or else a lot of Americans, including myself, are still gonna pray for your deaths to happen before January. So you better oh, see you fuck. So y'all will def so America and you will definitely be a lot better off having Hillary for president. So advocate the office, Trump! Advocate the position! And then maybe I'll take it down yeah. off of that noose. Sorry, I accidentally <laughs> hit my... <laughs> What's it called? Curtain. Trump. Thanks, Bobby. Not my president. Hillary. Our president. Yay! Wonder Woman!
Thank you and have a good day. I wonder I what those rings are video. for. Like why? Because oh. they mentioned Fun it before hilarity. too with the little green string. Like I wonder what that actually does or what they think less. about it. How do we go from a challenge to this? It doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter. On December 8th, Christine posted a picture of herself looking tired on Facebook and commented on how tired she looked. On the 9th, she shared a Facebook video about missing one's mother during the Christmas season what? and what? wrote that she missed her father every day, thinking that he was enjoying his Christmas in his new life. On December 10th, a new episode of the animated series Sonic Boom, titled The Biggest Fan, featured a character called Mark the Taper, an obsessive fan of Sonic the Hedgehog. It officially is meant to lampoon the more obsessive traits of the Sonic fandom, but also many persons interested in Chris felt that he bore a striking resemblance to Chris Chan. Similarities included a hairstyle and glasses combination similar to Chris's previous appearance, a noted overweightness, nah, nah. a hinted unwillingness to accept Sonic's blue arms, oh, okay, and yeah. a possible fondness for orange soda. Two days later, Christine watched the episode after hearing rumors that Mark the Taper was meant to represent her. She noted that despite the arm color reference, the common fat, glasses, and hair, there was no resemblance between her and Mark. Highlighting I feel that she like was the arm thing was definitely like, like the, the arm character. thing is just the main part. Also Everything else day, is like, yeah. Chris wrote that the family had sure. briefly lost their newest cat, Sorbet. After searching the house, she found that Sorbet had gotten trapped in Chris's old room after her mother, Barbara, had come in there to check on the thermostat and closed the door, leaving Sorbet behind. Oh my god. On December 17th, Chris posted a paid birthday greeting on YouTube. Hey there, everybody, it's Christine Chandler coming in live from home once again. And by pay request, here's a birthday dedication. Happy birthday, Ricky. Is Sorbet you okay? Are in grade two on the 20th. So good for you. And I turned. I don't know. 34 this year? <laughs> year earlier. Anyway, so. Why are they talking uh, like that? So Why is he talking like that? Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy, happy birthday. I'm using a selfie stick. Random things. Random. Oops. Oh. Let me check. It's your day. <gasps> Okay, so, yes. Happy birthday, Ricky. Hope you have a safe and pleasant one. And it's exactly who you think it is, Gambit. So it is exactly who you there. think it is. The light's on up there. Well, you Mary, the why? Yeah. Have a good day, everyone. Two days later, Christine posted on Facebook that her oh mother was selling the family's lawn mowing tractor for $595 after being used only a few times. Oh my god! On the 22nd, she posted that she felt a burning sensation Gammy, in her Gammy, sinus and commented that if one were to lead a too stressful life, life, they would leave themselves open to uh, a viral infection. Not long. I. Mary, oh my god, that's so funny. Okay, I didn't realize that. I didn't realize that Mary meant that being with Quick is hell. And I was like, I thought Mary just had this like big vendetta against Sorbet. And I was like, okay. I mean, Mary, I know you. Long after, oh my god. She commented that she would likely only have sparse sleep spurts during that night. On Christmas Eve, I feel, I Christine feel like that was me like two nights ago. That she used to know ago. where everything was located in her house. I'm so but sorry. since the fire and renovation, every item had been relocated, and now did not concretely know what she even still had at home. Furthermore, she felt that she had more freedom when her father was alive, and now in his absence, she had to take care of the deeds which used to be done by him. Yeah, Finally, stupid dog. She wrote that one could only escape into their mental depths and recluse for so long before they would eventually be pulled back into reality, back where so many reality. things are yet it to be done. Gravity, on Christmas Day, Chris posted a short clip of her cat Sorbet <gasps> playing with a toy robot. Damn, Sorbet teething or what? Yeah, I think Sorbet passed, y'all. On December Everybody 27th, says our babe Chris made a long post regarding her past experiences with internet trolls and reflected whether she wanted the quickie 
the encyclopedic website detailing all of her actions to be taken down. On one hand, she commented that the quickie kept Christine and her Sonichu characters in the public spotlight and encouraged conversation related to her worldwide. But on the other hand, they continued to deface her in a derogative malmanner, discussing her past misevents encouraged by haters from before 2011, when he was more naive. However, as the quickie forums and later kiwi forums came into fruition, trolls got an outlet to discuss her freely without consequence, and so thought that the quickie had less of a reason to exist anymore. As a final addition, Christine wrote that with the closing down of the quickie, she would finally reacquire the sonichu.com domain, which would allow her to use it for her official sonichu projects. Two days later, in response to an article on Facebook regarding a possible anti-LGBTQ act to be signed by President-elect Donald Trump, Chris wrote a puzzler for his consideration. She wrote that if there was an alternate reality or dimension where every person on this planet was of the opposite gender and that the B in LGBTQ instead represented heterosexuality, would Trump allow his female counterpart in that other universe to sign an anti-straight law? If he answered no, then Trump would have no reason to pass the anti-LGBTQ law in this dimension. What the However, fuck? if he what said the yes, fuck? then he would be branded a self-loathing person who would allow a law to be passed which discriminated against himself. Chris told him to advocate the office and let Hillary Clinton take over or die from his own or someone else's hand. Like, why do you she have also to wrote make a short comment on the article like in which she ordered Trump to advocate the office or die. On the 30th, Christine made a YouTube video advertising the Z-Ring, an accessory item made to function together with the game Pokemon Sun and Moon. And over a Christmas holiday, what? I've uh, managed to get myself my own Z-Ring bracelet. And of course, uh, before, the month came, before the month came in, I had traded many games, got my copies of Pokemon Sun and Moon. And of course, you all know from everybody on the internet what this thing does with Pokemon Sun and Moon, which I'm going to demonstrate for you in a little bit of my favorite with, the, with my female Primarina Ariel. Anyway, so, yeah, you know what it does, so. Whoa! I love it because it's so musical. Okay, hey, that's pretty sick. What musical the fuck? Wait, does it actually do anything though? Is it like, like you know how like the Pokey Walker actually did shit? And then I knocked myself over. Oh well. Anyway, thank you and have a good day. That's it. It just lights up. On January second, twenty seventeen. Christine wished her Facebook followers ah, a happy sad. new year. Two days later, she wrote that she had finished reading the, the anthology Pokey comic Walker book, is the best. Love is Love, dedicated to the victims of the shooting that took place at Pulse, a gay nightclub in oh Orlando, Florida, in June 2016. She shared some of her favorite pages from the comic and thought that it could serve as a teaching tool. On the 9th, she expressed her annoyance upon being told that she could not donate blood because transgender people were not allowed to do so on the count of their varying balances of estrogen and testosterone in their blood. Chris complained that no one had 100% perfect blood and that she would be sending a complaint to the Pulse was actually and very hard. I, um, I was January living 12th, in Orlando. Chris posted a video made in the style um, of YouTuber MGO316 reviewing her Pulse. 3D printed figurine uh, for the game really, Skylanders really made in her own likeness. Wow. I never thought Christine could look more pretty. What do you think, Rosie? Oh well, yes, I quite like you very much. Yeah, Pulse yeah, was 20 minutes away. Like, like my friends went like the week her. before. It's it's really crazy. She's wearing goggles. Oh, look at the picture. She's not wearing goggles. Those are her glasses. Program 2000 is now boarding. Oh, Welcome well, to Little Airlines. Have a safe and enjoyable thing. flight. She then shows off extensive gameplay of her character in action. The next oh, day, know. she posted a new paid YouTube video. Okay, anyway, Peace to the victims. Uh, so, to Fran, James wants you to know that uh, he loves you very much and that James will get you to have dinner with him. <laughs> he calls that a personal joke. I don't care. That's between you and him. Whatever. What anyway, the fuck? What the fuck? Congratulations very much on your anniversary. Keep it on going very well. Okay, and then... Hi, Axel! A little bonus, actually. A... Kind of a new song, but based on a regular song. But I think uh, it really hi, works. Sadie. And it's fired by Love is Love. Okay. 
What is love, 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 love is love, 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 and you have a lot of it, 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 you're a cut up, buff, buff, buff. What is love, love is love, when you have a lot of it, that's a lot of love, and when you have it, you're a cut up, buff. What is love, 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 love is love, 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 when you have a lot of it, it, at this point, you don't even bother asking what is anything, okay, Shady? It's just, it happens, and we're just watching it. This is Chris's world. We're just living in it. Okie dokie. Happy anniversary, Ron and Jane. Take care and be safe. Two days later, Christine shared the lyrics of her song on Facebook, along what with a photo love, of her mother with pony love, figure of Final love. Scratch, <laughs> seemingly kissing the figurine customized to look like Chris herself. Also on that day, she claimed that she would not be watching the upcoming inauguration of President-elect Donald Trump. She added that she had recently watched the Shimon, movie so Suicide Squad, lurking. focusing well, on characters you know you'll get from the, the DC aid? Comics universe, to which but. the superheroes Batman and Robin also belonged. She reflected that in the comic Love is Love, which she had recently read, Batman and Robin considered that the LGBTQ community were, like themselves, different from the rest of society. Therefore, she felt that their city, Gotham, was pro-LGBTQ and would rather Bruce Wayne, or Batman, be the millionaire president rather than Trump because he was more kind and understanding yep, to the community. Yep, mm -hmm. On the 19th, someone texted definitely, Chris asking if she would consider believable. discussing her thoughts about the upcoming handheld game console the Nintendo Switch, what the which fuck? she replied that she had no thoughts because she was preoccupied. On January 20th, the date of Donald Trump's inauguration, Christine made a video announcing that in her opinion, the US had no president or vice president. People of YouTube and around the world, the bad news has come in. See, we already got here? Elect we already got here? Sworn in. Nintendo Switch is actually already Hogwarts, coming out? Who is feeling the vice presidential condition. And as far as I am concerned, I hereby state that as long as Pence and Trump are in the White House whatsoever on this note, <laughs> Mary. I do not validate, I do not entertain. Mary, what are you talking about? This I is not Trump. I do acknowledge either of them at all as president and vice president. We have lewd Decepticon perpetrators in the seats. Oh my god. And as I do not acknowledge either of them in the White House, I hereby decree Decepticon has my This vote. country has no president. I repeat, as long as Trump and Pence are in the office, <laughs> this country does not have a president or vice president. You period. guys. And we will have to wait four years with a vacant seat in the presidential White Off House. This is indeed a very sad day for this country. And that is how I feel about it. And it will not be changed until Trump leaves the White House and takes Pence with him. Or at this point, when they are both deceased. And then we could actually have Hillary Clinton in office, mm. and this country would be a whole lot better. She also made several tweets addressing the president and vice president directly, writing with the same sentiment as her video. Also on the 20th, editor for the right-wing news and commentary website Breitbart, Milo Yiannopoulos, delivered a speech at the University of Washington in an event titled, Cyberbullying Isn't Real. <laughs> During the presentation, he briefly featured a photo of Chris. Oh? When Who George is this? Senior ran for president, they called him a wimp. He was a fighter pilot and head of the CIA. What will happen when we have the first presidential campaign featuring genderqueer furries with videos of themselves crying on YouTube because someone insulted their My Little Pony drawings? Um, we know, we know, don't we, what the first social justice president will look like? Who is this? If this keeps up, your future commander-in-chief may have a history of sexually abusing Zia Self. <laughs> to gay Harry Potter fan fiction. 
on January 22nd, inspired by an article posted on... I... Look, I don't know who that is, right? I, I think... I think I heard something about them back then. <laughs> I know, I know. I was like, wait, look, I, I don't know what they're trying to say exactly, but at least get the facts straight. I don't think... It had uh, Harry Potter, gay Harry Potter fan fiction had anything to do with this story. I I would have noticed a little bit more, maybe. On Elephant Journal, Christine wrote a lengthy letter offering some advice and words of wisdom to President Trump's young son, Baron. To young Mr. Baron Trump, I, for one, feel for you as a victim of cyberbullying and internet trolling myself. I, too. Have been Dumb, there's not just one broken, gay Harry beaten, Potter fan scarred, What do you mean that fan fiction? Especially during the early years when I tried to self manage my web presence with my own websites of my Sonichu and Roastchu character. Google me. I have been past disgraced and deceived by those bullies who pretend to be of good intentions. I have later better learned to ignore their hatred and do not respond or address their individual cruel words. And I have the option in my phone, email, Facebook, etc to program their contact info into a single trolling stupid's contact list and block the lot of them. But, fortunately, out of the number of people worldwide, the haters oh, are but okay, a small okay. percentage, and of a large percentage are a vast community of people who are more open-hearted and kind, as I can and do personally vouch for, as I have met these people face to face. And it may surprise you to know what community of people is this who are able to keep open minds and open hearts for everyone, despite an encounter of the people who hate. These are the people of, and the supporters of, the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender slash transvestite, and queer, the LGBTQ communities. And I, myself, am a lesbian trans woman. No shame. And I wear the person that I am with pride and honor. There was a time before I realized mine being a female soul, trapped in a male-born body, when I was homophobic. But I became better aware of these kind and open-hearted people, and learned how understanding and compassionate they are. And with that, losing the homophobia, I felt more at peace with myself and those around me. I pray you have been finding, at least an ounce of, is the such same kindness from your father, as well as those closest to you. And I, personally, extend such kindness as I type this letter to you, Baron by sharing some wisdom and experience to help you be able to better cope the hatred from others by countering them with open-hearted kindness and understanding. Thank you for listening, Baron, and God bless you. Sincerely, Miss Christine Weston Chandler, Rutgersville, Virginia, USA. On the 27th, Christine changed her Facebook profile photo to her past one with a filter of the French flag overlaid, made to commemorate the November 2015 terrorist attacks in France, because she could not accept Trump as the President of the United States. She wished oh that Hillary Clinton could become President so that the growing oh, hatred so caused by Trump gifting. could be really undone, and that the living people you. from the United States and all over I'm the like world could come together. I'm like in the middle of just answering my, uh, like, On reading February 2nd, the Chris girlfriend free that boy comment. perfume or cologne, that meant that they were <laughs> used you. to the scent of a skunk, since skunk essence you was often first used class. in fragrance Thank products. You. God fucking damn it, you Five guys. Five days later, she announced that Cookville, Virginia, was a sanctuary city that welcomed Muslims and immigrants with open arms in response to the developing situation in the U.S. at the time. The heroes of the town, Sonichu, Rosechu, and the other Sonichus, uh, also helped I don't think to defend that Chris the city against SWAT teams and secret service quest, agents though? by reading people's minds and stopping their like, actions when bad intentions Are you telling me that Chris has like a significant spotted. other that truly loves them and 8th, like? Christine wrote that she was thankful for all the, the public you, you schools I mean? she had attended, and also for all the friends she made during that time, despite a handful of them later turning on her. In a reply to her post, Chris named four of her former friends, Joshua Martinez, Kelly Andes, Tiffany Gowan, and Sarah Bevel, in hashtag form, and announced that the only way she could forgive them for their recent deeds was if they took a few minutes out of their busy lives to apologize to her so they could be friends again. On February 10th, Christine took part in the yearly Love is Love campaign at the University of Virginia in support of the LGBTQ community. The event mostly consisted of people wearing red t-shirts branded with Love is Love and singing the good old song, the anthem of the university. After the event, she went to see the new Lego Batman movie with a friend. Also at around that time, 
Chris Actually Porsche's good. The Lego Had a Batman good time movie watching. Story Pack set of levels for the Lego Dimensions game on PS4. No, I think they were. I think it was like a, one of the community colleges, on like February the community 12th, college they went to. Chris shared the cover photo used on her former friend no. Megan Schroeder's Facebook you guys account. Saw. Chris is trolls from gal pal Kim Wilson commented Wait, that so it was cute. great what that the, the two were friends again. Chris corrected her, saying that they were not Facebook friends and was merely looking through friend requests she had sent and felt that her cover photo was cute. She deleted the post the next day. On Valentine's Day, she shared a recipe for chocolate butterbeer after having made it herself. The next day, what she announced is happening? that she was feeling the symptoms of a possible cold virus. What? Where did this go from the ground up thing come pain, from? In addition to a dizzy feeling and significant vertigo. On the Mr. 16th, Krista is now Chris boarding. Welcome to Little Airlines. Hope you have a safe and enjoyable flight. What is from the ground up even mean? And then features a week's old clip of her touring a playground from his childhood. Got cold. It's in my throat, my voice. Anyway, our bank accounts here are really low, so we could really use some money. Please help us. Just send kind donations. More really? Than $10 I don't remember piece. that. Via PayPal, Mr. Lemming025, thank you so number. much for hosting. I appreciate it. Over PayPal. PayPal. PayPal! 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 Two weeks ago. Is a recording of me and one of my favorite PayPal, past PayPal. childhood parks. Oh, right, a sweetheart from the ground. Okay, I get that. I get Hello, that. Hello, everybody. PayPal. This is Christine Chandler coming to you live from Harrisonburg, Virginia. And today we're doing something a bit different. I'm exploring to being a little nostalgic. <laughs> my father took me here an X number of times, over a whole lot of times. And I, this is my first time I've actually been here in, a lo in so many years. So we're just gonna take a look around and take in. Oh my God, you're not wrong. Oh my God, you're not wrong. He does oh, kind of look like Ben Franklin. Is, uh, people tend to want their pets around here. Okay, well, anyway, we're just taking a look around. <laughs> have you ever seen Ben and Chris in the same room? Really answer that. I mean, look at it, even from the outside, the outside perspective. It looks quite castle. PayPal sounds like Matt's best friend. Don't tell him I said that. It looks like they might have changed now. He's thinking, but yeah. <laughs> Stood on this thing I haven't even seen them at the same time. Side. There's a little pretend vehicle. <laughs> Go right to... What is he doing right now? I'm, I'm totally losing it. What is he doing? Is quite amazed. Oh, he's just going to his, like, his like, old uh, time, park playground, right? Like, you know, like, like you know, about half my head height. <laughs> Five foot eleven or less could definitely enjoy all the amazing things. Got so many ins and outs. You can climb everywhere. You get yourself lost. You get yourself lost in all these things. It was so much. It was fun for me. Oh, it's a big playground. I interrupted with a phone call. Anyway, yeah, this was Purcell Park. I was gonna hang out here a little while longer. Honestly. Before. I would never take to my destination. My children here, just because I I knew. Christine Chandler, wishing y'all a very good day. That shit ain't getting cleaned. And enjoy that your That shit ain't getting cleaned. Definitely still got Chris young. germs somewhere. And enjoy them when you reminisce when you're older. Thank you. Was it Purcell Playground, also on that Piper? Day, in a Facebook discussion, which featured some of Christine's online friends talking about time zones and jokingly referencing the racist ways of many Americans. Chris commented that she wished to go back in time to September 5th, 2011, so that she could stop hospital staff from supposedly making a loud noise, which killed her father. She again restated that there was more freedom when Bob was alive. On February 26th, Chris posted Dude, a photo of an orange peel and disgusting. called it an that's orange disgusting. ghost. On March 1st, Christine announced that she intended to sell her father's stamp collection through eBay claiming that the stamps had only increased in value over the years. She also made a YouTube video advertising the items. From lots and lots of stamp covers, to everything in organized <laughs> chaos Travis. between six I think boxes, it's, which it's like, no, I, it's not very Mr. much like, like they didn't mention like, oh, I miss them, you know, like, oh, uh, he, Mr. C, even calling him Mr. Collection. C, which is weird. But like it was Ms. like Christine oh you know Chandler, I I had more freedom when he was alive. Mr. C stamp collection to try to get more money around here to help pay the bills and everything. 
Let's try to meet the goals, the high goals. So, come on down to my stamp shop on eBay. Dude, you or, literally can't do well, anything else. Shop, but I'm selling oh stamps. Oh my god. It's going to be where I'm selling it all. So, come on down. Buy what you like out of the collection. Her Facebook friend, William Elliot Waterman, criticized her for selling her father's possessions that he cared about, instead of selling off any of her own or her mother's things. Chris continued to list more stamps on eBay, selling sets at around $2 to $5 each. Most were vintage items commemorating the United Nations. In the first couple of days, Chris made $68 in profits from selling her father's stamps. On March 2nd, she purchased some Transformers and Lego-related merchandise, totaling $50.25, including shipping. On the 3rd, Chris listed her own stamp collection book for sale, which she received when he was 10 years old. It was signed on the title page by Christopher Weston Chandler and dated to 1992. It contained That's over 100 stamps so sad, and was posted honestly. up for sale on eBay for $1,000. At around this time, it's... Christine became more active on the social media site Twitter, making numerous replies to tweets posted by notable voice actress Tara Strong, responding to her vows to stand me... up to bullying and her criticisms of President Trump. No, I think that's their like Chris old also began handwriting. To tweets but it makes me Do really, really fucking sad because like on March seventh, I don't know now that like I'm older and I understand the things that my parents did Chris for me. Chris replied it's like... that she did not have BPD, but could still empathize with her difficulty in understanding people, it makes me really especially sad hurtful to think trolls. That, like... She further Bob wrote that she like tried to put the people that hurt her get, aside you know, and tried Chris to keep an open mind and Bob's heart to maintain hobby. a positive outlook. And it's, it's just like this, you know? As Christine stated, she tried her best to forget about the actions of trolls and cyberbullies of the past and made efforts to form new bonds and possible friendships. However, she had trouble in understanding how she could be perceived by others and what were the appropriate actions one should make in starting new relationships which only increased the chance of more misunderstandings and more heartbreaks. Okay. I'm gonna go make some popcorn. Yeah, well, no, like, okay, well, well hold on. Real realistically, all right. I don't. I'm not gonna sit here and talk about Bob, okay? But even like the deserving and the not deserving. I'm just saying that act in general makes me feel sad. You know what I'm saying? Like if I were to like care about, you know, I wanted my kid to get into my favorite hobby, and like I wanted to show them, like, oh, this is your first stamp book or whatever. Y you know what I'm saying? It <laughs> And then they sold off all my shit and then sold off that. Like, it, it makes me a little sad. That's all. That's that's my point. That's my point. It, yeah, exactly. It just makes me a little sad. That's all. Okay. I'm going to make some snack. I'm going to make a snack. I'm going to make a snack.
You don't get off the plane. It gets you off. It it gets off. <laughs> ah! How many episodes are we away from my part? Oh no! Oh 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 oh! We have four episodes still. You can you can go and come back, honey. You can go because yours is fifty-seven. Oh wait wait wait! Hold on. We're going to fifty-four right now. And yours is 57. You can go and come back if you wanted to come say hi. You're making a sandwich? Okay. Okay, honey. I, I don't want you to stay here if, you're, if you wanted to come see it. You're making a sandwich? Sandwiches sound good. Um, uh, I'll, I'll make some popcorn. Let's go. Thanks, sweetheart. What made her this way? I'll try, shit. What is the attraction? I can let you know on Discord what too. What keeps us fascinated? This is the story Cheers, guys. of Christian. <laughs> what the fuck, hopeful? What the fuck? On March 18th, 2017, Christine went to the social media site Twitter to say that people must not let themselves be blinded impulsively. Her post was accompanied by a photo of herself covering her eyes with her hair. On March 11th, in response to animator and voice actress Doopy Doover's tweet regarding advice to stop pooping, Chris replied saying that she would just let the poop fall out, since pent-up poop can be bad for the body. Also at around that time, Chris listed more sets of stamps taken from her father's collection up for sale on eBay. The newest batch I'm was sorry, priced I'm at sorry, $20 sorry. each, a significant increase on the previously listed items. During this time, she spent less time on Facebook and moved over to Twitter as her social media of choice, mostly replying to posts written by celebrities she followed, such as My Little Pony voice actress Tara Strong and Doopy. Christine returned to Facebook briefly on March 18th to wish everyone a happy St. Patrick's Day and posted a new drawing of her car, Sanchu, standing upright in its Transformers-like configuration. She also made a brief post, advertising her personal stamp collecting book from her childhood well, they really got up for sale on eBay for $1,000. Huh? The next day, she pleaded for someone to buy her stamps because her family was in need of money. Her is Facebook that, friend, that loud? William Elliot Waterman, Prot? commented is that she that recently loud? bought new Lego sets after selling some stamps and asked how did her purchases okay, help pay bye, the Warpaw. bills. Thank you for Chris being clarified here. I that it. she did not buy any Lego sets and that the money went towards their debtor payments. Shit, her other Facebook friend, Kim Wilson, offered some additional clarification for Chris and anyone reading. Upon checking her purchase history, Kim wrote that Chris generally spent the money on Lego and toys, and if there was any money left over, it might contribute towards paying the bills. In response to Christine's plea for buyers, she sold six sets of stamps. I'm sorry, hold on. This it. Oh, okay. Kim called out. Kim called out. Kim called out. I mean, it, it's true. Kim called him out. Around forty dollars. On March eighteenth, Christine posted a video on YouTube in That's which she truth. sings the song "Caribbean Amphibian" from the children's TV show Sesame Street impersonating the My Little Pony character Fluttershy while filming the My Little Pony figure that she customized to look like herself. Okay, to be fair, that's a pretty high voice. That's, that's pretty high. Yay. She then tweeted the video at Fluttershy's voice actress, Andrea Libman. On March 22nd, Doopy Doover tweeted an animated gif of a scene from the Japanese anime series Spice and Wolf, featuring the woman wolf character Holo on a bed with her rear facing the viewer, swinging her tail seductively. Doopy wrote that she considered the animation horrendous and blamed it for ruining her day. Christine disagreed, stating that the gif lured her in hypnotically. The next day, Doopy wrote that she was bored as an adult because it was 1 a.m. and there was no one she could spend time with. Chris replied to her, writing that she had Doopy trouble sleeping and Twitch. was tired and bored from trying to fall asleep. 
and that she wanted to be done adulting with a lady friend and be a pony. Doopy later added that she would drive to someone else's house at 1am just to watch something on the movie and series streaming platform Netflix and draw on her laptop because she simply liked company. Chris replied that she would appreciate the company Copy. too. On March 24th, in response to an article published on Huffington Post oh. regarding a teenage boy filing a lawsuit because he didn't want to share the school bathroom with a transgender student, Chris wrote on Facebook, I say to Joel Doe, suck it up kid. If a lack of a penis on all someone right. bothers you, look at someone else who has one. After all, a penis is an outward grown clitoris. On March 28th, Christine informed her followers Copy, that, that she created you know a prototype it. of Sonichu merchandise and would give it away in a raffle, which could only be entered with Imagine a purchase of any other stamp-related items on eBay. Uh, he technically other is. Winners could also I mean, get Christine Shaw collectible Skylanders cards and t-shirts. She displayed only the shadowed silhouette of her new character design, but could be gathered that it was customized from an existing Transformers figure. On April 2nd, she revealed via a 48 minute long YouTube video that the new figure was like, in they're fact around. Sanchu they're just in jail. and was customized from parts taken from Maybe three everything. Transformers character figures Breakaway, Sawback, and Hot Rod. What the fuck is happening? This video is brought to you by the stamps on Christine Chandler's eBay shop. I mean, 48 minutes. From Mr. C's well, live stamp here. collection of her late father, you are eligible to buy among which. Any purchase up to the date of April 31st oh. will result in an automatic entry to win the toy featured in this video. Not only do they get this toy, but they also get they also get the Skylander stuff. Wait, how do they do that? So Skylander part that is completely functional. Skylanders. How do they get that done? For the leading console playing Nintendo Switch. And now, come with our show. Wow. Our old black friend got promoted. That's pretty good. It looks pretty good. I think it looks neat. I'll tell you one thing. I knew when he was an escort. And now, he has a lot more to. Focus on. Ford. Automobile joke. On April 4th, in response to an article concerning discrimination against transgender people from landlords, Christine wrote on Facebook that despite many people online telling her to get a job, she felt that she couldn't because trolls had ruined her background check results. In addition, she thought she would get discriminated against, not only because of her autism, but also because she was a lesbian trans woman. Chris added that she didn't get a job because she had already held a full-time position as a caretaker for her father before he passed away in 2011 and her mother. Finally, she added that she still had trouble shaking off her feelings of lingering shock that prevented her from drawing and writing her books. Also at around that time, Doopy Doover wrote on Twitter that just because she drew porn did not mean that it was an invitation for people to be creepy towards her. Chris replied that she felt the same way, admitting that she had drawn scandalous imagery like that in the past, accepting it for what it was despite not being proud of doing it. The next day, she informed her followers that she hated the mortgage servicing platform Ceteris Mortgage because they seemingly, deceivingly overpaid too much of the family's mortgage, leaving Chris's mother Barbara's bank account over $800 in debt. In response, her trollsome gal pal Kim Wilson wrote that Chris should try and get a job if they were in financial trouble. She wrote that they had previously discussed that her criminal record would not pose a problem to employers and clarified that Chris I chose not to get Kim a job because it did not fit in with her lifestyle. Out. That's it. Chris later went to Twitter to ask her half-brother, Cole Smithy, for financial help. On April 6th, Shut the Kiwi fuck Farms up. user Buck Mullet impulsively text messaged Chris to offer to pay $1,000 for the paper mache Sonic the Hedgehog totem, which Chris created during his time in Providence Middle School what and could fuck? be seen in the background of what some of her videos. Chris replied, stating that she was oh very my God. Weak.
sell the totem to Buck Mullet. <laughs> However, the Kiwi Farms user then informed her I that they would only pay the $1,000 if she contacted Virginia's Department for Aging and Rehabilitative Services first. Chris then realized that they were a troll and called them Trolling Stipid. Inspired by <laughs> the seeming no interest in her sonic totem, she officially listed it up for sale on eBay for $1,000. This is <laughs> hundred dollars. Oh my god. Curiously, she listed the item in the subcategory of Mexican folk art. Oh my On April god. 7th, she made a video to advertise <laughs> the listing. Definitely for a limited time, so you wanna rush to get you wanna rush to before April 30th, the Sonic Tom pool I made in our class so many years ago. Oh my ago. god. Oh my and god. Give me a full 360. Anyway, so here's the bonus offer. So that's that all. Because of my special giveaway, if you buy this for the set price and no lower, because I'm not negotiating on prices on this and the stamp album. Yeah, you do this. I'm like a fourth Sanchu figure. And I'll send him along with this guy. And of course, you also get my Skylander figure and my Skylander card, both functional for Skylanders Imaginators. Also, t shirt $1,500. $1,500. I'll put the listing for this thing on eBay in the description down below. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Bob, thank you so much! Bob, thank you so much for gifting to Christian Weston Chandler! Oh my god! Layton, put it inside of your fundraiser goal thing. Do it. Do it. Thank you. I need to see. What? 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 Is that? Is that? Oh, okay. Okay. They put the. Uh, I thought it was a real advisory. Was put up on eBay. It was legitimately purchased by a willing buyer. One hour after that. Christine purchased a 14 karat gold necklace for $400, intended as a replacement for the necklace which her mother Barbara had to pawn off to repay the mortgage. What the fuck? Over the what next the three days, she spent a further $750 on her custom Skylanders merchandise, which she planned to give away in a raffle. On April 10th, Chris posted a YouTube video advertising her stamp book, which was still up for sale on eBay. Alright, first off, the old signatures, uh printed that this thing is bring my handwriting backwards. I mean, this was my handwriting back, sincerely, back from 1992. 
and definitely spelled Cryptifer at first, but then I had changed my name around that time afterwards, and so I ended up just adding in pencil, just went from Christian to Chris, from Christopher to Christian right there. I assure you that is me definitely. Me, my own handwriting. I mean, just you can't do much better matching my handwriting of the past compared to my handwriting of the present. Okay. Uh, my father taught me how to attach all these st stamps, hmm. and hmm. I put them into the categories of the countries. Uh, there was there used to be a stamp shop in Charlottesville where I got all these stamps from. It's just randomly a few at a time though. Yes, yeah, some of them. Mm. Now, help us break even for at least right now. But find the stamp album. Be an you said winner, not bought that. I will be having. Cause I love that they literally, they literally, okay, it was just like, okay, I bought, you know, I made the money, and then I bought this necklace that I definitely didn't need to. To pop the, because because we pawned it off to pay the mortgage. They're still on the under. It's really fuck. Honestly, we make three aside for the prototype three Sanchu figures. I got the two, I got two of them in the works. So I got had. But I'm hoping we sell this one. If, th if this one sells, I'll definitely make the third one, as I have stated now. Okay, so. And also, I could consider it that, wholesome uh, if they weren't fucking, the first you know, of the rolling around in a shit ton of items and trash that they have in their house. Will be later this week, probably on Thursday or Friday. That's my that's, that's my guess. I have a mild topic to talk about then, so I look forward to that. Okay, thank you very much, and have a good day. On April twelfth. On a tweet made by Doopy <laughs> concerning her inability to fall asleep because she woke up feeling really motivated, Christine replied that Holy she shit. also I'm experienced so that sensation. I'm so sorry, you guys. Give me a little bit. Um, I. <laughs> this is embarrassing. I need to go somewhere really quick. I'm bad. Thanks. I'm glad. I'm glad. Yeah, I use Light GG for the vault appraisal stuff because I have to be honest. I don't know enough about good rolls or whatever. I just know that I'm supposed to keep good rolls. Thank you. All right. Sorry. Sorry. I had to leave for a little bit, but my body is, my body is pushing the poison out. Okay. Let's say that. The thing is getting close to my dripping world on it and buzzing. Jesus fucking Christ. That's crazy. Hopeful. Thank you so much for the biddies. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. That's, that's crazy though. Like, Yikes. Attributing it to her fickle circadian rhythm or internal clock. Damn. Not long after. Damn, in Frodo. To some crass I mean, I hope that helps with your stomach. I mean, I don't know how it's going to help with your stomach flu, but there you go. Positive experiences with I, I hope it does. Lily out here being an absolute trooper. We're doing it. We're doing it. Possibly acknowledging that she had known of Christine from before. I'm continuously trying to push this out here. Kristen thanked Doopy for defending her and sent her lots of love. Also on that day, Kiwi Farms user, The Red Baron, revealed evidence that they had purchased the Transformers Megatron pistol toy from Chris during August of the previous year, which was notably featured in the 2007 video wherein Chris uses it to shoot at Adam Stackhouse's face for winning the Parappa the Rapper song Did they just say that was the previous year? The Red Baron paid $50, and the item arrived in its original box, complete with most oh, of the optional okay, attachments, projectiles, and the original receipt of purchase, showing that Christian bought the toy from the game place on February 4th, wow. 2005. The next day, she completed a Facebook quiz to find out what would be her name and personality if she were a My Little Pony character. She posted that her name would be Nightstar, and that she would be a fun-loving unicorn who loved to dance with a pink body and turquoise hair and the hmm. cutie mark of a shooting star on her God hind. Fucking damn it, Zeru. On April Are you 14th, really gonna do it? Christine uploaded an emergency you really donation don't have video to. featuring her mother. Oh, this is Action. so scary. This is not okay. My name is Barbara Chandler. We are in an emergency situation. I really hate this. I really hate this. Is getting ready to cut our servants. That will this, this seems so manipulative, dude. Stop us from doing anything. Cooking. 
whatever. Please, somebody. Well, buy because she's not doing okay, Blair. Like I, I definitely know this is not normal. For a thousand dollars. This is to help us. This is definitely is not okay and definitely not normal. Thank you. Later that day, Chris live streamed on YouTube, hoping to reinvigorate interest in her business by making an effort to create more Captain's Log type videos. Good evening, this is Chris. Sarah, whatever you want to do, you okay, whatever you want to do, stop this. But for the first time in a long time, this I don't want to ask. Captain's Log start date 04142017. And I'm trying it in a different format, obviously. I got a microphone attached to my head, but hopefully this time my voice will be Thank louder than the music that I'm still forced to have to block out. I promise right, so I'm not trying to not make this an endurance. Too. It's still an endurance. So I just... There are figures that you can win. For I'm here, time. okay? So, first time I'm attached to Sanju in this way, it's like a... I have a bit of a godmaster cause I am god of this dimension of Quickville, Virginia! Anyway, first is the rocket pack. As you've seen in various photos on Facebook. It looked like a bobsled. I had to design- I like to bear design this way, okay? So, this goes onto his back. Into this- Into that slot. Right there. The middle piece. Goes there. I and feel like most of these are like their own toy yeah. reviews too. Goes into his foot. Goes into his foot. Now there is something kind of gangster about him there. What? 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 Flying out from the rocket pack, we fly. I believe I can soar. No, 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 you didn't miss it. And that would be sorbet meowing. You're good, Andrew. Oh, by we way, have three more episodes before we're, 50, before we're yeah. going to get to the mentioning ago, of the interview. I got free, then I got we're going to watch the interview later. Free LGBT crimes, including this bracelet. Yeah. All I had to do was pay $2 shipping. Now this bracelet, I also got this necklace. <clears throat> so, yeah, they're just little inexpensive things that all I did was pay shipping for. They were free. So, no allegations, no suspicions there. Chris definitely knows that there's allegations of and suspicions. Of course, one thing then. that is true. Like, it's so fucking earlier annoying. Earlier video where my mom talked about, yes, we need more money in this house. We Jesus managed to get a little Christ. loan for the minimum money amount for the electric company, but rest of the month, I hate the second half of the month where we had all of, we had the. Money from Social Security, but then we spent all on bills and food to make sure we got enough okay. in the house. And okay. And as for the sale of the totem, guess where that most of that money went? More than 700 bucks worth. The t shirts and Skylander functioning cards. What the fuck, dude? That's still we had a lot, but still, and then more happened, yada yada. A whole bunch more. I don't know, it's all for me to look up on my statements that I'm not going to share because that's private Why? information. Dude! Okay, are you doing something over there messing with the... Uh... What the hell? Sorbet! Get out of there! Get out of there! Excuse me. Get out of Give there, Give the fucking boy. refunds, Jesus Christ. Come on. No. I've seen Sorbet more than I've seen any of the other cats. Jeez! Why? Everything happening? Bad luck over here. It's not been such a good Friday for me. God dang it. What are you doing? <sighs> Everything happened. Don't bang. Don't mess with cables. I keep telling you not to mess with the cables, boy. What's wrong with you? <sighs> I just, I think I it's just because it's the youngest. Yeah, the there you go. I the youngest and most active. You're right. <clears throat> anyway, somebody, anyway, please. Was that trash pile in the hallway? Bible. It's a. Um... dollars you get the album with all the stamps in there. Ten it's their, it's their collection. And bonus it's not, it's not stamps trash. and little envelopes. It's their, it's their treasures. It's to... <laughs> ah, they're getting on my nerves, boy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Stay with me. All right? Stay with me so I know you're not messing around. I feel really bad for this cat, but I also love seeing this cat. Oh, Barbara? All right. 
Oh my god, Barb? 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 This is a tough mouth. I'm gonna have to sell that, and I still have a few pieces of sign shoe artwork that I did back in 2014 that I tried to sell on eBay, didn't sell. I still have them. I'll put them back on there. $500 a piece, no negotiations. Try to get more money in this house because I'm doing all I can around here. Financial messes and everything. God. Uh, we need hello. We're live on the internet. What do you want? Oh Hi, Mom. My... Hello. Wow. Are you serious? Did you hear that? That is so ill. You're really gonna stay here? Use your mother for I'm um, for like financial gain, and then literally just sat around just. Weenie, yeah, yeah, what do you want? Oh my god, disgusting. Hi, Alice, nice to see you. How you doing, hun? There you go. <clears throat> cat food. Dry cat food. Okay, I'll go out later and get some of uh, the little money we have left. Use my... Yeah. Good inside as always, bro. Good number of us yes, are dear. watching I'll this. Yes, dear, I'll come up and get that later. Sorbet, mm -hmm. what are you doing? Mm. Come on, what are you doing? Get away from me. What are you doing? Okay, anything else? Yeah, what are you doing? Well, I'm doing the first official Captain Log video. I'm live streaming it. Go live streaming it instead of pre recording. So, yeah, we're live on the internet. Smile for the PlayStation 4 camera. Aww. That's kind of a nice smile. We can so for some reason, I can't hate Barbara at this moment or at this time. Like I, I really, I. Like I, I know, I know they're not a good person, right? I know she's not good, but like she seems so frail and fucked up at this time that like I can't, I, I don't know what to do with her. We can use a lot more money in this house. Read about what Barb did to Cole. Okay. Uh, I've been venting about that. I feel like I really don't anyway, want to. I'm right, just well, saying I'll right now she looks some, frail. Get some more dry cat food. But right, so yeah, I know that Barb's not all good. That. And this is raw stuff. Live from Rutgers, Virginia. It's Friday evening. Tune in tomorrow night where I watch the 2015 episode of Saturday Night streaming through the internet. And y'all get live responses to that. Thank you. Good night. The next day, oh my Chris live streamed a video of herself. I also want to say, Kristen would would like. If they did like an uncapped stream like this, they would do pretty okay, I think. <laughs> Watching an episode of the comedy TV show. I think they have a PS4 at Live, this moment, right? Which featured Donald Trump. Yeah. You, have a, you have a good flight? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Governor O'Malley, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all the time we have for this guest. <laughs> Our next candidate this evening is hot off crushing the Benghazi. I know, I know. Please welcome Hillary Clinton. I think, I mean, I know for sure Chris got a PS4, but I don't know if Chris got a PS5. Cute. 11 hours, baby. <laughs> oh my god, is this reaction section? I'm reacting to Chris Chan. No, I'm reacting to Gino, reacting to Chris Chan, reacting to SNL. Okay, but how about you guys are reacting to me, reacting to Gino, reacting to Christian, reacting to SNL? During the stream, low effort trolls or weens repeatedly called her phone through which she was streaming, which caused the video to go down several oh. times. Yeah, I thought that was because of my Article destiny, 17th, too. Chris slashed the price of her stamp album by half. Now for sale from eBay for $500. Later that day... I'm just kidding. Gino isn't it. reacting. Flea Gino's just documenting. Pinapaka, That's different. Pinky Pinky Poo Boo. 
April 19th welcomed several updates regarding her sales on eBay. Firstly, she listed six older drawings of her Sonichu characters, which originally were posted on the auction site in 2014 and failed to be sold manga. off. Yeah. Chris added that the new items were posted to help out her financial That's situation, one, since by this point, she had failed to ship the Sonic Totem to its buyer, who then complained to eBay about it I and sold out their no, payment no, 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 no. Chris wouldn't do well if they got a VTuber model. Chris would literally get cancelled so fucking quickly. But Chris, using their own name of Chris, like, man. First, leaving Christine's PayPal account $1,450 in debt. She later posted that after a long period of searching through 10 or 20 laundry bags filled with old wet clothes, Chris uncovered ah. the striped shirt which he had ah. wore during the 2000s and was referred by avid followers of Chris or Christorians as the classic. At first, she thought that the shirt had been destroyed in what she stated was the house fire of ah. January 10th, 2017, but nevertheless checked again and found it. It was in need of repair and would be restored to its former glory using some That's of the barely. money made from selling it to a willing buyer. She posted the classic shirt on eBay with an opening bid of $12,000 or a buy it now oh my price God. of oh 20,000. Oh my God, Zero. She soon followed up with a YouTube video advertising her listing, marking the first time the shirt appeared in a Chris video. <laughs> oh my God. How did you do this? since November 2009. Captain's log, star date 0419207. We have resurrected this old antique. The... Whoa! Bay. You're hitting! How did they get big? I thought they were bigger before. What the fuck? Oh my god. I can't. I can't believe this. <laughs> oh god, this... Thank you. But also Jesus fucking Christ. It's been so perfectly. Same ah! that you've seen me wear in the comics. Oh my god. So it's uh, shown between these two. At least uh, to make it. To I know, it was so fast. Holy shit. <sighs> well, hard work. We did more than 20 bags, just as I stated in my Facebook post. <laughs> and fortunately, this was not in a bag that had the dirt and wall lining into it no this was just really really damp it was in the it was possibly close to the bottom of the uh mountain of was clean laundry that was stacked in front of the dryer before Hi, the fire house fire 2014 january 2014. wow travis good one and look at how badly faded that tag came out and that was the tag on the back of this shirt all right, but fortunately, I was able to look closely and further examine it, so I'll be posting this onto, my, onto the eBay page shortly. But right now, I'm just going to read it to you as I have put in my notepad. So, all right, so this shirt, first off, I'm going to state, is more than 14 years old. And we have bought this, and my mom and my family and I, we have bought this shirt, worst, among think. other clothing in one of the good wheels i don't know which one but uh the final selling amount this thing so we're hoping it's gonna be on uh i mean ben if you're seriously going to pay okay and i want to pay i want to be paid immediately after the listing ends which should be sometime on fr friday no i'm not gonna look it up the 21st that sounds awful it sounds like i, I would off, i would have second hand shirt fucking, like pain from it is a polo shirt from Ralph, from from Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren. This shirt was made in the USA. It's 100% cotton, 
and it is a size L, large. So you can put on a little child to be bigger than that, and like, oh, you go into it. So oh put God. that on your, put that on your quickie. And they did. All right. So anyway, I guess that's about it for this week's Captain Log, because I got, uh, I can't think of too many other things. My brain is knocked out. Brain is blank and. I definitely, and I've realized where the day, dementia, the umbrella term for all the mentally wearing down people. I got some dementia. Okay, so give me time, give me space. All right? Give me some slack. Have a good day. Oops. Come on. How do I get this thing to stop? Not long after, bidding officially began on the shirt, with gradually increasing bids presented by Weens unwilling to actually pay the amount. After only three days, the auction of the item concluded with a winning bid of $25,100. On April 22nd, Sorry. Christine left an <laughs> update on Facebook, on writing that her mother again. Barbara had borrowed money out of their life insurance to help pay for some important household items, and pay for the shipping of the sold Sonic Totem, which was successfully delivered to its buyer in one day. However, she was still waiting for payment clearance from the mother of the person who was supposed to pay for her classic Ralph Lauren shirt claiming that not only would the mother be contributing to the historic restoration of a very unique artifact, but she would also improve the artist's family's life. What? Meanwhile, upon receiving the sonic totem, the buyer then released the $1,500, giving it back to Chris. Afterwards, they went to the video game discussion forum of the image board site 4chan to post photos of the delivery box and the contents within, which included a handwritten certificate of authenticity, which erroneously stated that the item was a one-of-a-kind hand drawing penned by Christian Weston Chandler <clears throat> and the Sonic Totem itself. They also left positive feedback on Chris's eBay account, simply writing that the item arrived safely. Damn! On April 27th, the first positive Christine feedback? delivered another captain's log, addressing some of her recent happenings. Uh, I got a lot on my mind. Just, whatever. And, well, yes, uh, currently I'm still having financial problems, and I'm there, still I like waiting that you named for this, the payment uh, on that shirt. Why did I make this first thing? <laughs> of three settled payments. Uh, are we old lady in Wisconsin? You're not so cheesy right now. Yeah, promise first payment Easy. tomorrow. Well, if you don't make it, I'm putting my foot down. Uh, we could talk about uh, other things that I've been through the past week. They literally are doing over, like I Twitch streams. Yeah. A times last week, actually. Um, Financial to, crisis. To Financial. Oh, good one. Good one. Thursday. But I feel like that's the their barbecue. entire life. It's always been we like this. We have nice folks. We have nice, like, since, nice people of the, of they the were community over in the, over in the center. And uh, they certain we had a good time. I. May, I made friends with some more with some more of them. It, it was good. It was real good. Um, let's see what else happened. Um, well, okay. Uh, last uh, few, last three Wednesdays, I've uh, been attending uh, caregiving uh, Trav, They got more than just the, the totem. They obviously got the uh, uh, the, the, the two of two or three other free things. I totally forgot about it. Welcome back, Comfy. Nice to see you, Comfy. I've missed you. That was you. good. Hope I you're doing okay. have definitely learned it's a so lot. It's so nice to see you. In my come up a lot I have in here. It's nice. To help out with Can't believe you're a founder too. That's fucking crazy. Come on, you with the uh, highlights. Uh, Definitely learned more about uh, dementia. I know. Can you imagine? That being the umbrella term for Can you imagine the if they took the, like they just sold the totem and now they like start umbrella, reverting back umbrella. to like a more normal ass yeah. person? Well, not. But you yeah. know what I'm saying. So I'm just blank here and there. I just went blank. What do you mean? I've been here. I know. I know. I'm just saying, yeah. like you know. I hate when it happens. When when I was busy and when you were busy and we you know yeah. we just haven't been That's around good. each other. But like it's nice All the to see you around good. here I definitely for recommend the uh, summer thought. Thank you. At least caretaking for a family member, or have been pretty much doing that all your life. If you're, if one of your both of your parents was. Trev, I've said I've, I've, I've said hello. Because <laughs> I yeah I ended up with that twist of fate. Twist the fate, twist the lemon, lime. 
Thanks, sweetheart. Yeah. You're so sweet. What the fuck? Yeah, You're so well, sweet. What the, the fuck? Financial crisis aside, uh, we're still faring okay. Yeah, we have food here at home. And I'm still able to cook. At least I can cook a good meal and uh, keep our house. Uh, this is part bit. 54. Quite we have like five that. more. Have a good day. Thank you. On I April just said we have five more out Chris loud and, and that that despite still not it. receiving any payment from the buyer of her shirt, she would attempt to repair the plastic herself Someone. and film the process. <laughs> Someone, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you for continuing your first class. I really appreciate it. Wow, wow, wow. Well, thank no you. Well aware of my shirt. Would I the eat Chris on food? No. Shirt. Chris John just doesn't yeah, seem like a very clean person. I've seen their house, like, we've it's seen a, the house tour. Chris John's too, like. Apparently, too big of a project no, for a no. tailor to mend. So, I'm personally going to do it myself. Uh, unfortunately, I had not received my payment from the highest bidder. And since uh, time ran short, until I hear from, uh, unless she pays before I hear from the new bidder. I'll have the uh, new the new lower bidder down of which I have whom of which I've I contacted. I think there's a hole because of like just uh, a wear and tear, which I contacted. right? And and B like uh, maybe um what are those like not no, mites? What are those animals that eat at fabric? It's between me. What are those and things? Dry anyway, rot. So, okay, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, because mold. the mother got oh. her. You can get mold on that. Money for a little oh, while. Oh, moths. Night. Yeah, moths or mold because if they said it was myself. damp. I got the material. I got materials I need. Like they said, it was damp. Pin cushion. Right, house fire. Pins, There's a lot of options. Core cut fabrics. I'm not even gonna lie. Awesome. Like I have to mm. be honest. Good. I missed that shirt. All like colors, red, Chris on during that blue. shirt was. Anyway, so pretty much I'm gonna do a montage along the bad, way. Bad, uh, but yeah, not shirt, you know, like yikes. My phone at least. I okay. don't know. I don't know. I mean, Have I'm just like, day. that That shirt Thank was you. different. You know what I mean? And yeah, exactly. After this thing gets attached, enjoy the show. This was followed by a series of five videos uploaded over the next few days, consisting of her attempting to sew the holes in her shirt. Hmm. Uh, I changed my mind. I don't feel like I'm getting smarter from this. And that's not... I'm going to turn on Frasier. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, okay, sure. She also accompanied the videos with photos posted on Facebook, displaying the gradual process of her restoration. On May 1st, Chris addressed some of the negative comments left on her sewing videos. Just listen, everyone. This shirt has been through a lot in its 14 plus year lifetime, especially with me wearing the thing. I've worn it at least half the time I drew and wrote the pages of my first 11 Sonichu books books 0 through 10. Not to mention at some of the Fridays at Pokemon TCG League, when it was at the game and hobby place, and it was definitely worn at least half the times when I went and tried, waited, hoped, prayed, and even paced between Fashion Square, Piedmont, Virginia Community College, Walmart's, McDonald's, and Charlottesville, Virginia, and even that one time in the newly opened Target, and when it was dogpiled no, on by the damn police, freaking jerk -ops. So including that one time I ended up in jail, and so many other times, trials and tribulations, good and bad. I even counted the times when I was manipulated, ugh, by the damn trolls and bullies who pretended to be women, who sincerely liked to loved me. This shirt was there too. I look at this shirt, and I see myself from more than two years ago, and I wish I could go back and redirect myself for something better. And this shirt has been mistakenly left in a random black plastic bag for three years, damp along with the other garments in that same bag, after the house fire of January 10th, 2015, until the morning of April 19th, 2017, where I rushed it into the washer and dryer after digging the relic out, and it came out just as clean and good as it was before the house fire. I let this shirt remain damp and torn from its history before 2014, with all the tears and holes remaining in it. I feel I owe it to this shirt to personally restore it as best as possible, especially for in the events it is to be work again. It can look about as good as it was before 2004, when my family and I bought it. Even if it is sold highly and framed for prosperity, 
This one iconic shirt, with all the history in it, will go on looking as good and as clean and filled with more love, heart and soul for myself, personally, as it never had been before. I'm still continuing this shirt repairing project, regardless of what you haters say, for as I see it, being as well restored from a beyond help label as possible, and by the sole owner and author slash artist of the books, the shirt has been featured in throughout of all people. I feel that makes it more valuable. I would even autograph it on the inside in permanent ink to really seal the deal. So there. Thank you. Sincerely with love. Christine slash Christian slash Christopher Weston Chandler. Also on that day, Chris held a raffle to announce the winner of her Sanchu figure and other Skylanders related merchandise. It's May 1st and as promised I'm gonna decide winners. But I've gone to the uh, to the to the eBay sales from between March 26th and today. There's Sorbet. It's become a cat video again. Hello. Hello, I love you too. All right, so anyway, so we have only 11 possible winners, so everybody's a winner, but only one can get the whole set of the Sanchu figure and my figure. All right, so I'm gonna pretty much go through it down the list, going like similar to a coin flip. I have a die and a nice cup. I'm gonna go down the list, and even numbers are heads. So the one with the most heads after doing them, after going down, and I'll be skipping over everybody who gets tails throughout each round. She uses her methodology to randomly. What did they say about heads and tails? Because that has nothing to do with the die, right? die and the nice cup i'm going to go down the list and even numbers are heads oh so even numbers the one are with heads. The most heads after doing them what after the going fuck? down and i'll be skipping over everybody who gets tails throughout each round why don't you just she google it like they make it seem like random number generators did not exist tenders. then heads. exactly all right so it's down to the final two big lady and stefan who gets one of which will get everything here. Fail. So, because one purpose churches before the other, the big lady will be heads to- Honestly, they could have just thrown a minifigure. Like, instead of doing a coin, you could throw a minifigure, and if it lands heads or a tails, like, the same thing. For six I guess it is more Safari interactive, tails. you're right. One, this would have I mean, they would have been a good Twitch streamer, I'm not gonna lie. Roll. Everybody ready? ba da 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 ba and the winner is Stefan! 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 You get all these prizes! Yay! Alright, so you will be expecting to receive these, everything, in one big box in about uh, the month of April, May. In about the month of June, because I'm still waiting for well, the cards. I'm thinking about and I still all like. Order. I'm still gonna get the figures. I'm trying but to see like the content. Now that I didn't think about it, like the Mr. content, Stephane. I guess, is just a lot Yay! of begging, but it's not like. Thank have you they and have a good evening. Like content as pristine. On pristine. May 4th, Chris officially know, declared her classic shirt restored and posted a photo of herself wearing it at the End Games card game shop in Charlottesville. The next day, her half-brother, Cole Smithy, pleaded on Twitter for people to become supporters on his Patreon page to keep his film review and criticism outlets alive. Chris replied, stating that she would pledge, but he had yet to apologize for what he did oh to their my mother. God. Also on that you don't day, even have featured the shirt in a new Captain's Log video. Yes, I have finished it. As you have seen in all the videos and bug and bug graphs of which I've uploaded. I've actually gotten local praise for the shirt locally from other people. I hate Dude, haters. the camera's fucking up. The camera's fucking Have up. To feel like they continue hating. I'd like to see y'all do any better at sewing and mending. Not everybody has even a small skill level, an instinct. The simple: put a needle in a thread and bob it from through a piece of fabric. You think it's so simple? You try it. Go ahead, try it for yourself. Anyway, as for the uh, sale of the shirt. I had to cancel that order 
So, obviously, I never received the payment from that lady in Wisconsin. And obviously, her son will be quite disappointed. I feel for them as I feel for him as well, but she has been belaboring it. I've been more than patient. So yeah, buy the stamp album and the drawings. Help me out here, please. Help me out. That's pretty much the big topic on my mind. Finances is the big stressor in my life. Uh, if it weren't for financial problems, if we had a lot more money, if we didn't have the frickin' mortgage and all the credit card debts, we'd be a lot, we'd be a lot more better off here at home. Could I should use the money for? Oh my God! You know, just yeah. Well, we do we do a lot better, but we can't. What? What? Is, what the fuck was that? What the fuck is this? My life. My life. My life. My life. Welcome to it. My wife. Welcome my wife. to my life. My wife. Uh, I guess that's it for right now. So I'll do another Captain's Log video next week. So until then, everyone, Smell the take care. Acting. Have a good night. <laughs> Smell the far acting. This is so fabulous. With good. the return of the classic. Christine tried yet another way to capitalize on her past infamy. However, it proved to yield no financial gain, as the value she believed it had was a product of her perceived worldwide appreciation and fame, thinking she had a loyal fan base of millions. Nevertheless, she would soon venture down another path, another hearkening back to old times, <clears throat> a return to the very thing that placed her in the public spotlight. Way. Wait, hold on. What the fuck is happening? We're gonna we're gonna go straight into it this time because I I took a, a break in the middle of the last one, remember? But I need a I, I don't know why this is a hold on. Oh oh oh. oh. Okay. Wait. Ah. Ah. I'm clicking the wrong things. Okay, I should probably eventually lock all these. <laughs> I should I should hold on. Let me lock these cuz I <laughs> Let me lock these. Uh... I haven't locked any of these things. I'm so sorry. This makes so much sense. Okay, let me lock them. Okay, okay. What is the attraction? What keeps us fascinated? This is the story of Christian. What? Stop, stop, no, stop, 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 stop. We're on part 55! Part 55! Part 55! After a 561 day long hiatus, Christine began drawing new pages for her Sonichu issue 11 comic book, showcasing what do you mean her faster process than me? There's via a, lag. a 30 minute long YouTube video. Even though she can be seen talking at times, her microphone seemed to have been disabled for the recording. On May 11th, Chris wrote on Facebook that she was a contender for the best local minor celebrity poll listed by Charlottesville's Seville Weekly newspaper and asked for people to vote for her. At the time of her announcement, she was in third place with 7% of the vote. She also privately messaged her Facebook friends asking them for their vote. The list was one of many polls on Give the magazine, which accepted nominations from anyone online. Par 55, Christine everybody! was also in the running for best TV personality and local radio personality. 
Among the list of best musicians was Christian and the Hedgehog Boys, and the poll for best neighborhood featured Quickville. Thanks to many online observers, oh my God, Chris that is so crazy. to what the, the number one spot in the local minor celebrity category, which was a feat soon repeated in other categories. Christine soon after left an update on Facebook stating that she was to be voted for in the local minor celebrity category only and pleaded for people not to add her into any other categories with which she had no involvement. The following day, moderators for the polls stepped in to remove anything quick related, though eventually more falsified nominations were added in again by Weens. Wait, what After contest while, is this again? The Seville website reported that ah, due to supposed me. frustrating technical glitches, the nominations had to be started over. Chris blamed Trolling Stupids for mass voting her out. On May 13th, in response to an article regarding possible surgery oh, which would make I trans see. women able to carry a child through pregnancy, Chris expressed her elation at the prospect of finally becoming a mother. The next day, she wished for a happy Mother's Day oh. to all mothers who she thought were amazing, <laughs> what, especially Rose Chu and Simone La, sharing a panel from her Sonic Chu comic featuring Rose Chu frantically doing housework. On May 15th, she live streamed herself using the photo manipulation and alteration software Photoshop to create a large composite portrait of herself, her parents, and her Sonic Chu characters. We have already done the drawings and scanned them into the computer. So you like my eyes, Blair? At which we are going to put these pictures onto the pre-taken photographs for my for the eleventh book. So right now I'll be transferring you live to my laptop. All right, now I got. Okay, here's the layer. No, part fifty-five. Fifty-five. All right. Um, check head, head shape size there. Hmm. What is I happening? What the fuck is happening? Just what the a fuck little is bit. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's good. It'll be right there. <laughs> Graphic design is my passion. Exactly, exactly. I look at the close. When I oh put my god! My shirt. I should recently, do this. I should do this. I've noticed that the fabric weaving pattern was similar to that of my father's sweater. Made me cry a little bit. <sighs> the gang's all here. Dude, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. This is so good. On May 18th, Christine reported on Twitter that a troll texted her to say that he was from the no. future. She replied Just by like saying putting that he should all go my like I don't know their 2010 to 2020 sports all the all, all the things the that we've day, done so far for the uncapped the just just before, put them all together the Chandler's cat sorbet was found by a neighbor hiding in a gutter <gasps> in their driveway who, who? the cat was only oh, moved sorbet? after being sprayed with water from a hose after checking with a veterinarian sorbet, sorbet was found to have suffered head trauma <gasps> and even pupil dilation oh, no. bruises and some bleeding the doctor concluded that he had likely been struck by a car and would stay at the vet over the weekend. On the 21st, Chris revealed the cover art for Sonichu issue 12, prominently addressing LGBTQ themes, as the scene was set during the annual so-called SLGBTQ Pride Festival of Quickville. Chris addressed the addition of the S to the acronym in a Facebook post. Let's talk a bit about my idea of adding the S to LGBTQ. Firstly, the S is for straight, or cisgender. Both the straight and cisgender flags are above the S. I feel it's beneficial and good to include the straight slash cisgender, as to not leave them feeling left out. I mean, we, the LGBTQ, have our straight allies and supporters, and to figure ourselves as different from them, in a sense, have seeded the idea of our community in us. Regardless, we do welcome them to our pride festivals and events, but they each may have been feeling singled and left out. Plus, look at the acronym this way, SLGBTQ, we, the LGBT, and everyone in between. The Q being the queer and questioning, hmm. either amongst our allies and those who may be exploring and figuring themselves out, and the S, our allies, most of at least, that were here before us, and we still welcome them, at least the ones with open hearts. We, the LGBTQ, still strive and work towards equality and freedom like everyone else. Have we totally considered the same for them? We are equal to everyone and we are to remain included and the least to return the favor unto them. Include their flags and letter in what we already have. 
The total salad of a multitude of variants that makes us all as a whole a damn great salad, meats and fruits included. We, the whole world together, are the SLGBTQ. Thank you. On May 22nd, Christine reported stupid. that Sorbet had been brought back from the vet and shared the latest pictures of him. He was feeling better, even though his left pupil was still dilated. Two days later, Chris made an update video for YouTube. Just pretty much, uh, this video is their plea for money because we're really broke and my mother needs more of her meal replacement shakes right now. Uh, it's like are enough to last throughout the rest of the month. But she... Oh? Uh, uh? Anyway, but obviously, as y'all have, uh, may have noticed on my Facebook... Hi, 86! Been... Welcome back! How I are you? Good morning. Good morning, right? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. For book 11. Hmm. I'm glad you missed out on a lot of Chris. Here, screen cap that. Ugh. Kaput next. The internet tools. When did you go uh, to sleep, 86? Kaput nicks. But anyway, yes. My mother and I, we need a lot more money, please. So, please oh. donate to the link below. Oh, that's not... Do, do no you need less more sleep? than one dollar. No change. We want dollar amounts. And definitely, from each person, the... Recommended amount that the link suggests. Please take suggests. care of yourself, okay, 86? Please, please, please. We need the money for more food. Ugh. I know you can take care, Another and I know you you know what's best for you, but please take care of yourself, okay? And sorbet, and the vet bill was $160. Anyway, please help us. Thank you. Have a good day. In response, several followers donated amounts of less than one dollar to Chris. They get a whole a penny? Chris made another video to reiterate her original plea. I said nothing under a dollar in donations. No donations less than one dollar. We need the money. Yeah, uh -huh. I did do this Guff Lily Redeem. Thanks, 86. We need Thanks the for money. checking it. And what do we need it for? For food. And you've been needing a lot of... A one said daughter, a good one, Poggy. Uh, I told him that you, I reminded him that you need a lot of the shakes. Yeah. Anyway, tell them. No donations less than one dollar. No donations less than one dollar. This is you honestly sickening. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> Unicorn. Some viewers felt that Christine's behavior towards Barbara could I know be considered that. I know that elder reference. abuse and made their feelings publicly known to her. Chris deleted the video soon after, but it was downloaded by Chris Dorians and re-uploaded onto YouTube again. On May 29th, Christine offered a video update on her cat, Sorbet. Hi, Sorbet. I'm breathing oh. Oh my god, oh my god. <gasps> 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 oh bless. <gasps> that might be cute though. Okay. What now, is Leighton explaining? I'll try. I'll let you go then. Look, bless you. On the final day of May, Chris posted a work oh. of fan art of a fictitious cover for Sonichu issue 13 said to be a crossover of Sonichu characters and characters from the Planet Dolan conglomerate of YouTube channels. Also on that day, she notified her followers that she was planning on posting completed Sonichu pages on Patreon, made available only to paying patrons, and would only make them available to the public once the comic book was completed. Chris proceeded to upload freshly finished pages of issue 11 on Patreon, the one of the paying patrons was in fact a spy from Kiwi Farms, who then made the pages public. On June 3rd, she posted a drawing of herself in her pony persona form, Nightstar. Two days later, she asked on Facebook if people would be interested in seeing her binders of original drawings of the comic books. She determined to show them off if her post received 1,000 positive reactions. On June 7th, 
She offered a video update concerning the progress of her comic book. Uh, currently the previews are that have been colored are up to page 61. We're up to about page 65 or 6 right now in the book. And yes, I finally got my, my own complete collection of my own books printed well by my publisher. And, there, and also through Patreon, this would pretty much be the only way at the moment to get copies of my book, including those beyond book four. Mm, I'm trying to, all right. Uh, let me see what else. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Hmm. Uh, my big Sachu binders. Three of them now, counting the one with all the cards and my own pogs. Mm -mm. <laughs> anyway, that's a whole lot of crazy artwork. Actually, there's a fourth book, but that'll be a separate volume because that is uh, X-rated. <laughs> anyway, volumes of my art book, art binder, art books, illustrations. Mm. Yeah, let me see what else. Anything else? Anything else? Hmm. I'm still, anyway, I'm still thinking and processing and possibly further developments, uh, actual, and trying to keep I know, the, the drawing's, like, coming back and all that, so it's kind of, it's kind of about crazy. That. So there. It's all good. Thank you very much, and have a good day. Oh my god! On June 11th. <gasps> Christine apologized on Facebook for failing to reply to many business inquiries and fan questions, stating that she needed a team of representatives to keep up with all incoming queries. She then sent out the message that if any fans were capable and willing to make wow. better Sonichu fan art, fan fiction, or games, she would allow them to do so Hi. freely and would consider it as official Sonichu merchandise. She gave guidelines for the stories that creators should follow, such as adhering to the characters she created and maintaining content fit for a seven-year-old. She apologized for expressing hate for past fan art and once again supported the idea of fan-created Sonichu Media before she could make it officially herself. On June 12th, Chris appeared at a remembrance ceremony held at the University of Virginia in honor of the people who died at the Pulse nightclub shooting in Orlando, Florida. She brought with her her Sonichu medallion, a drawing showing solidarity for the SLGBTQ community, the photoshopped family photograph of the Chandlers and her characters set in a photo frame, and a handwritten poetic letter and drawing which she recited in front of the attendees. The local NBC News station was at the event and featured Christine expressing her opinions. The University of Virginia community is also honoring the victims of that mass shooting from one year ago. New tonight, the student body at UVA hosted a memorial service to honor the 49 victims who lost their lives at the nightclub in Orlando, Florida. This all unfolded on the steps of the rotunda along University Avenue. The two-hour-long event included an opportunity for people to create art and share their tributes. Oh my god, adding the S Do right there hate. at the fucking Pulse hate Memorial. Is not so oh good. my god. And to be paranoid, Oh is, my is god! <laughs> feel love that comes from us and try to feel love that you can offer at least from within yourselves for yourselves. People also read the names of those killed out loud during the ceremony. The event helped to promote equality and diversity. Later that day, Chris livestreamed herself reciting the poetic letter, which she had read out at the memorial service. Unfortunately, she failed to notice that her microphone had been disabled and did not capture any part of her recitation. Her letter read in part, I feel for y'all, my friends, family, and allies in this lifetime of ours. Lost and confused is this point of our lives. How do they know? How do they know Where that's do what it we is? We belong in our local communities with minds gone blank like a fully erased paper. Like they, we are left I guess with they the found it? of what we had thought of before impulsively lost in time. I, too, was there during the times y'all were bullied, broken, and beat up bad. The times we've sought for new friendships to later, maybe, find truest love from one within. Soon enough, we not only have found ourselves, but we three, child, teen, and adult, combined, it. worked out our ideas, 
taking our time, we continues onward in our life from how we were born towards who we are meant to be this whole oh, lifetime. Thank you for swallowing I will noises. continue onward, the stronger soul, woman. That And truest love, while feeling the love from within, from child, from teen, from me. Upon realizing How do they know that, that she failed to record audio, Chris deleted it from her YouTube account. On June 14th, she made a video addressing the issue of some of her patrons leaking Sonichu pages to the public. Uh, I have it has been brought to my attention that apparently those who have made the contribution to Patreon are abusing their privilege and leaking the pages amongst the internet that I put up there. So let's not do that, okay? That's not cool. That's like movie- Pardon me. This is also- I mean, I trust my Mileage Club members, right? Um, but anything that you get as a Mileage Club member is for you and your eyes only. Yeah, it's some extra nice special stuff, you know? Keep it- keep it- keep it- keep it- Special. Thank you. Pirating. You don't steal a woman's purse. You don't steal anybody's cell phone. So, don't steal the pages. Alright? Be legit. Be honest. Be loyal. I believe in the kindness of people. You wouldn't download a car. So, as soon as political evidence is ready, I'd send copies out to every Patreon that has paid, that has been paying. And uh, so on with uh, book 12 and oh, 13, well. 14, so on and so forth. And I think that'll just about cover it for now. So, until the next video, be it Captain's Log or Random Stream, everybody, have a good, safe day. Two days later, Chris posted a short video featuring her mother, Barbara. We are in need. Oh my god. Uh, this makes me feel sick every time. Donations for food. Me. Please. Consider us. Thank you. On June 20th, Christine shared a year-old Facebook post of her wishing her father really a happy like a Father's Day, situation. adding that she like still missed nothing. him you have, every day. You have missed nothing, okay? Later on. This is what you missed, 86. A lot of just begging for money, okay? Um, the poll shooting, unfortunately. Um, Chris talks a lot about how they don't like Trump and then, like, tells every- like, threatens them with death, right? <clears throat> um... They dug out their classic t-shirt and uh, tried to sell it, right? I think they sold it, right? Yeah, the cat got hurt. I think, I think 86 was here when cat got hurt. Um, and then they, they sold their old paper mache Sonic, which I have a, a PNG version made by the very lovely Zeru right on my shoulder. Uh, they sold the paper mache version for $1,500. Let me see this. Hold on. Can I? Oh, I have to download it. Uh, let me show you. Let me show you. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. That's what it looked like. And uh, I sat there for like 20 minutes not, not <laughs> being able to stop laughing. <gasps> oh, God. Thanks, Zero. She wrote a lengthy post regarding the ages of her characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just Simply shows up put, like that when you click on, on it to logic. download. Around the time I specified the main eight's ages. No, that's in, in my. Eight, I, I, I didn't download it yet. I downloaded the other one. Questions about their bloody age in relations to the content slash miscontent of what I drew and wrote beforehand. Ugh. I was still testing the waters of the story typings, parodies, what works slash doesn't work. It is very common amongst the beginning book authors even in televised cartoons and video games. I dare put unto you all, Ash Ketchum is still 10 years old, Sonic the Hedgehog is still 16 years old, and Stewie Griffin is still one year old. While during the Family Guy series, Megan has gone from 16 to 18 years old. 
Twilight Sparkle and the main six are teens to adults, while Celestia and Luna are like a thousand years old. Even XJ9, Jenny, while built a few years prior, her mindset is teenager! What are they on about grown. right now? I feel the best way to answer this annoying question to everyone is to not think or overthink about it. We, the artists, creators, and writers, specify an age to our character, at least I feel, May. when it can be deemed warranted. We do not have to consistently celebrate birthdays or let our characters age canonically or not in our works. The obvious, simple, not to overthink, straight up answer from all of us creators is just take the characters age not really. as we have given them respectively. And in my case, the main eight are more than 20 years old. May as well be over 21 now. Sarah, Christine, and Roberta are teenagers close to equal 17 years old. And Sandy and Zepina Rose Juice are in the fourth grade, despite Sandy being less than a year old physically but mentally equivalent to the typical 4th grader age. Once again, take each character's age at provided value, unless we later say different. Shut the f*** up. Ugh! On the final day of June, Christine uploaded to the final pages emphasis. of Sanchu issue 11 on her Patreon they page, don't. officially completing the comic 8 years after its inception. <laughs> The comic begins with the Sonichu Christmas special episode, set in December 2008. In the Sonichu family's home, little Christine, the Rosie, prepares for her elementary school theatrical performance of the nativity scene, while Rosechu and her daughter Sarah bake cookies. In the rec room, Sonichu and his son, Robbie, hang stockings by the fireplace. In the kitchen, Sarah thanks her mother for letting some of her friends come over oh, for the Christmas party Jai, and shows her that Jai, she made one so cookie in the shape of a candle for her friend I Kevin because he is Jewish. Thank you, thank Sarah you. also made it vanilla flavor to keep the ingredients neutral to avoid an allergic reaction from other flavors. In preparation for an incoming snowstorm, Sonichu goes out to buy groceries and extra supplies, while Christine recites Mary's song from the Gospel according to Luke 146.5 to 55 in preparation for her play. The next day, it is announced that Anne Weston Elementary School would be closed on the count of the storm, so the children would stay home for the time being. Sanchu then goes out to work through the chimney because the doors of the house are blocked with snow. He then uses his powers of super speed to clear the surroundings of snow. Over the coming days, Robbie plays games on the Nintendo Wii and watches Christmas cartoons. Sarah continues to rehearse her lines for her school performance, and their mother, Rose Chu, frantically cleans the house. One day during a playdate at the boy Kevin's house, Sarah plays the combat video game Call of Duty World at War with him. Whoa, she becomes those too like human eyes? The like the, the eyes with the human are completely different Kevin's now. Causes Kevin's character to die, which upsets him. Sarah tells him to not get so attached to a set of digital pixels, but he states that he spent over a whole month leveling up and learning the Treden, preparing for his first war game, only to be quickly killed by Sarah's arrogant actions. To comfort him, she offers him the cookie she baked in the shape of a candle. Kevin looks at the candle's flame and is reminded of the explosion which killed him. He slaps it out of her hand and smashes it to pieces against the TV. Yeah, I got it. Thank you, he runs upstairs crying, while Sarah whoop, whoop, realizes whoop, 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 that Mary. she has hurt him whoop, whoop, and decides whoop, whoop, it best whoop. to leave. Whoop, whoop. Later in <laughs> Sarah's room, she has a telepathic conversation with Magi-chan, who comforts We're her, but lets her know 55. that she and Kevin will most likely not retain their fondness for each other, We're and tells her that there. she should do something to make up for her actions. Two days later, while out shopping, Sonichu and Robbie come across a crying woman who tells them that she lost her job and was then evicted because yeah, she could not Yeah, 55 out of 59. Robbie bursts out that her story was distressing, and would also feel the same way if that happened to him. Sonichu apologizes for his son, clarifying that he is very caring and empathetic. They call for a taxi for her that would bring her to a nearby soup hotel where she could stay. Meanwhile, while Blake and Bubbles are out together, Enos, the homeless Jamaican drug addict, wishes Blake a happy Kwanzaa. He is angered by once again being mistaken for an African American. Bubbles calms him down. The book then oh, flashes oh, okay, back to August, okay, there referring it is, to the there time when Simone LaRoseChu was favorite presumed to have died from an explosion conducted by the Aspropedia 4. The All doctors the at the racism. time are amazed to see that she is coming back to life. Later, doctors find that her skeletal structure is made of simitanium, an incredibly strong metal, which also runs in her blood and organs, meaning that she can regenerate her own organs and bones. 
She is instructed to spend more time resting and recovering. On December 15th, she is discharged from hospital and is reunited with her husband, Wild Sonichu, and their daughter, Sandy. Meanwhile, in the mountains, Magichan and Silvana Rosechu express their love for each other and acknowledge that Silvana's former father figure, Count Graduon, would eventually return, but she has been learning to break free from his teachings. They then kiss and express their intentions to fornicate. Later that same night, during the school nativity play, Christine feels something happening to her and rushes backstage. Sonichu and Rosechu take note and get ready to come to her aid. When Christine text messages Rosechu, telling her that she is evolving into her final form and that she needs new clothes. Rostru instructs Sonichu to run home and bring their daughter a change of clothes. One minute later, Rostru and her two other children come to Christine's dressing room. Christine tells her family that she evolved yeah, fornicate, and had a huge dude, clothes how split, else are they which caused kids? her clothes to be apart. Rostru tells her to keep a happy thought and sing something. The mother and daughter then sing I'm not a girl, not yet a woman, by Britney Spears together, on either side of the door. Sonichu then comes back with what new clothes. Christine changes into her new outfit and comes out on stage just in time to sing her song with confidence. As her parents admire her performance, Sarah and Kevin discuss what happened at their playdate. She apologizes for blowing up his in-game character and offers him three cookies she baked in the shape of dreidels. Kevin explains oh. that he learned to appreciate teamwork and that her aggressive and rash actions made him dislike her. Oh. He thanks her for being his friend and playmate and hopes that she can grow up and mature more. Sarah well, cries and her brother Robbie comes to comfort her. The family soon reunite as a whole and drive back home. Uncle hold on, hold on. So... I'm, I'm kind of confused because I was like, wait a minute. They, in, in this, like, lore, right, like, this kid just was like, yeah, you know, I, I, I appreciate your apology, but, um, <clears throat> you, yeah, it's like, uh, I, I'm, conf <laughs> it just doesn't seem like something that Chris would do. Right, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, this is the same people that. Like, it just seems so normal. It seems so like, oh, you know, it's okay that they didn't, like, you can change. I, I don't know. I don't know. Forget it. Forget it. Forget it. Christmas forget Day. It. I, I'm, I'm reading too Sonichus much into it. It means nothing. The large Christmas it means nothing. It means nothing. In the Quickville shopping center to exchange gifts and embrace each other I have to remember this. Simona remarks that she hasn't seen Christian lately and asks about him. Rose Shu tells her that since he came back from the future, he, or rather she, has been adjusting from the future shock. Rostru goes on to explain, in depth, how in 2014, Christian realized that his soul was female and so changed her pronouns, her name, and began the process of physical transformation as well, all the while continuing to be attracted to women. After their past, Christian returned from 2015. He started to readjust, and by October, had finally realized her true self. Sonichu adds that the news blew him away too, and had come to regret his past ill words against the gays. He says he was mostly upset with trolls and bullies for their mislabelings of him and Chris, and acknowledged that he has no ill will towards the gays, and that there was nothing wrong with what they did, though he never found any interest in their actions. With Christine becoming part of the LGBTQ communities, Sonichu and Rosechu have learned to be more accepting and supportive, and even hired their next-door lesbian neighbor to be their babysitter, solely on the basis of her work credentials. All the Sonichus and Rosechus agreed to go to Christine's house to cheer her up since she had been in seclusion, mentally recovering. The next panels show photos of Christine playing herself, incorporated into the oh comics. Oh my god, they still do the this! Sonichus they still do this! Back and state that they have missed her. Blake approaches Chris and compliments her bust. She thanks him, oh but gosh. states that she was not interested in any of his advances. Blake clarifies that he was quite surprised by her appearance. They then all pose for a I'm sorry, I'm sorry, what did they say? Excuse me? Did you see this? Did you- <clears throat> Blake clarifies that he was quite surprised by her- What is this called? This is called something. This is called self-insert. Literally self-insert, but then like- Having it, it's really, oh, it's really great. It's, it's really great, you know, to have your own 
made character um, say and feel this way about you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I mean, I know this is self-insert, but like, man, more of just, more of just like, yeah, yeah. A full, more, way more Mary Sue. It's, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> Oh, oh god fucking damn it you guys <laughs> thank you <laughs> more der prize now than when i heard of what you've been mr uh 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 and then they like did they see what the fuck they then i'll pose for a photo featuring <laughs> all the main sonichu characters fucking Chan, her parents thank barbara you. and bob Enter Transformer Car Sanchu. Put a blood reference. Is that also self -insert? The scene then switches to uh, December 17, 2008, at a dig site in Virginia, where Simonchu is digging underground. I have to be honest, like, yeah, a lot of my fanfiction was like self insert, you know, um, before when I was younger, the readers are then Mary Sue kind of stuff, August, but like, he had aided in the killing when of I was Simona, younger, his sister. Right? Meanwhile, Simonchu receives an email from his sister, writing that she had made a full recovery and that he was welcome to visit any time. He decides to head on over. The scene once again flashes back to the modified ending of issue 10, wherein the Asperpedia 4 are condemned to live the rest of their lives in the Amish community devoid of modern technology. Part of the sentence was that all the Pokemon they had trained, including Simonchu, were to be released after being rehabilitated. I have no idea why he pronounces Simonchu like that. He just always has. Again. Back on December 18th, Simonchu comes to Simonla's house. She welcomes him in, while Simola's daughter Sandy comes back home. She yells to her mother to get away from that male, Simon but Simola Chu. demands her to apologize to Uncle Simon. Wild Sonichu then also comes back home, and reacts in hate at Simonchu's sight, pulling out a vine and whipping him with it. Simonchu then faints, while Simola calls for them to stop the madness. That's good, that's a she good one, that's a good one. She explains to her family that her brother was a victim of circumstance, and forgives him for what he did, and she expects her husband and daughter to forgive him as well. During the family reunion dinner, Simonchu explains how he was captured by Evan Christopher George and trained to carry out his and his cohort's evil deeds. He then reflects how after he was released, he took an interest to geology and collecting fossils. Sandy offers to bring the mystery fossil her uncle brought with him to the Quickville Museum. Christine Chandler interjects as the narrator to apologize for failing to title the episode beforehand. She also adds I'm surprised that the they even got episodes out. I thought they'd be done by, by now. Her Facebook Shit. friend and financial contributor William Elliot Waterman, but she had taken some liberties with the story and altered it to add more details. Episode 23, Simonchu and Banana <laughs> Funkel formally begins in Quickfield you know? Museum, where Simonchu and his niece submit the unknown fossil sample for research to a yet to be introduced Blue Rose Chew, whom Simonchu fancies. Fifteen well, minutes part later, 55. the researcher part comes 55. back to tell them that the fossil is a newly discovered Pokemon, which had been revived and then given back to them within a Pokeball. It was dubbed Bananasaur. Simonchu opens the Pokeball to release the small green dinosaur-like Pokemon, which could only speak gibberish. From far away, Punchy Sonichu could hear and comprehend the Bananasaur's <laughs> thoughts and rushes to meet him and his keepers in the museum. The Pokemon and Punchy communicate with each other telepathically and bond over their shared love of the rock band ACDC. At Simonchu's request, Punchy agrees <laughs> to take care of him yeah, since you're he right, seems you're to right. be the only one able Fuck to bro, understand though. him. He feeds the Bananasaur a strawberry-flavored Pocky, and then it suddenly evolves into its next evolutionary stage, a larger yellow banana-shaped creature called Bananasauros. Punchy brings him home and introduces him to his girlfriend, <gasps> Layla Flaffy. She then calls Punchy over to the kitchen to discuss the uninvited guest privately, angered by his sudden appearance, as she is not ready to accommodate him. She begrudgingly accepts to try to cope with the banana Aww, sauce. Aw, he looks okay though! He looks like an okay dude! If it becomes okay, too dude. much to bear. Punchy and his Pokemon then bond over some video games. Later at the daycare center, Punchy encourages the banana sauros to mate with the Pokemon Ditto which then shapeshifts to appear like a Bananasaurus. Oh, I see, I see. About an hour okay. after ferocious intercourse, the Ditto lays what? two eggs. On another day, the two... <laughs> what? What? Daycare Center, Punchy encourages the Bananasaurus to mate with the Pokemon Ditto, which then shapeshifts to appear like a Bananasaurus. About an hour after ferocious intercourse, the ditto lays two eggs. 
What the fuck? Yeah, but you're gonna have to carry me home in a Pokeball. That thing was all over me with ferocious intent. Ugh, snip me, dude. I am so over all of that. On another day, the two practice fighting at Nabe's Dojo Shin, but Banana Soros keeps getting bested by Punchy. He then whips out Wait, a Wait, okay, board, but the comics have, have been 18 match, plus for a little bit, in both okay? Of them needing to be hospitalized. On December 22nd, they come back home to find that Layla had packed her suitcase and is ready <gasps> to move out. Oh my god. She says that she had unfriended him on Facebook and never wants to see him again. Oh my but she god. accepts her words as she punches Banana Soros in the face on her way out, calling him bruised and unfruitful. Christine interjects once again to inform the viewers that time was short to complete the episode, so she offers a brief summary of what happens next. Layla goes to stay with a temporary caregiving trainer. Why does it have William to be Faulkner, short? This is a comic. As the banana Soros gets too comfortable living in Punchy's house, just, playing just video games all day, part and one, not part two. What the fuck? himself. Luckily for Punchy, the banana Pokemon is soon given the job of cleaning and maintaining the dojo. Then, Magichan interrupts the narrative to inform the reader that he had been busy collecting Sonichites and Rosechites, a newly introduced item based on the Mega Stones from Pokemon, which could temporarily induce evolutions of the Electric Hedgehog Pokemon into their Mega Forms. Also, a spot of havoc was averted at the SLGBTQ Pride Festival in 2009. In the behind-the-scenes prologue of the next episode, Silvana Rosechu is receiving a spa treatment. As she finishes, a stagehand informs her that she has 60 seconds before the film crew starts filming, as if the episode were to be recorded like a TV show. She then transforms into the guest star of the episode, Sonic the Hedgehog, whom she will be playing throughout episode 24, part 1, The Clip Show. God damn it, Skev. On August 21st, 2009, Sonic meets Sonichu and Rosechu at Quickville Shopping Center. Sonichu and Sonic reminisce about recent happenings. Sonichu recounts an account of bullying experienced by his children Robbie and Sarah, and then their fight against a jerkop. Sarah then oh suddenly God. evolved and grew in size, vowing not to wear skirts or overly feminine attire, preferring to wear jeans and a t-shirt. Wow! Sonichu adds that a month or two after that event, Robbie came out as a lesbian soul and then evolved into Roberta, having fully transformed her body into that of a female, and has never felt happier or more confident. Christine Chandler this then surprises is both how I Sonichu feel whenever and I Sonic, sleep and, dream. and to convince Sonic that she was indeed the same person who created Sonichu, she transforms into her Christian Sonichu form. She explains to Sonic that this happened after Chris returned from his trip to 2015 and had Slowil Rhyme arrested. While still in this colossal Christian form, he ponders that he indeed felt more feminine in his high school years, and finally mm. comes to terms that his soul was female. He then transforms into the female form of Colossal Christian. After briefly admiring herself in the mirror, the energies of the Sonichu crystals, which caused her to transform into her current state, then escape her body and sync with the energies which had departed Sonichu earlier, and they merge in the moonlight. The combination of energies create crystals, and then they all shatter and fall to the earth in millions of pieces. Chris returns to her female Christian Sonichu form and finds one of the shattered crystals, or the Sonichite, on the ground. Meanwhile, Sonichu and Rosechu watch the explosion in the sky and then pick up Sonichites which fell to the ground. They suddenly evolve into their Ultra Sonichu and Incredible Lioness forms respectively. Their powers soon wear off and they return to normal. Christine recounts that Magichan has been collecting all the unique Sonichites meant for each individual Sonichu and Rosechu and now the Sonichus have them sewed into their socks, and the Rosechus have them put into their barrets. They would be used as a last resort to transform into their unique mega forms. Christine then gets a call from her father, who wants her to go buy some TV dinners and soup. Sonichu and Sonic discuss meeting up again soon, at which point Sonichu will talk about the wedding. The comic concludes with a vow for the story to be continued. On July 3rd, Christine shared a photo of one of her favorite works of fan art, encouraging her that her sweetheart was out there somewhere. The photo also revealed that Chris kept printed versions of private Facebook messages from at least her friend, Jessica Quinn. What the fuck? On the 4th, what the Chris wished why? her Facebook followers why? a happy Independence Day, sharing an altered page from her latest Sonichu comic. 
Two days later, she wrote that she cooked. Wait, who drew that? Who drew that? Because that, that is nice. Who drew that? On July 3rd, Christine shared a photo oh. of one of her favorite works of fan art, encouraging her that her sweetheart was out there somewhere. Oh, the photo it's Miss also Minnie. Revealed that oh, Christ oh, I see. Sharing an altered Somebody page else, like from her latest Sonichu comic. Two days later, she wrote that she cooked a hot hamburger plate with mashed potatoes and gravy, inspired by the work of her late father's old friend, Tony, and posted a photo of it. However, Kiwi Farms user Lucas Wolf looked up the term hot hamburger plate on Google and found the image Chris used to be the first result on the image search. On July 7th, she posted another Captain's Log video asking about sponsorships. Just a nice, just a short update today because what else, what else? We are up to page 14 in book 12. Although it's not totally colored, those are not totally colored in yet. We're up to page 8 on the coloring process. And those pages will be uploaded onto my Patreon. Undo, undo time okay, so on so does that person who paid a thousand dollars like so nursing I just another get access I to had, the Patreon? You know, I often like I often use and enjoy using this Crayola super tip markers. I was thinking like you know, I'm wondering, do crit do uh, artists sometimes take sponsorships? Cause if Crayola's hiring and accepting us to be their sponsors then I'd highly would endorse the Crayola products because I just love coloring I do enjoy coloring with the Crayola mm. super tip markers especially from the 50 pack and I miss those 12 that set of 12 fun scented markers well it's just a thought I had so <laughs> Chris who is a crayon eater this week's uh, this week's Captain's Log. I'll check in a um, week or two with another update. Have a good, safe day, everyone. Thank you for your patronage. She later expanded on her message in a Facebook post. Seriously, I could do a commercial for Crayola, rather just to add color to your day, or just keeping it all inside the drawn lines. Hashtag Crayola rocks for artists of all ages. On July 8th, Chris commented on Twitter that after reading Sonichu issue 0 for the first time in many years, and comparing it with her latest comic, she realized how much her artistry had improved. What? She also made note of some spelling what? mistakes she had made back in 2004, but she did not overall regret making the books. It was at around this time that Christine began pledging $25 per month to artist and voiceover actress Doopy Doover's Patreon page. As a reward for her patronage, she could request a custom black and white illustration. Chris had asked Doopy to draw Rose Chew, which she did, later thanking her for oh, it, that's actually calling very the artist nice. Darling. That's Two actually very later, pretty. Doopy wrote on Twitter that she was working on icon commissions Yo! for fans, live on the streaming site, Twitch. Oh my Christine god! We, hate, replied, we made it, we made it, we made it! You, Doopy, darling, We're here! Colon close parentheses. Not long after, Doopy complained about seeing her father when she looked at herself in the mirror. Chris replied that when she looked at herself, she saw herself who loved her, and suggested that Doopy look at herself from a different perspective, ending we're with on Twitch, We're on Twitch! We're on Twitch! We're on Twitch! The next day, in response to Doopy declaring that she deserved a million dollars, Chris responded that she did too, because she worked a lot around the home and caretaking her mother and also her dad, in addition to the emotional pains. It was also on that day that Christine wrote of experiencing a painful few days, only to learn that she had just passed her first kidney stone. Oh, shit. On July 11th, in response to Doopy Doover uh. receiving criticism uh. over drawing pornographic imagery of 16-year-old computer graphic Japanese singer Hatsune Miku, Chris wrote that she supported her, calling her a darling sweet soul and a great artist. In response to Doopy Doover seemingly brushing aside Christine's past bad actions because Chris complimented her, Twitter user, the smallest mage, wrote an extended message telling Doopy that Chris's kind words were merely a facade and that she should be more careful about what she said about Chris before she got mistreated like her other gal pals. The smallest mage advised Doopy to read up on Chris's history on the quickie. Wouldn't Doopy know though? Like at this point, wouldn't Doopy know? Making an awful person feel better about themselves. 
Dupi responded with a similarly length reply, stating that she had been following Chris Chan since the beginning. Yeah, that's what I thought. Like, I she mean, done, she found the trolls to be just as bad as Chris. Dupi admitted that her kind words may be fake and a show, as she was not emotionally invested Welcome in back, their Layton. interactions enough to care. Since Chris was a paying patron and had Damn. hired her to do a commission, Dupi showed her the same amount of respect she would to any of her other commissioners or patrons. Dupi that's, wished for people fair. to keep the that's matter fair. to themselves and assured her critic that she was We're a not gonna talk about who could Miku. handle the situation. Move on, move on. <laughs> In response, Christine wrote a string of tweets. Honestly, how dare you put past errors that I do intend to remedy as soon as humanly possible, albeit within my own financial restrictions. I never intended to scam anyone. So that part of your textful message you did, is BS. Though. And in the years ago, for the latter, I was naive for a number of things. Even that was reflected in my previous Sonichu books, as I was testing the woodwork, seeing what works and what not. I actually matured mentally and emotionally, and I have gained more and better wisdom. I, personally, prefer not to address trolls, such as yourself, at the smallest Wait, so mage. Doofy, did Doofy share this? Did Doofy share this message? But when one attacks an innocent person with such outdated trash, then I feel need to step in. In other words, trolling stupid, quit assuming the worst about me or anyone. All you are doing from that is making an ass yourself at the smallest mage. I will Episode not warn 80. you again. Leave the people I talk with alone. Good day. Members of the QB forums then uncovered and publicized the smallest mage's full name, home address, and other social media profiles, which prompted the user to delete his Twitter account. Oh, damn. As Christine continued to interact with Doopy Do-Over, she failed to see how she was nothing more than another one of her many supporters, hoping against hope to strengthen their relationship, or perhaps advance it further to the next level. She would soon find out that hope can sometimes be a foolish thing oh my god <laughs> the way he said that was so sad what the fuck what the fuck gino please oh my god tragic uh that hit me hard the fuck okay i go pee now Alrighty, 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 alrighty. Oi, 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 oi. Huh? What's what have what have I explained? Oh, okay. Fire! Fire, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you for 
by sending your subscription. I appreciate it. Thank you. Sick. Sick. Awesome. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So 86, uh... Uh, uh, 86, uh, oh, somebody paid him. <laughs> what? I'm confused. I, that's two then? Thanks, Fire, I really appreciate it. <laughs> thank you, thank you for continuing your first class. What the fuck? Okay, I got confused, I got confused. But anyways, yeah, 86, uh, somebody paid him to say, like, a word 86 times. Like, it was very... Like, just, just a bunch of times, and he said he did it 86 times. So everybody was like, whoa, 86 times. And then that, that's it. Yeah. Um, as for 86ing as, like, a, as an action, yeah, it's kind of just like, um, like, when, you, when, when the kitchen runs out of food, they 86 it from the menu. It's like canceling out from the menu. How much did you miss? You had to fight your computer? Uh, well, I've been live for three days. This is day three. As for just Christian, let's see. We've watched five parts so far. No. What made her this way? Yesterday or two days ago, we did three extra. Three extra. What is the so attraction? It's been a bit. <laughs> what keeps us fascinated? Yeah, 86 is this just is like story taking off, canceling, of you know, uh, ending, something like that. He began just dropped a new cover song? What did he cover? Wait, hold on. We're gonna listen to Hibiki's new cover song. Hold on, hold on. Oh yeah, for sure. I definitely, like, after we finish, I'm like, yeah, well, we're done, we're done. Okay, okay, okay. You guys can get the rest later. You guys can get the rest later when you guys look it up yourselves, okay? On July 13th, 2017. In yeah, it's on his YouTube Planet's channel. Just creator, look up Hibiki Hoshino. Writing on Twitter, or Hoshino Hibiki. wants to spend all her time with her friends. Christine replied that she sent lots of love back at her. And then, Twitter yeah, yeah, user, yeah, yeah. James R. Landall then replied to them, linking to the YouTube video of Chris Pepper Spring, the GameStop employee in oh, 2014. Man. Oh, Chris man. left a reply. You can go fuck off. Quit trolling people with past, outdated BS. The next day, she uploaded a video on YouTube in which she reviews sour candy. Hello everybody, this is Christine Chandler coming to you live from home once again with something really completely different. Different. I present to you, if you're ever going to try this or a similar candy, soda with fizzy outer outer type coating that makes it fizz like soda in your mouth. Look at the image. If I get to the camera. Fizzy, Thank fizzy, you for fizzy. lurking fire. Yeah, Appreciate good, it. But well, it was well, part 56. It's quite sour. I warn you. Part 56. This this just the beginning of it. This is a live reaction. Alright. <laughs> Or it makes me put my fist up at impulse. I'm not going to hit it. Welcome back again, I'm Axel. Oh, oh, oh. This was soon followed by a new captain's log. And yes, we'll call this a captain's log. Captain's log, star date 0714 
747. Who's a 747 flying overhead? Uh, what anyway, the fuck? What now, the fuck? now I will remember or yeah, my recent post where yeah, definitely green. Her definitely, bird does her hair is definitely green. green. Kaboom! Zero no, zero no. Big boom. But pretty much now is the only page. Well, that and a few ahead where I actually added the rainbow. So I'm catching up on all the remaining pages and about. Five pages to go, and I have to do all the rainbow work first. So you know how hard that is, cause I'm doing it one marker at a time. I've uh, not separated, and that's kind of neat. Alright, Travis, thank you so much for colors, being here. Good night and rest well. Shoes, thank black, you. Pretty ears and whatnot, skin tone, for everything else. That's about Roberta signed you. I know it made me so feel I really icky doing just seeing their face for that long. Work coloring rainbows. Wow. Okay, so anyway, let's just wow. let y'all know what I'm doing right now. And I thank y'all for your patience, and hopefully I'll have these pages yeah, next uploaded episode onto my Mary's. Patreon Sunday or Monday. Y'all have a good, safe day. Thank you. On July 15th, Christine wrote a reply to a tweet from My Little Pony voice actress Tara Strong that she believed that there existed a dimension of Equestria, such as was depicted in the TV show, and thought that there could come a day when people and the ponies could meet. On the 19th, Chris commissioned voice actress and illustrator Doopy Doover $25 to make her a new profile picture of herself. Doopy provided two versions, one of Christine with glasses and one without. Chris expressed her adoration for the illustration and used it as the profile avatar for Twitter Facebook and Patreon. She also printed it out and hung it on the wall in her room. On July 22nd, Chris went to Twitter to encourage donations of around $50 as her family was in need of financial help. The next day, Chris became Facebook friends with Doopy Doover. It was soon uncovered that the account was likely the creation of a troll pretending to be Doopy as the oh, account was deactivated okay, okay, okay. shortly after. On August 1st, Doopy wrote that she kept experiencing panic attacks. Chris suggested some medication which had personally helped her. Also on that day, Christine became a patron for two more pages, Planet Dolan, which Doopy was a part of, and Kitten Bell, the account Doopy used to create pornographic illustrations. In response to a collage of nude drawings on the page, Chris left her a suggestion. I enjoy your drawing style, despite the content. I have an idea for the next one, or future one, for your kitten Belle. Vinyl Scratch and Octavia, humans, being on each other. Maybe they're both sitting up, making out, and fondling, slash fingering. Put on a jammin' boombox, playing some dubba, slash cello mix. Later again, Christine wrote a tweet to celebrate National Girlfriend Day, and tagged several voice actresses and creators, mostly those involved with My Little Pony or Planet Dolan which included Doopy. She replied to Chris, simply writing, You don't know me, Christine. Wow! Christine replied, Yes, I don't totally know you, but you are a good person, like all I've listed here. Damn! Y'all are girls, and at least acquaintances up to friends. And that, to me, counts as much, because I'm thankful to have you all in my life and communication circle. Doopy's starting also, to feel it. Doopy's really VI starting detail. to feel it. I care, and I wear my heart on my sleeve. Doopy advised her against doing so, to which Chris- This is literally the messages, the responses of somebody who really- who's really over you. Really. Yeah, Doop- exactly, Doopy's really starting to regret. She wrote that she likes to care for others as well as herself, and quoted her favorite pin, which stated, Caring people make a difference. This is like a, a teacher pin. Like, the way that they have apples here. Apples are synonymous with teachers, that's it. Prince. Doopy told Chris that if she wore her heart on her sleeve, she would set herself up for disappointment. Doopy From added you, further Doopy. From that Chris you. had made that mistake many times in the past, and that it was unhealthy and worrisome, so she should instead focus on herself. Chris replied that if she focused on herself all the time, then she Void. would not be able to share her kindness and make many friends. Doopy responded by writing that she did not appreciate Chris's use of emojis and pet names, and did not agree with Chris supporting her on Patreon when her oh, mother, Barbara, was damn. sick and needed money. Okay, okay. 
okay. She further wrote that she did not appreciate receiving personal emails on her business account, oh, finding Jesus. it extremely oh, creepy. She added that she wanted to refund the money as Barbara deserved it. Chris urged her to keep the pledges, as the Chandlers would be financially stable after receiving the payments from her own Patreon page. She wrote that the previous month, her biggest spend was buying a complete printed set of Sonichu comics for her friend from the Pokemon League as a birthday present. A full Sonichu book set. They're books, right? Like, you're saying they like they, they bought their books for the... Okay. Another Twitter user told Doopy Doover that Christine would not listen to her reasoning and said that Chris might let her mother die because she prioritized toys and emotional validation. Chris rejected those claims and blocked and reported the user. A different commenter told the artist that Chris would not give one cent to her mother. Chris rebutted, saying she had just bought her mother a lot of groceries. She went to Doopy's business email and sent her a message privately to discuss the matter. Please, keep the $50. I want to help you a little better. Plus, I did want to get a shirt. I did not realize that was the business part, and I did not intend to come off as creepy. Believe me, I know that feeling from a crazy fan and what else. Plus, I would learned years ago about what from me came off as creepy, and I tried to avoid those things. Second, this morning, after I awoke more from waking up after 2 a.m., I found Vim's tweet about hashtag National Girlfriends Day. I realized that while I still have yet to find my sweetheart, I did count y'all on Twitter as up to friends who are girls slash women. I also counted my closet friends from Pokemon League, a couple of other gal pals, and one who likes me, oh, but God. while I like her too, yeah, I still have not Yeah, here's a personal email yet. to reassure you, I'm not, not gonna send you more personal so the feeling emails, is my not bad. Yet totally fulfilled. I was showing my appreciation for my blessing of my growing circle of friends, local and far. I did not mean for it to go crazy like I did. Oh. Anyhow, I'm guessing this email is not your business email, but if it is, please correct me. I like talking with you from time to time, but not in anything beyond simple acquaintances to friendship. I'm still learning what is okay and what is not okay to do. And I have to be honest, like, references. this email is really Keep one of their thoughts, better emails. Darling. Sent from my iPhone. Stay safe. Christine W. Chandler. Doopy wrote Except back the, that while she appreciated uh, you know? Christine's kindness, it had caused her Let's a see, lot of problems. She intended to refund the pledges and let Chris use the money to buy a shirt from her online store. She added that she could not accept her patronage anymore and would appreciate if Chris did not tweet publicly at her mm. for both of their sakes. On August 2nd, Christine made a video addressing the harassment the two have been receiving on Twitter ever since their public falling out. Let's prep for a moment, okay? Because you're harassing other people. It's gonna make it worse. And it's at my it's expense. gonna make it worse. I do not appreciate that. If you wanna harass somebody about me, Talk bad about me, you send that harassment directly to me. Axel! No one else! I will not have my friends and allies be disturbed so abruptly every time. So, don't harass this person. Don't harass that person. You wanna you wanna talk smack about me? You talk directly to me. Do you understand? Oh God! And don't ever let me catch you talking about me to anyone else on anyone else's timelines, comment sections, Twitter, or wherever. <laughs> That's outside of your own goddamn forum, you trolls. Don't ever let me catch you bad-mouthing me to anyone harassing them at my expense. Do you understand me? You better damn well understand yeah, me. Yeah, it has been a while since we've seen Angry Chris. Every other time we've seen Chris, it's like... <laughs> oh my god. She simultaneously <laughs> went to Twitter to launch and promote the hashtag HarassQuickDirectly hoping to draw the ire of trolls oh, to herself instead oh. of to do-over. 
She also reiterated the proper use of feminine pronouns when trolls referred to her. She accompanied her posts with drawings of Planet Dolan characters, all angrily declaring, Hashtag don't harass me, with only Christine and two iconographs of eyes within hearts, stating, Hashtag harass quick directly. Chris's drawn avatar had the hearted eye planted on her forehead, while all the Planet Dolan characters wore armbands displaying the eye symbol. She encouraged people who did not like seeing other people harassed at their expense to use the illustration of the purple eye and heart as their Twitter profile what picture. The fuck? Soon after, Chris explained the meaning behind the symbol in a Patreon post. The eye of Warren? The icon is a combination of wearing one's heart on their sleeve and the ability to see the injustice of those who harass other people at one person's expense. <laughs> a curvy and boss? because we are left horn, together by horn? having seen such injustice done to someone or another we care about. We will not let the trolls, bullies, and haters get away horse, with harassing others at our expense. It was also at around that time that users of the Kiwi Farms noticed that Chris was no longer a patron of any of the Patreon accounts run by or associated with Doopy Do Over. Chris then changed back all the profile yeah, well, pictures were, of the asked, social media so, accounts I mean... which had used Doopy's illustration, reverting back to the previous pictures used. On August 3rd, my Little Pony voice actress, Tabitha St. Germain, who was one of the people Chris had tagged in her National Girlfriend's Day tweet, replied to it, stating that she did not read the other replies she was tagged in and would block anyone participating in group slagging off. Christine apologized to her, taking the blame for causing everyone being harassed because of her. She made a string of tweets explaining the reasoning why she made the initial tweet and hoped that people did not think of her less because of her mistake. Tabitha added that if Chris was having a fight on Twitter with someone, she should untag those parties not involved. Chris replied that she would, calling the voice. What's even better is the fact that people still don't know how to untag people in retweets or replies. Voice actress Darling. Her reply drew the ire of several Chris Chan followers on Twitter, writing to her that she still failed to learn her lesson about calling strangers by wow. enduring pet and getting too close to them. Chris replied to each one of them with insults, using the slurs uncouth and cad several times, likely inspired by the manner of speaking of St. Germain's My Little Pony character, Rarity. Chris then moved on to a tweet from voice actress Tara Strong, making oh. reference to actress Melissa Joan Hart, with whom she would be working. Chris expressed her surprise at the two working together, commenting that she liked Melissa. Meanwhile, Chris continued to reply to tweets insulting or making fun ah! of her with quips and insults directed back at the trolls. On August 4th, Christine wrote an update on Patreon regarding uploads of new Sonichu pages. My most sincere apologies everyone, but with the recent stresses of some people harassing people I liked, not harassing them, just a few thoughtful tweets now and then towards a genuine friendship. I was never expecting sex, you uncouth twats who ruin nearly everything. I got distracted drawing the icon set for the friends slash family of one who was most affected with the trolls harassment at my expense. Again, you got something to say against me, you tell it only to me and nobody else outside of your private forums. Definitely nowhere else on Twitter other than directly to me, Miss Christine Weston Chandler. I am she. And I like men, as I like heavy metal music. I do not like heavy metal music. Hardly a real beat or tune, and the lyrics are incoherent. Sigh. Sigh. One of her patrons wrote that she had a pattern of violating the personal space of women, and that she should admit that the way DP acted towards her was not solely caused by troll actions. Christine replied that she knew that, adding that she had learned from her past errors and mistakes, and that she did not violate women's personal space. She felt that Doopy liked her kindness while she was recovering from the harassment from all the trolls and bullies who, according to her, ruined nearly everything. On the 5th, Karen Riley, notable member of the Kibi Farms who had interacted with Chris in the past, wrote on Twitter that Doopy was not her friend as she had specifically said. Chris disagreed, stating that they were not close yet and that the phrase, I am not your friend, was never written by Doopy. Doopy do over herself, then came to reply to Chris. I can't believe I had to unblock you to tell you this. I'm not your friend. I'm not ever interested in being your friend. Leave me alone. You were specifically a customer to me, and you took it too far. You creeped me out. 
Now please don't talk to or about me ever again. Afterwards, Chris sent a direct message to Karen Riley, telling her that Karen was no angel herself and that she should go back to the forums. Chris then blocked her on Twitter. At around that- Who did- who said this? Sorry. Afterwards, Chris sent a direct message to Karen Riley, telling her that Karen was no angel herself, and that- Can what did Karen Riley say? What? What? Not your friend was never written by Doopy. Doopy do over herself, then came to reply to Chris. I can't believe I had oh to unblock you to tell you yikes. this. I'm not your friend. I'm not ever yikes. interested in being yikes, your yikes, friend. Yikes. Leave me alone. You were specifically a customer to me, and you okay. took it too far. Yikes, yikes, you yikes. creeped me out. Now please don't talk to or about me yeah, ever that's, again. That's, mm -mm, mm -mm. Afterwards, Chris sent a direct message to Karen Riley, telling her that Karen was no angel herself, and that she should go back to the forums. Chris then blocked her on Twitter. At around that time, Christine shared a profile picture that someone on Twitter allegedly made of her custom My Little Pony persona, Nightstar. This new user, who also used the handle at Nightstar2891, then proceeded to follow many accounts of My Little Pony voice actors and Planet Dolan creators, including Doopy Doover. The user would also defend Chris in Twitter replies. Many observers suspected that it was an alternate account created by Christine to defend herself oh, in public tweets. Oh, I was tweets like, damn, who is this? And to the people who had blocked her original account. On August 6th, Dupi created an account on QB Forms and began leaking private emails she received from Christine regarding sending her character descriptions. Oh my God, Dupi's on here now! And her apology for tagging Dupi in the hello, original hello. National Girlfriend's Day tweet. Doopy also revealed an email Chris wrote in response to watching her video oh about things she didn't understand, writing that she believed in alternate dimensions, where the characters they created continued to live their lives after their published stories are concluded. She added that she was also developing psychic powers through the listening of binaural beats, and could bend paper with her mind waves, hoping to only strengthen her powers through daily practice, what so that she fuck? could use them for good, such what as levitating herself fuck? to fly. What the fuck? What the fuck? Also on that day, Chris switched back to using Doopy's illustration as her profile picture. Suspecting that the Nightstar Twitter account belonged to Chris, QE Farms moderator and Quickie administrator, Marvin, direct messaged Nightstar on Twitter, pretending to be an observer of Chris Chan, stating that since they shared so many distinct writing quirks with Chris, that it was statistically impossible that they were different people. Nightstar confided that she was not Chris, and was in fact a Miss E.S and could possibly explain the similarities of writing style because both she and Christine were oh, well-read and eloquent. Miss E.S. Well, for the that, that she grew mm -hmm. up in Richmond, Virginia, and graduated with a degree in psychological arts from the University of Virginia, and currently worked at several McDonald's in the area. Oh, okay. Okay. On occasion, she conversed with Christine at yeah, McDonald's really subtle. and really found subtle, her to dude. be a very kind and understanding person. Nightstar was so hurt that so many people misunderstood her intentions after the National Girlfriend's Day tweet. Miss E.S. wrote that she was into examining the mental state of others from what they drew, created, and the media they consumed. She felt that Marvin's persona was racially conscious and a little religious based on the media he shared on Twitter, and that he was as old-fashioned as Donald Trump. Marvin felt that if it were Chris behind the account, they could have been receiving help on the count of Nightstar using unusual terminology, like racially conscious. On August 7th, the Nightstar account messaged back who would Marvin's be like, account who with would screen be caps of that, Nightstar's though? messages with Christine's account. Chris told the alleged Miss ES to not talk with the trolls, but did not control her and would not judge her on her bad actions, but her good deeds, like she did with Doopy. Chris elaborated to Nightstar on why Doopy felt uncomfortable with Chris, sharing screen caps of the posts Doopy wrote on QB Forms. As an aside, on August 1st at 3 a.m., Chris wanted to pledge $50 per month to her half brother Cole Smithy's Patreon account, only to find that he had blocked her from contributing. Then she went to Doopy Doover's Patreon to try and raise her pledge amount from $25 to $50 for the month, but saw that her $25 pledge for August had already been collected and was unable to raise it. She then sent an extra $25 directly to Doopy, writing that by doing so, she could receive the benefits of the $50 tier. 
In reference to Dupi discussing the backlash she would be getting, Chris wrote that the artist found the backlash of being friends with Christine worse than being associated with the so-called damn uncouth trolling stupids. She wrote that she would have continued to be kind to Dupi as a friend, since she knew that Dupi had a boyfriend, because she had matured mentally and emotionally, and unlike the trolls claimed, Chris never expected sex. Upon researching the Twitter account's claims, members of the Kiwi Farms saw that the top bars of the mobile screenshots yeah, provided pizza, by both Christine and Nightstar contained mobile carrier information and other active utilities that matched and that both Twitter accounts were registered to phone oh numbers God. with matching really... final two digits. Also, when wow. attempting to change the password of the Nightstar oh my account, God, wow. the confirmation email Wow. Could be sent to an email address that was for the most part censored well done. to those well attempting done. to hack it. However, from the few characters that were shown, it was almost certainly confirmed to match a little known email address found in a leaked email Chris had written to a gal pal in 2014. Volcano Insurance Idiot at Yahoo.com. Furthermore, the handle Nightstar2891 contained Chris's year of birth backwards. Publicly, when asked, the Nightstar account denied that it was Christine. After persistent pestering, Chris herself then chimed in to state publicly that she was not Nightstar 2891. On August 8th, Chris posted a photo of her cat Lucy to commemorate International Lucy. Cat Day. To dispel rumors, she then added that her other cat, Sorbet, was still alive and well. Soon after, she posted a photo of Sorbet <gasps> sitting on her. Sorbet. Oh my gosh. Poor Sorbet. The next day, Chris claimed that an Emily, who was allegedly responsible for the Nightstar I Twitter account, total, saw her at McDonald's like that morning and came and a run because she was scared off from all the trollsome allegations that her Twitter account was run by Christine. Chris blamed the trolls Sir for Bay ruining got nearly hit everything. By a car. In the meantime, and, uh, Chris watched and, and YouTube videos damn, uh, in an attempt damage. to learn how to communicate with the dead, predict the future, and levitate. On wow. August 11, wow. Chris wrote, I'm sleepy as fuck, but falling asleep, I'm out of luck. Root de doot de doot. De doot. Root de doot. On that same day, in response to a Patreon comment criticizing Chris Chan Sonichu for having two quote unquote tumors on his chest, oh, Chris no. tweeted, Take that batch of hay and put them in some apples. Eat your candles, dumbasses. What the fuck does this My even mean? My breasts are real. I am woman. Never tell me otherwise, haters. Here's a good thought. Cyber bullies are the tumors of humanity and the world. They should cut themselves out. I do not have tumors, dummies. Also on August 11th, Chris arrived at the Baltimore Convention Center in Baltimore, Maryland for her three-day stay at BronyCon, a convention focused on the My Little Pony franchise. According to Kiwi Farms user, Love You Long Time, the troll behind the Kim Wilson persona notified forum readers that Christine drove herself to Baltimore and was staying at a hotel with supposed lady friends. A Facebook friend wrote we that she would be ready picture, to assist right? Chris's mother Barbara if need be. Among the possessions which she brought with her were original copies of the Sonichu comics, snacks, and My Little Pony figurines. Many photographs of her were posted on Twitter and Facebook. Go back, go back. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay and My Little Pony figurines. Many photographs of her were posted on Twitter and Facebook, mingling <laughs> with other attendees, while prominently wearing pink feline ears and a strap-on unicorn horn. On the first day, Chris met Kathy Wesseluck, a voice actress from the TV show, and posed for an autograph with her. With what is that coloring right there? What is, what is with that coloring right there? What? 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 Kathy holding up a copy of fuck? Sonichu Issue Zero, which she had autographed. What is? According to Claire Porter, a follower oh of Christian whom she met at the convention, Chris talked to Kathy for close to 25 minutes, discussing topics involving Sonichu and Quickville. Claire added that the voice actress showed Chris friendship and support, oh, albeit treating her like so a child. Sweet. On the second day, she attended a panel discussion titled Keeping Friendship Magic, Yo, is the Odd Pony Out. It's, a, it's an Afterwards, uncapped subathon, so every dollar that you spend in here is an extra minute to how long I stream. Which purportedly stated you, that she relinquished her soul to the individual who asked for an autograph. 
The person who got it also covertly recorded audio I don't think that's Lemonade. Like, that's something way darker than Lemonade, and another attendee discussing some recent pages from her comics. And, I have, and I'm on Patreon, too. Later, okay. Well, I've been watching Roberta's Sonic. The Rain Boom. You know we love a good Sonic Rain Boom. Everybody's yeah. so nice. Hi, everybody. Hi. It's nice to meet you. Hey. I hope you have believe a great day. Believe in everybody day. and believe in you and believe in yourself. You'll be able to make your own Sonic Rain Boom. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 Yes. Oh, it's lovely to meet you. I heard you'd be here, but I didn't know I'd meet anyone. I was wondering, uh, it's not too much trouble, could I, uh, oh, I'd love a selfie, uh, but if I could get an autograph, I'd love that, too. It's kind of crazy. Oh, you have your own? Another convention goer reported it's kind of crazy, because they are getting that, like, treatment, like, oh, can I have a selfie or whatever? 4chan. I played poker against her in the tournament, and she got really, really fucking mad when I accidentally called her, him. Mm. I never cared to call someone by their shitty preferred gender, but fuck you got to give me some time to figure out what you fucking want to be called. Oof. It was a paired tournament, so we didn't have a choice That's, who we played, mm, I can't, I'm not and she can't about play that. with her shit, but she did manage to build off of idiots. She lost it all chasing though. I met her again at the gala, and she's been glaring at me. Lol. Another person more knowledgeable of her recounted their experience with meeting Chris. I found Christian at Rev a panel WT and gained now his trust. Like I asked him if the Sonichi medallion was authentic, and he said, I am the she that used to be that he that, and then quickly showed me the first edition of Sonichu. Then he shook my hand for some reason. Christian met Kelly Sheridan, mm. voice actress for the character Starlight Glimmer, who signed one of Chris's illustrations and took a photo with but her. I think it's because at this point, like, Chris is like, how Chris do you not know While Chris held up her customized you know what I mean? figurine made to look like herself. Chris was then spotted at Brony Palooza, a My Little Pony themed concert. She then made her way to the Grand Galloping Gala, a formal dance party. She was filmed conversing with some of the other convention attendees and posing for photos. Wow, is this postmodern jukebox? Is that the postmodern jukebox? A, a fucking, uh. Began what is that called? Thrift shop? You hear that? Awesome. That is awkward. <laughs> After failing to find a dance partner, Kirsten began seemingly dancing with an imaginary person, later claiming that she was dancing with her original character, Magichan Sonichu. Oh. The LSD kicks in though? I, yeah, yeah. Oh, God bless DashCon. Hell yeah. I remember being on Tumblr then. Was also photographed I was on Tumblr herself, for that weekend. Talking, I mean, I wasn't at DashCon, but I was on Chan Tumblr. Next to her. What? What? After what? What? Event, she was also photographed sitting by herself, supposedly talking and reaching out to Magichan next to her. After the event concluded, Chris went back to her car to drive back to the hotel for the night. However, the parking lot where she parked had closed at midnight and she was unable to enter. She resorted to using the ride hailing service, Uber, to help her get back to her hotel. On the third and final day, Christine apparently shared a ride with other convention goers from the hotel to make their way back to BronyCon. I mean, I have to be she honest, it's, it's kind of magical. Like, it's almost like, I mean, not now, right? But at that time, they were like, whoa, it's it's Christian, you know? It's it's like, uh, sure, I'll... <laughs> like, it, I don't know, it's just interesting. It's just User interesting posted to me. a selfie he took with her and wrote of Chris's behavior. He's in the fan project panel now. He spent three minutes complaining about his trolls and how autistic he is. And he turned away the microphone so no one can hear what he's saying. Another unknown user elaborated on Chris's time at the panel. It was at the fan project panel, and he even asked a question and rambled on about how he had comics and a fandom, though never explicitly stating it was Sonichu. He even said the high-functioning autistic line. He also mentioned being trolled, not having many friends, and all that and honestly felt kind of bad for him 
Though most of the shit he has gotten over the years was his own self-inflicted stupidity, so can't feel too bad for him. But yeah, that's been the weirdest thing at this Aww, convention by a long so shot. Like at most 5-10% to of the thousands people I've seen and heard were weird or cringy. But nearly everyone here is either normal or just standard nerds. But seeing and hearing Chris Chan, dear god that was hard to deal with. Oh, I don't know what Afterwards, the fuck is going she went on there, to Royal. Another panel Every single time it shows up, I like just I zone out. And managed to ask them a question. At the end of the day, she made a short tweet, writing that she was on her way back home, allegedly riding alongside Magi Chan. When she got back, she wrote a Facebook post thanking everyone who attended the convention for all the love and kindness they showed for her, making it possible for her to shine as the actual kind and open-hearted person that she was. She stated that her time in BronyCon was the most love she had ever felt in her life. On August 14th, she made a captain's log for YouTube addressing the convention while still wearing her cat ears and unicorn horn. Captain's log, Stardate 0814 So last weekend, Bronicon, awesome, totally awesome. I had an awesome time. I found, I met so many kind people. I found so much positivity and love. I made new friends and acquaintances in higher places. I've attended some panels and and I've learned a lot. No, it too. wasn't Dashcon. It was so um, many new shit. lovely memories I can't and ideas. What it was. I am so inspired. So here's a little twilight from the future. Tony a little bit about the future for Sanchu and me and everything first off book 13 or as i'm going to call it book 12-9 which will round up to 13 because <laughs> i don't like using 13 it's an unlucky number at least to me and yes superstitious oh future <laughs> character reference since i came back from <laughs> the future in number 10 came back from the future she comes back from the future. It works. Anyway, so first off, book 12-9. I don't, I never wanted the uh, 13th book, mm. the book, the book 13 to have newer character do. Oh, I think, and I that think happened. the, this is 144 viewers, right? Oh, well. Zoop. Me. They have a couple, of, like, yeah, they have people watching. We'll put the eye patch back on and fix it up. <laughs> and Th originally thanks, the <laughs> idea would have been the... 173, there you go. Crossover. They're getting a lot of people. I mean, wow, I, that's what I said. I was like, dude, they're, they the would be... Universe, they would, if, if they don't, like, fuck up the content on there, happened, and they didn't commit crimes like this, like, they would be most a, a pretty okay Twitch streamer because they just keep recently, going, and, like, a lot of people already know their story, me, and it's very... It's my really heart crazy. was really into that. My heart has always been in the right place. Try to understand that, everybody. Okay. Ah, my brain's a little slow right now. I have so many ideas and everything. So many good, so much good news, positivity. Flap, flap, flap. I mean, they've made decent money now without Stop even being on Twitter, so it's kind of crazy. Boop. You have a little something Boop. on your shoulder? Yeah, I know. You <laughs> it's a totem. That is an awesome pill by itself in that size, by the way. It's, <laughs> it's a so good luck charm. You don't need a jumbo fluffle. 
we got this one? The right size. Okay, <gasps> that's another big announcement. I'll do a panel. Maybe at right, next right. Year's but I'm Tony saying Con? like they're they're still like they use this Maybe as a platform to get Charlottesville convention. Other ways of doing it. You know up. what I mean? And then I'll do <laughs> I know I'm just fucking around here. Just bear with me. I'll find it. I'll get back on the rails. The totem will corrupt you. Hello, have you seen me? What the fuck are you talking? <laughs> Good what luck, Antar. <laughs> really? Come on. You know better than that. Where the fuck is Flufflepuff? You know better than that. Main event knows better than that. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Coffee. No scripts. This is good. There you go. Oh no, look at my spider. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? What? Nobody's. Uh, don't don't ask this question anymore. We're watching Chris Chon. That's enough that you should know, right? Go ahead and wrap that. My dogs are barking at something that sounds. Oh, it was a fan character. Possibly likely. That's kind of cool. Nothing. I have to put up with it. It's my family. Okay, and don't say it like that. Mother Opal, with what the a fuck? thought that she's interrupting this live streaming video. So it doesn't matter. This doesn't matter. Nothing moment. matters here. Um. Anyway. We're just watching. Nothing matters here. Um. I think that's all the announcements and everything and my thoughts and ever and it's all good. I love everybody. I do from the bottom of my heart. A lot of you have been able to see that I finally was able to present that personally to a lot of friends and people that I was able to make. Yeah, actually, I really, I really thought that awesome. seeing them go out to conventions and stuff, that seemed like a lot of fun. Like watching them really, you know so what I mean? Good. I'm going to carry this with me forever. And it's just very interesting. I'm not gonna just More like, interesting than obviously oh, sitting and hearing them begging yes, for Yes, you're going to be kind to me. I am thankful oh, for your thanks, kindness. Yeah. Now go get me some coffee. That's not me. That's not me. Okay? I have emotionally and mentally heartfelt, soul felt. Okay, but you're really sitting here like, okay, now donate more than a dollar to me. You know what I mean? Ugh. Matured and grown. I'm thankful and so too many games. It's the, is that the one where they? That is that the the convention where they like didn't the want to go? Weekend. To a whole lot of people, touch me. I get to touch them, and make them smile. We made each other smile. It was a great thing. Uh, anyway, that's it for this live stream. Look forward to the next one, which hopefully will be Q&A Laptop. Christine Chandler, Sanchin Roshu, City of Quickville. Had a fantastic BronyCon weekend. I look forward to seeing y'all again. Or talk Hopefully, to y'all thank you sooner. so much for the video. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. You know, so, no, See no, next not year. at all. Mm -mm. Uh, don't even it. say that in the same sentence, please. Have a great, safe, blessed day. And stay well. Stay good. Stay heartfelt positive. On August 15th, the Twitter account, Nightstar2891, posted a handwritten letter from Chris. Dearest people, confession time. Originally intended for laying low and to keep a distant bond, still, on the few hurt individuals I like and cared about, after that one tweet wonder mess. This Twitter account, Aww. at Nightstar2891, you, is me, Christine Chandler. <gasps> Again. believe that i totally what i am in full shock this is like an 
M. Night Shyamalan. Uh, it's a whole M. Night Shyamalan, man. Wow. That mentioned tweet was truly with my heart in the right place to share appreciation for and of the women I've been able to make contact and acquaintance with. Then some other people took my full attack upon them at my expense. I felt terrible about that. Two of them blocked me, but Hater informed in that. I pray they will unblock and open up to me again soon. This also is reflected in MLP Season 7, Episode Fame and Misfortune. Thank you the main for six, or five it. of them, were not used to being criticized overly by fan ponies, as well as misread hey, and don't, misunderstood. Don't cross too much, I, too, You're felt get all sick. this as early much. 2007. Well, unless you, you I'm popular, that often and I don't, I don't like know. it, said Applejack, and how Rarity overreacted, Fluttershy having to explain herself repeatedly. All that was me, and it took a long time to adjust and become resistant oh to the hate. God. I am oh, in control shit. of how these various reactions oh, to my sonnet yeah, yeah, and self yeah, content right, make me feel I think I saw and something react. About that, but I, I try to not let the critics get, get to me anymore. People. And everyone affected by the misunderstood tweet of mine, you all have control to not let the haters and trolls affect you at all. 2. This Nightstar Twitter was a laylow alternative for me after that fiasco. Really? I was really? not originally going to tweet from it. Then one of okay. the trolls contacted me. Okay. I was tempted to troll the trolls now. Dumb. Me. But the trolls, on their form, have admitted to being well confused with my character's creation of this Richmond gal with a UVA degree working around and around. I can be quiet to the actress. No, we even um. Simulating. Sorry, eighty-six. Uh, we only know that. Not it didn't happen on this, and I don't think it's gonna happen in this documentary. We're not gonna get it there. But um, we rated. I think Naru. Yeah, we either rated Naru or Yoro. Uh, oh, Naru, I think. Naru. Um, we rated another friend, and she she showed us that clip because it was her favorite clip. Hi, Moku! Hello, hello, hello! How are you? Other fonts from other people. Regardless, lying all that Naru. was wrong of me, and I am sorry for lying in yeah. this. And, as I was finally able to share at BronyCon with a lot of people, I am, by default, you know, a kind, I, I'm understanding, here. compassionate, We've watched five right Chris Chan episodes in a row. And I enjoy sharing and we have genuine, pleasant smiles, like moments, and memories with others. Three and more. my heart is open. I would so, delight in all of us putting this I'm Twitter here. mishap set nice behind us you, and moving on you. towards being love better you. people. Thank you. Sincerely, and with all my heart, with love, I'm sorry. Miss Christine W. Chandler. BronyCon made Christine feel loved and accepted, due to the nature of the attendees generally maintaining an air of acceptance and kindness, though often it was a merely face value courtesy. Riding high on waves of happiness, Christine would soon be met with dark clouds. Oh damn! Well welcome back, danger! Five episodes in a row is a risk to your death? Well, I don't have five episodes in a row. I'm about to have seven? Eight, no, no, I'm about to have eight. Nine? Nine! Because I didn't... Oh, shit, we've already watched six, I think. Yeah. Nine episodes in a row. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to use the bathroom. I'm sorry. I'm drinking a lot of water and a lot of coffee. And, and that's why everybody's really, really worried about me because I keep using the bathroom. Um... <laughs> That's because I'm drinking water and coffee. So, hold on.
watching it for a month. <laughs> Rainami, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for continuing your first class. I appreciate it. Thank you, sweetheart. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. They all recognize you, so... What made her this way? What is the attraction? What oh. keeps us fascinated? Oh, good, good question. Are we still in ad break? No, Coco... Wait. Oh, one minute? Okay. I should probably get the actual lyrics for that sometime. Yo, yesterday I karaoke so much that instead of putting lyrics, I accidentally put karaoke. How much do you get for an ad view? I really don't know. I don't, I don't usually, I, the reason that Layton started doing ad views was because I don't run ads. I just put be right back and then I just go. Um, so I, so I really don't know. There was a little Spanish flea. A record star, he thought he'd be. He heard of songs like singers like Beatles and the Gemma's he's seen on TV. Why not a little Spanish flea? And so he hit it. Keitha, thank you very much for the biddies. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. How many people watch it? I don't, I don't know. We have a, the people who aren't subs. I, I don't know. This is the story Thanks, Axel. of Christian. It. No, I definitely don't know that. Thanks, Young Crow. No, there we do get some ad. It really depends too. We do get some ad money, I think. We do get some ad money, but Kirita, thank you so much for gifting. I really Christine appreciate it. Many tweets on the social media <laughs> site you, Twitter, you, mentioning and referencing the animated series My Little Pony and its voice actors, still expressing joy and love for all Psychic! in the aftermath oh, of her attendance at the. Sorry, let me, um... Yeah, yeah, um... Excuse me. First of all... <laughs> uh, huh? <laughs> Sorry, let me just... Uh, it's a, a hundred, a hundred of them. A hundred... I 
I want to start talking. I really do. But I'm completely speechless. So, um, <laughs> first of all, thank you so much to Anonymous for the generous, generous gift subbing. Thank you so much to Don the Dominator for gift subbing. Thank you. Um, <laughs> to Tristan Ezra, and now Tristan Ezra is now boarding. Welcome to Hopeful Airlines. Hope you have a safe and enjoyable flight. Uh, thank you so much to Hopeful for the biddy, and, and thank you so much to Young Crow for continuing your first class. I, I sure picked a time to sub. No, you're good. You're good. Um, <laughs> what? But, what? <laughs> I'm so, why? And, and why anonymous? <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm, <laughs> I'm worried for you. I hope you're okay. I hope you're okay. Okay. Please take care of yourself. Sit responsibly out here. Okay. But what the fuck? It's it's okay. <laughs> thank you. Th thank you. I I I really appreciate it. I Bronicon convention. Yeah, it's gonna last the, the fucking night. In response to I, I have to be honest, I didn't know it was gonna last the night. Um, but the now site. it's gonna last the fucking Sentry night. Replied that you blocked Chris, not because of her, what the but fuck? because of the cloud of... I'm really... Did it get added to the timer? What? Yeah, it did. We were at like eight. It doubled. No, no, I just... I am in, Chris, I am in full shock. Her calling the practice parasitic behavior. Hi, Benno! Oh Christine, my god, yeah, yeah, I'm really... <laughs> account, replied to sure, I hope, I hope it's okay with you guys. I'm just going to... I, I don't know what it happened just now! I hope you guys are okay. I'm gonna skip the alerts because that's a lot of fucking alerts all at once. Um, I'm so sorry. Can I keep... Can, how, how many alerts can I skip? Oh, I can do this, maybe? Oh, it's not it. That's not it. I don't know how to... Uh, um... Hold on, you guys. I, I don't know. Somebody literally just came in, right? And dropped 100 gift subs. And then, a couple more people dropped more gift subs and, mi uh, and Biddy. So... Huh? Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you so much. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm gonna try to see if I can, I don't know how to, how to mute the alerts though. Level zero. Dude, we bugged out the fucking hype train, bro. We bugged out the hype train. Thank you so much. Thank you for bugging the hype train. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, 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 okay. I have no idea. How to, how to shut the alerts off? I can just keep saying skip alert or something like that, maybe? My tip link doesn't work? Uh, um. Uh, I don't know what's happening. I'm sorry. Um, I, I thought I got one, but I didn't. Okay, I'm so sorry. Uh, Tabitha by a long string of tweets. Oh, it's the old link. I'm sorry. For years. She learned to not take the words to heart that. and keep them out of her mind. She Everything is fucking up time. right now. I don't she know what's happening. She expressed herself with kindness <gasps> and managed to receive some advice regarding the trolls from the voice actresses she met. She revealed that coming out as a lesbian trans woman resulted in her being kind to herself more and had learned to be unfazed by the trolls. Chris wrote that she wouldn't ask Tabitha to unblock her main account, but would like to have the opportunity to connect every now and then, with a chance to perhaps oh, earn her you, trust Layton, as a friend. You. Tabitha St. Germain soon also blocked Chris's Nightstar account. On August 18th, 
Christine wrote on Patreon that new printed Sonic Your Comic Books meant to be delivered <laughs> thank to Thank you, and I'm so sorry for the alert, but thank house, you, and I'm, uh, I'm confused, and, and we're gonna keep going, okay? Let, let's just go. Also, by the way, this is... <laughs> this is, um... This is part 57, so we... This one's the one that Mary comes into, okay? Thank you. Con. She informed her supporters that it could take around two weeks for the comics to be sent. The next day, she became a patron for my There's little pony There's 59, so we have Michelle this Kerber. one, 58, and 59. There's three more parts. At this point, it was around a week since the Unite the Right rally was held in Charlottesville, a gathering of white supremacists and neo-Nazis. Possibly on August 20th, Chris attended a church service while still wearing her pony ears and unicorn horn from her time at Bronicon. Her outfit apparently upset some parishioners, and after she came back home, she wrote a letter aimed at Kathy Wesseluck, voice actress from My Little Pony, whom she met at the convention. Chris took a picture of the letter and posted it on Twitter, mentioning the voice actress and asking for her advice regarding the church incident. I've had a day that started out happy and delightful. I felt like donning my pony ears and unicorn horn and tail to my church today. I've made a lot of people smile, and it was as normal as could be, with my sharing the joys Excuse from Bronicon 2017. Then later, during a Bible verse reading, my church friend suddenly burst out in tears. I felt along with her, the hate bout in Charlottesville, Virginia last weekend. Then, my pastoral consoler, who was part of the choir this week, hands me a note. Please remove your headgear. Thanks, I'm glad you're enjoying it because I'm Nazis, fucking confused. Specifically, the not Nazi jesters who mocked the haters. I felt utter shock. I removed my headgear and I tensed up, fanning myself with the program as I was feeling hot. I ended up closing myself and breaking out in tears myself, being forced to remove what made me and most other people smile, feeling like not being able to calm a post about it crowd. The empathy for my. Wait, wait, wait. Did they? Hold on. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. I don't I don't see it. I don't see it, but um Okay. <gasps> it still makes the noise, huh? I'm trying to I'm so sorry. I'm trying to see if I can skip it and and I don't know how. smile okay okay we'll just move to on but post about it crowd the empathy for my friend thank you not so being much to make oh my god just about killed my mood i sat there fanning myself with my right gripping the bench with my left and paralyzed you think so i stayed a while longer oh i don't have it as then an I element on during OBS, the collection though. with the plates i took a rest and some valium after i got back home it's, it's with my desktop audio recovered, but feel some mild headache now have y'all ever heard such a thing Pony ears and unicorn horn being reminiscent of an anti-Nazi jester. I've never, and I meant no harm. What are your thoughts, Kathy? Thank you for listening. Christine W. Chandler. It is a Kathy sore. Okay, okay, hold on. To respond. On August 21st, Christine um, um, uploaded two videos on YouTube of her view of the solar I, eclipse, I, which was witnessed across is... the United States. Oh! Hello everyone on the internet, this is Christine Chandler coming to you live from home once again, right outside waiting for the solar eclipse. I look up at it, the sun... Oh, okay, so I have to, oh, I have to close it, I have to close like it. Have to close it. Like okay, I'm so sorry, I promise, thank you so much for the 100 like gifted subs. But I, you, just for the sun. just for the sake of viewing, we're gonna like leave this. Down we're gonna, we're gonna leave it here right now, but thank you, and as you can so see, much. I'm in it. shock. I I thought I'm so confused because I swear to I have to be honest and and I'm so sorry for interrupting, but I have to be honest. I thought we were going to end. Did you guys know that I thought we were going to end today, and then yesterday, like I, so now I'm like okay, what the fuck? Maybe I should shut up or something. <laughs> uh -huh -huh. Um, Don Desi is now boarding. Welcome to Level Airlines. Hope you have a safe and enjoyable flight. What the fuck? Ah ha ha, what the fuck? It's alive and well. What? Yeah. Sorbet! <coughs> anyway, I'll wait.
my car. It's like a video closer it to is. when it's the cat that got hit by the car. So stay tuned. Thank you. <gasps> Axel, no, don't ball, don't bully, don't bully. I want everybody we to be safe and okay. We are so much closer to the eclipse over here, live above above our heads, and it's that's smiling not, down that's, upon that's us. Not, the sun. That's not. <laughs> Okay, is that, that's like not a, that's not sunglasses. You think I need this, right? This is not smiling down healthy? while Luna's covering her. <laughs> oh, don't say that. Eventually, at no. one point in a few minutes, it's gonna become total blackness out here, and you'll be and you'll be already able to see my face, my head. <gasps> Y'all stop! No, 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 stop! Happens, so I'm gonna do something very special. I'm sure a lot of people are probably gonna do it as well. But it's like total eclipse of the heart. <laughs> Just heart emotion, art and poetry. And for everyone, after it's happened, they get to watch me enjoy this as well. Because I know I'm recording this. I'm not streaming from my phone. You know why? Because somebody might call me and interrupt the streaming. We don't want that. Now do we? We do not. Oh! But look at that though. Through that dark cloud, you can see the grin without needing glasses. That's a moment in perfection right there. Mm. What are you doing driving? The eclipse is happening. There's a passing by vehicle right now. Oops. Hmm. Yeah, I think I've seen a little throw off as the curve was to my left. Now it's to my right. Hi, Mom. Just a moment. Yeah. I think, yeah, the book did say we were getting a partial eclipse, and I think that's all we were having. Hmm. Oh, well. At least in this neck of the woods, we had a constant... <laughs> Anonymous, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you for the biddies. I appreciate it. Uh, I we, we paused it for the notifications for a little bit. So, boo, boo, boo. <laughs> also, Tank is now boarding. Welcome to Live Out Airlines. Hope you have a safe and enjoyable flight. Smile down upon us from the sun. It's Christine Chandler coming to you live from home. I know! Yo, Anon, Anon is a, a beast, and I'm worried. In response to comments of concern for Sorbet's health condition. Oh, I'm glad. I hope your pizza's good, Poppy. The vet Poppy. informed her that the cat's breathing problem was permanent. Later that day, Chris hand wrote a letter from My Little Pony voice actress. What? What? It's Christine Chandler coming oh, no. to you live from home. Y'all oh, have no. a great, safe day. In response to comments of concern for Sorbet's health condition, Chris wrote on Twitter that the vet A informed beast. her that the cat's breathing problem was permanent. Later that day, Chris hand wrote a letter from My Little Pony voice actress Kelly Sheridan and tag. All right, all right, all right. This one, I think I I want to answer this real quick. Um, sorry for interrupting. In a hypothetical situation, how would you feel about overly obsessed fans or or you know um shrimps in your chat? Uh, how overly obsessed? You know what I mean? It's, it's like, I'm honored to have frequent flyers and I'm honored that you guys like, you know, enjoy me and, and have a good time and feel safe here. But like, <laughs> But, but like, if it's like Chris, right? Okay, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. But if it's like Chris, that's completely different, right? In which I'm like, okay, yeah, I probably don't appreciate it. I think, um, like, there have been a couple of people who have, like, obviously tried to message me often without me answering, and then they're, like, continuously messaging me, just go, 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 go. And I'm like, uh, okay, mm. Yeah, probably not. You know what I mean? Actor in a tweet which featured a Or like if they get upset that I don't answer letter, either, Chris you know? Wrote that in response to what the voice actress had said in the changing your mark panel, 
Artists like them could offer creative yeah, and thoughtful feedback yeah, I've in had their somebody abilities like... and expand their repertoire of skills. Yeah, right, Plus right. You're right, taken up Feral. Basic Pretty much. Skills, Pretty much, Feral. Your skills can help keep the mind more active and able during the aging process. <laughs> She also had binge-watched a Coffee. lot of cartoons and anime in her lifetime, a trait purportedly held in common by both her and Kelly. She closed the letter with an account describing the naming process behind one of the Pokemon she it's had because in they the don't, game. I think, I think they're writing letters because they don't trust, like, the internet, but they are taking a picture of this letter, right? Pokemon Ruby or Sapphire On August 23rd, Chris tweeted two photos of her miniature figurine of My Little Pony character, Spike the Dragon, seemingly reading an equally miniature copy of Sonichu Issue Zero, with a front cover redesigned to replace Christian with Nightstar. On August 24th, Christine wrote on Facebook that she had allegedly overheard a conversation between her pony character, Nightstar, and My Little Pony's Lyra Heartstrings, positing the origin of how she got her cutie mark of a liar on her hind possibly by ascending into the heavens and meeting their god character, then descended back to the land of Equestria and learned of the magic to walk on clouds and the anthropology. The next day, Chris posted the cover image of the upcoming comic book, Sonichu, issue 12-9 yeah, on Patreon, today. Thank which you, would Tommy. star her custom pony character, Nightstar, and would for the time being be considered as My Little Pony fanfiction, with hopes of it becoming canon to the official storyline. Chris elaborated on the comic's concept in the description. Introducing Nightstar of Equestria, a unique unicorn with the ability to open dimension portals to view into and visit other dimensions I and eat worlds. Small snacks throughout she can view the day. our internet and YouTube videos through one, like an instant PC monitor. She also has all psychic powers possible. And, as an artist herself, and linked to myself, Christine Chandler, mentally and visually through a portal, she draws and writes the Sonichu comic book series in Equestria. Replace me with her, transformation to Chris-chan Sonichu, still the same, and all humans with ponies and horses. Nightstar may be considered- Matt, are you okay? ...overpowered, but she still has her flaws, not autism or Asperger's, right? period. And she uses her powers for good. Look forward to her life story, shortened. Plus a day in Ponyville and around what in the next the Sonichu after completing number two. Yo, 12. Matt, take care of that, please. Thank you Stop for your loyalty and patience. I am a proud Pega sister in the Brony Herd community. On August 25th, Lady of the Cosmos, Dude, Matt, take care of that. Close please. friend of several members of the planet Dolan YouTube. Stop like, no, 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 stop, stop, stop. She was tired from working hard and wished her followers a good night. Christine replied with, "Rest comfy and easy, dear." Oh. In response, Lady of the Cosmos oh. strongly wrote that she was not Chris's dear, nor was anyone else from Planet Dolan. Chris apologized and stated that she meant the term neutrally, soon adding that the actress, Talua Bankhead, most famous during the 1930s and 40s, would be offended by the artist's objection to the term's neutral usage. Chris later came back to the conversation to post a newly created drawing and letter addressing Lady of the Cosmo. Open letter. Something that grinds my gears is how people are not accepting of the neutral terms of darling or dear. I use one or the other as a neutral addressing in lieu of the various online nicknames or actual names in general when that detail is unknown or when the other person is too distant to trust me yet on addressing them by their name. I swear, if Talula Bankhead were alive today, she would never put up with such disrespectful responses. That is all for now, darling. Darling. Hmm. Christine W. Chandler. Um, <clears throat> I just want to say that sometimes I do do that where I'll talk to people and I'll say, okay, yeah, no worries, dear. Or like, oh, no worries, hon. You know what I mean? Um, I can understand if people are not comfortable with that. Please let me know. But I, I say that all the time. You know? And I do, I, I don't say... I don't say darling as much or darling. <laughs> I don't, right? But um, yeah, sometimes I do that because, I, I, you know, I picked it up. I say do it in bro for sure. I definitely do that. Do do that as well. Lady rebutted, providing dictionary so definitions of the words <laughs> dear and darling. Chris accused her of siding with the haters, 
while it is said that there was a difference between haters and those who serve sweet justice towards heartless hooligans such as Christine. Chris denied those claims. Lady of the Cosmo wrote back that if she I did do have a heart, I'm like, then she would not have harassed Doopy Doo over I definitely like she do, did, do that. Calling her mm -hmm. selfish with a heart God filled with fatty it. layers of greed. Chris denied those claims. Christine elaborated that she meant to be respective to Doopy, but she had said the wrong things in grave error. Lady stated that no one felt any pity for her, to which Chris rebutted that she was a sincere, kind person oh, with maybe. lots of let's, music let's and love in her heart and soul. Lady of the Cosmo then called her Christopher Asshat, and that her actions made her who she yeah, was. Yeah, I guess so. Chris notified her that she was Thank growing you, tired asshole. and weary of the dispute, since the illustrator refused to open up her heart and accept and move on. Lady of the Cosmo clarified that everyone was tired and weary. Wait, so who exactly is Lady of the Cosmo? Weary because of Christine, after trying patiently to make her understand. The two continued to argue with Chris writing that she would keep digging until people like Lady actually understood her and stopped being so closed-hearted, claiming that she would win as long as she would keep fair, going. Fair, fair, you're right. Lady you're called right. her a horrible person with a facade in the form of a painted smile. Chris denied those claims. She informed Lady that she only used those terms with people she liked, to which other Twitter users replied asking whether she would use those words with males as well, and commented that Chris very, very rarely replied to men on the social media platform. Lady of the Cosmos saw it as proof that Christine was trying to get close to women by using those terms of endearment. Kristen unfollowed her after telling her that she hoped Lady would have a nightmare that night. Lady then blocked Christine. Later on, Lady of the Cosmo addressed the argument with other concerned Twitter users, stating that she <laughs> was alright and that it felt I great to give it. Chris a piece of her mind that was worried for other creators who might get preyed on by her in the future. By using her Nightstar2891 Twitter account, Christine tweeted at her own main account, giving words of support and calling her darling, seemingly pretending to be a different person. Kristen replied to Nightstar, thanking her for her kindness, and feeling grateful that Nightstar liked her. Nightstar then replied, stating that she understood that Chris meant her words to be seen- Didn't they just fucking say that- What? Didn't they As just neutral. fucking say that Nightstar was- They literally just admitted that Nightstar was them. And then, wow, wow, they are so out of it. They are literally so out of it. And would never do anything to harass Nightstar. Christine then used her main account to share the what brief conversation the she had with Nightstar as a positive example of how to properly accept terms like dear and darling. Lady noticed Chris was using her alternative account and shared the conversation, calling her a psycho. Christine then blocked Lady of the Cosmo on Twitter. On Facebook, the trollsome gal pal Kim Wilson shared a brief clip from the cartoon series The Simpsons to showcase what problem Chris had been having. She elaborated that it was not Chris's place to decide what is and is not uncomfortable for other people, and that terms like dear and darling could be offensive from a feminist point of view. Since Christine was a biological male, Kim wrote that she had male privilege and should spend more time thinking how she made other women feel so she could correct her behavior. During this time, Christine left many replies to tweets written by Jesse Nowak, or Nowaking, a popular voice actor with connections to the My Little Pony fandom. Chris wrote about her own experiences and offered her own advice in response to Nowaking's tweets concerning relationships. On August 27th, she found out that Noah King had also blocked her, likely as a result of numerous calls to do so from Weems. Chris shared screen captures of Twitter users advising Chris against becoming so attached to other users or accusing her of stalking, writing that she would be mass reporting these accounts. In response to MLP voice actress Tara Strong tweeting that she wanted out of this dimension because of some negative news regarding President Donald Trump, Chris wrote that she wanted to join her. Twitter user Aphonic Phonology replied that escaping to another universe would not change the, the way she treated what others. What the fuck? I will sue you if you block me? Earth Jesus to deal Christ. With her problems like an adult. Kiwi Farms members soon noticed that Chris used her Nightstar account to follow No Wiking, bypassing her block. It was also on that day that Chris created an account on BronyMate, 
an online dating website designed for fans of My Little Pony. She described herself as an all-around, good-natured, high-functioning, autistic, female lesbian soul and trans woman, artist, gamer, and creative type, and revealed that she was the original creator of Sonic Chu, Rose Chu, and the city of Quickville. She stated that she was looking for a kind, compassionate, good-looking woman who was as local as possible and who could appreciate oh, her for who she was and not judge her. At the end of the day, Chris wrote a long thread of tweets justifying her actions. I will answer a question right now. Why do you act young while you're actually an adult? I am young at heart, a concept I've kept within myself since childhood. If you keep a youthful attitude, you can keep the energy when old. A concept some people apparently do not comprehend. Youthful energy is better filled with kindness, compassion, and love for others and yourself. To be adulting with so much drama gets boring, regardless of us Dude, having to deal Chris with it. Chris is like making the term adulting just lives. sounds sick to me. Like and now, we, now I can't even use adulting. Stand alongside God damn it. our liked and cared others, men and women of every race, orientation, and so forth, with love. Love that would normally be found in our youth, despite lack of better wisdom and knowledge. There are no man children, everyone is. A child to their parents and elders, as well as God, our creator. Haters, stop adulting, find your past, youthful selves, and reconnect. The next day, Christine wrote an update on Patreon, explaining that new pages would be delayed because she was feeling off on the count of oh trolls God. on Twitter, convincing another person she liked to block her, even though her messages to that person were of support. She also shared the update on Twitter, damning the trolls for coercing those she talked to into blocking her, the kind and compassionate victim. She then posted a poll, asking if they were in the same situation, would they block the many internet trolls or the victims they followed. She also shared the poll on Facebook, asking her friends to vote for the hero and not the bullies. In addition, she privately messaged several people, at least on Twitter, to share around the link to her poll so more people could see it, hinting that maybe Tara Strong could influence the vote My name's if it reached her. My name's Jeff? My name's Jeff? Um, <laughs> Layton, what did you learn? What did you learn? <laughs> Sorry, we were, we were fixing something real quick. Kristen hypothetically asked if people would block out the heroes of Sailor Moon and Transformers to keep them from the villains and promoted oh, the hashtag block the trolls sick, so people pretty not sick. block the heroes. Alrighty, she then used thanks. her Nightstar account nice to, to like know. all of her tweets on her main account. At the end of the so day, maybe it is better Chris while I use the, the bathroom than the not. To find that an overwhelming majority, likely made up of weens, voted in favor of blocking the victims and not the trolls. A Twitter user asked for clarification on whether Doopy Do-Over blocked her because of the trolls or because of specifically Chris, like she had stated. Christine answered that Doopy was stressed and misdirected her upset towards the wrong person. On August 29th, Chris shared on Facebook a generated future prediction she received on the site Witty Bunny six years prior, oh commenting that during the year 2011, she was still figuring herself out and that it was Is not Witty a good Bunny year for her a because her father died oh, like that Facebook September and that owner of the game place, Michael Snyder, <laughs> snared Chris and his Thanks, mother Matt, into his it. trap, which caused the Chandlers to lose all of the remaining money that Bob had left them. Christine also wrote on Twitter that she wished that every day would be like BronyCon, with lots of people full of sincere kindness approaching everyone instead of having haters and trolls unblocked and having the heroes blocked. Also on that day, she wrote an extensive Facebook post stating that she would try finish coloring the new Sonichu pages despite feeling weighed down by getting blocked by Doopy Do-Over, Tabitha St. Germain, and Jesse Nowaking on Twitter. 
She elaborated that she supported those creators in sharing kindness and compassion, but the trolls and bullies that followed her began harassing them and bad-mouthing Christine for not being sincere and committing immature deeds in the past, thusly overrunning their Twitter and lives if they would not Thank block Christine, Pastor, the hero. It. She closed with stating that her heart was in it and that she had learned from five plus years of mistakes and miscontent by which people continued to judge her wrongfully and divide people. In response, Kim Wilson accused her of not listening to women when they gave Chris criticism and felt that creating another Twitter account to evade Doopy's blocking was stalker behavior, fearing Chris would murder someone one day and blame it on the trolls. Chris later shared screen caps of her post on Twitter, directly addressing Sorry. the accounts which had blocked her by tagging them. <sighs> Chris later apologized to Lady of the Cosmo for their unrequited dispute and regretted reporting her account, oh claiming that it was a bad move on Chris's part and believed that Lady could be a better person than that. Lady herself replied, writing that she wished for Chris to maturely apologize for making her uncomfortable by calling her dear, and instead thought that Christine hadn't changed at all oh, because damn. she tried to correct Jesus Lady's Christ. judgment of the situation. Lady also added that the dispute arose because Chris would never be a woman as pretty as Lady of the Cosmo, both inside and out. On August 30th, Christine made a YouTube video showing a new trick she could do with her tongue. For I am the kind and compassionate Christine Chandler. And now. I can roll my arm. Okay, listen, listen, I, I can't roll my R's, but at least I'm, uh, <sighs> I am still in practice, so everybody practice. is honored to be rolling in the practice. I can't roll, I can't roll my R's. I am not <laughs> the narrator of the uh, super planet Dolan Rios. But I am powerful nonetheless. Someone, thank you so much sense. for lurking. Appreciate it. Not great and powerful. I'm kind and compassionate. Good night, Reswell. Thank you. Christina Chandler. Now, everyone, stay green and go out and zap oh, to the oh, oh, wait, wait, okay. ah, Norilla today. is now boarding. Welcome to the label airlines. Hope you have a safe 1st, and enjoyable flight. Encouraged by a campaign promoted by Tara Strong. <laughs> Chris donated oh, thank $20 you so much for the, the American Red it. Cross to help Trying those right affected by Hurricane Harvey. Chris, Two days oh, later, okay. via her Nightstar account, I mean, yeah. Christine posted 26 Twitter screenshots of herself being supportive and kind to creators like Doopy and No Whacking, followed I'm by confusion. trolls and replies okay. and memes. You don't have to know anything. Chris Just then know went that back to her main account to display Nightstar's Chris. tweeted screenshots as examples of trolls who should have been blocked. <laughs> Later on, digital artist R. Merriweather invited Chris to be a <gasps> there guest he is, on a podcast is, there he is. called He's Internet our buddy. Dream Lounge, which was co-hosted by himself and EDM artist EZK. The next day, Merriweather notified his Twitter followers. Take this timestamp! Take this timestamp right now! Followers that the interview was completed and was due to be released the following week. Merriweather then created a QB Farms account and revealed that he did not know exactly why Chris agreed to do the interview, but suggested that it was they to promote to sleep. her they own They went to sleep. They went to sleep. Okay. Account. After prolonged attempts to make the interview more edited, but down, I said we're gonna make a we're gonna make a it clip and a highlight. It was officially scrapped to never be released, though it was leaked at a later point. Uh, oh. So uh, <gasps> Easy uh, has actually oh been quite a big fan of Sonic Two for for some years. Oh. I love Sonic Two. I, I really do. Support me on Patreon, and I can send you copies of the books. Oh my God, it's weird! Dude, <laughs> Dude uh, for how how what's your um, what's your base amount for uh, Patreon? Hmm. Well, basically minimum, just so I can make sure I make my money. The uh, books are varying because uh, oh yeah, Mary, my publisher yeah, Mary is... has to be forty eight pages. Mary's and voices. The more pages there are, the more expensive it is for me, and then I have to pay shipping, of course. Right. Uh, of course. Uh, they talk about the origins of the creation of Sonic Never, never tell the them this, right? The every single time I hear Mary speak, I'm like, moving on to talking ah. about trolls and pickles. And then she and I uh, walked off together, and then we were intercepted by this guy in a pickle suit, pickle costume. And I was like, uh, I was thrown off by that. Oh my god, I love his chuckle, and then, his chuckle. Uh, I didn't know what to think, 
but then eventually no, she it's, walks it's not, off it's a very to her car with the guy in the pickle suit escorting her. Oh, I was like, oh my, I was like, oh my god, what the hell was that? <laughs> thank you, thank you, Axel. I'm very sorry for laughing at it, Chris. It's still, you, you must imagine in retrospect, it's a bit funny. Oh, God. I remember yeah, the first time I got to hang out with Mary, and I was like, holy shit. So talented. Interpreted. Me and my friends really like the, oh, what is it, his comics, too. That turns me off from... I haven't read all of them, but my friend really did. turns me off from the vegetable is actually the taste and flavor. And as I have eaten pickles before, like, you know, off a burger or a sandwich, that pickle brine doesn't quite suit me well. What about kosher? Yeah. How, how do you feel about kosher pickles as opposed to dill? Uh, never. I don't think I ever tried kosher. They're pretty Are there such things as kosher like pickles? Better. I'd sample it. See how yeah. it It's worth a try. Okay. It's good you uh, open the new things, at least. Um, so have you encountered the man in the pickle suit more than once, or is that the only time? Um, I think it might have been another time. Listen, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Let's be honest, okay? Let's be honest. This is how, this is what I mean, which is Mary can find out on their own. I, I, I... <laughs> Where outside the pickle suit, he came back to Virginia, we, like, and we just hung out for a little bit, but I'm not 100% sure. But I mean, I do know I do know who he is. Oh, okay. Wow. Uh, there, there are several situations where, um, uh, of course, uh, sampled videos from your previous channel. There's one video which you uploaded once, uh, which features a man. Oh, uh, that's a good question. Do you remember him? Who is interacting with you question. and joined you in a comedy skit? where you drank a potion and became this man. Yeah, who the fuck is that guy? Um, the magic man, the magic man. A lot of people were very curious who this guy was. Was, was it a fr family friend? Do you do you remember who I'm talking uh, about? Uh, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, he's actually, he actually was a friend of mine and one of my gal pals who actually oh. lives in the Charlottesville area. Uh, not going to name any names. Oh, he refers yeah, to them as gal pals still. And he's, cur and he's currently married and... Uh, very well, very well to do. I haven't talked to him in a long time, though. They discuss more trolls of the past, Chris's political stance, and more recent happenings, like her trip to BronyCon and her Twitter blockings. Yes, I do have one final party thought I'd like to offer before we close out. <laughs> Good uh, over, over the years of which I have been mislabeled or mis- or misimaged or uh, slandered by the by the bad people. Let's just call them that neutrally by the bad people. Uh, of course, that's all in the past, and uh, that's in between the miscontent I uploaded that they repurposed for that. It's, what are they uh, on about? I'm so me. confused. That's not me, totally. You can't define me in those aspects. Uh, all the way around, uh, while I was still still young and naive, didn't know as much as I do now. <laughs> thank you, Linky. Thank you very much. I'm glad. Thank everything. you very much for enjoying my I have model. always been. Linky Cost is now boarding. Welcome to Mobile Airlines. Hope you have a safe and enjoyable and flight. Congratulations, by the way. Thank you, Anon. i person, and I've always liked helping. What? What? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The N word. You're right. And always will be and am mm. a kind, heartfelt person, and I've always liked helping and sharing a smile making people feel better that that was always me and i encourage everybody um regardless of whether they um however they express their feelings of like and love uh to just uh go out and be like hey you're cool whatever fist bump and shake <laughs> maybe a hug do whatever is comfortable for you as long as you at least share a little bit of sense, a little bit of good, sincere kindness, I encourage that with everyone. Wow, that's that's, that's very, beautiful. very thank beautiful. Thank you, yes. and thank you, everyone. Wonderful. Thank All you right. for joining us, Chris. Yeah, you were great. <laughs> Thanks, Mary. Been an thank you. Uh, it's been a pleasure. All right. <gasps> Mary. On September third. <laughs> Christine announced that she had unblocked all the people she had previously blocked. Hi, are you? Hi! Nice to see you!
What are you, what are you doing? I'm watching part 57 of the... <laughs> thank you, Chris, for, thank you, Chris, for letting us hear Mary. Hi, uh, I'm, I'm watching, uh, Chris Chan, A Comprehensive History, part 57. We watched seven parts in one sitting. I'm in the middle of my, uh, uncapped subathon. Every dollar that you spend on the channel and in donations <laughs> goes towards another minute that I stream. And I'm, uh... No, uh, we, we did it since the beginning of August. It was part one. Yeah, part part one was in the beginning of August. We've watched all the way to part 41 today. I mean, part 51 to... No, part 50. And then we did 51 through 57. We're doing 57 right now. Anonymous here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for the biddies. I appreciate it. Dude, this Anon? This Anon? Hello? Is it the same Anon? Is it the same? If, if, if it's the same, give us... If it's the same, give uh, I know it's the Phantom of the Subathon. Honestly. On Twitter, she then proceeded. Okay, what's happening? What's happening? Announced that she had unblocked all the people she had previously blocked on Twitter. She but then thanks proceeded for being to here. I appreciate and it. to many tweets criticizing her. Not yeah, yeah, yeah. Controversial YouTube creator Count Dankula also replied to Chris, wishing that she would follow him back because he <laughs> wanted them to you. have a live stream together. I appreciate together. it. On the 4th, to commemorate what would have been her father's 90th birthday, Chris made a- Can somebody do a long- maybe a long clip or like a highlight of that part for Mary and send me the link, please? Thank you. Oh yeah, the uptime has been a, a, a total of 24 hours, but we've we've started since September 2nd at 1 p.m. Oh, you're you're not, I don't think so, but I, I, yeah, Leighton is, Leighton is. So started at 1 p.m., which is- 48 plus 7. A video yeah. in Thank which you, she read out two letters written by her father, Bob Chandler. Lights up. And uh, today this uh, special... I'd really appreciate it if you guys just didn't started. even mess around with that. <laughs> Zero nine Thank you, appreciate that, Ayu. 2017. This date marks my father's, my late father's, Robert Franklin Chandler Jr., his 90th birthday. Yes, every day. <laughs> Young, younger, older, younger, older. Eh, there's a couple of pictures of him. <laughs> anyway, uh, in honor of his birthday today, I'd like to share something that actually came from him. He actually typed up and hand wrote a few things to me. <laughs> uh, in honor of his birthday, I'm going to be reading out his uh, letter that he made out to me. Dude. Please get a new tank top. Like, honestly, that's. Porn name. Jesus Christ. They started on December 26th, 1987. This was after he got his tandem brand computer and used the word processor in that. I used the word processor in there as well for. I'm, I made the list of I've all the actually, video games yeah, I actually I, um, used it before, IU. Um, but now I'm, 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 I use it there. for a I while. I used the word processor. Anyway, so, to Christopher Weston Chandler from your daddy, started December 26, 1987. She reads. Can we give a non? Can we give anonymous a name? Can we give you a name? You can't say. Yeah, you can't answer. But I'm. I'm gonna give you a name. Okay. What is a ghosty sounding name? <laughs> what is a ghosty sounding name? Study reporter, why are we watching this? It was part of a it was part of a goal for my friend's fundraiser, so now I'm doing it. But thank you so much, Anonymous Gifter, for gifting to IU. I appreciate it. I know, Casper's so obvious though. Charlie G10088 is now boarding. Welcome to Label Airlines. Hope you have a safe and enjoyable flight. Not bad, Elijah's not bad. <laughs> Thank you, Ayu. It's okay. I don't think I remember either, but uh, Ayu is now boarding. Welcome to Label Airlines. Hope you have a safe and enjoyable flight. And on Boo? Boo? Mr. Spooks. I like Mr. Spooks. We're going to do it. We're going to do Mr. Spooks. Thank you, Mr. Spooks. That's a letter in full before moving on to another one. August 18th, 2008. Dear Christian, at this time in life, you and ah, I think Mr. Spooks likes it. Purpose. 
Thank you, Mr. Life. Spooks. As if a uh, sign she didn't have a purpose thank already. Thank you, Mr. Spooks. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. I know you're my. You don't have to. You don't have to respond with that. But thank you, Mr. Spooks. Thank you for the biddies. Everybody else and everything. Uh, this is just when he. This is what he wanted, my father. Let Saichu become a champion for autistic persons everywhere and continually <gasps> defeat the perils of autism. Oh, <laughs> good grief. Saichu could become this folk person for autistic persons with an ongoing fight for them in chapter after chapter or good deeds on the internet. He could become the spokesperson from now on. You and Science, you could become famous worldwide. Yeah, it's been that long. He he well, knew. Do this little mini poster on the back. <laughs> this is like, look at this. <laughs> Isn't that funny? The Isabella That's Jane. Perfect. No, I don't know Isabella That's Jane. Perfect. Is that me? I don't know Isabella Jane. It it started when I saw them trending on Twitter about what they did to their mother. Um, and then I was like, you know, I don't really know a lot about Chris Chan. And then I looked them up and I saw this and I was like, you know what? I'll give it a try. And then we just kept, we just kept going. And people actually sat here watching it with me. So. Is that me? <laughs> uh, Sonic Ju, defender, champion, and educator of autistic persons everywhere. Knocking out the big A. Mr. Spooks, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for gifting you the blue corn flower. I appreciate it. Smart. Oh man, gosh! Be careful! Be careful, Mr. Spooks! Be uh, careful! Okay? Everything is Take care of yourself. Would be, I mean, Sanchu does not have autism. None of my electric hedgehog Pokemon have autism. I mean, the only autistic Pokemon I've made was the grass psychic type autistic. That's, I. Uh, it's on the train card I've I've made before, but uh, I don't have it on me right now. It's in my binder. So anyway, happy birthday, Mr. Chandler, wherever you are. <sighs> please don't hold your breast like that when you do that. Please, please don't. That's... <laughs> and now, by special request, I still don't know all the lyrics, but I'll sing the... I'm gonna assume that that sure is, like... I I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope that it's paint, okay? I'm gonna hope it's, like, paint and, like, drawing and, like, crayon and shit, okay? Choir verse... We're not flawless. We're work in progress. Oh, it's we've okay, got thank you. Thank you. We got quirks, but it's our flaws that make us work. Yeah. <gasps> Mr. Spooks! Anyway, that's it for thank now. you! What the stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Mr. Spooks, thank Chandler you so much for gifting to Charlie. Have a great I appreciate it. <laughs> oh god, Mr. Spooks, please, please. On September seventh, Chris made another video for YouTube discouraging her trolls from interacting with everyone on the internet with whom she talked. Oh, I, I want you all to listen up for a moment. I want you all to listen up. Especially the internet trolls and cyber boys who pester everybody I talk to. You should not be doing that because I know what you all are inquiring of them. You're asking them about me. And guess what? They're not going to have any information about me whatsoever because... Depending on how much communication we have, you can consider the communication with most. Not that much, so they don't know so much about me, and I wouldn't know much about them. Like, take for example, yes, Doopy Do Over. Yeah, uh, we hadn't talked Mr. much. Mr. Spokes! A little bit. I shared my feedback, I shared my positive input. You know. Mr. Spooks, thank you so much for gifting. You know, I appreciate anyway, it. Uh, she about me, so nobody you has don't have to, to do her. this. It doesn't all have to be and like this, Mr. Spooks. I didn't know much thank about you. her except from what she shared in the videos on YouTube. So oh anyway, my god. Point of the matter is, don't Mrs. harass Spooks, thank you. or mass no. communicate. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god. No, 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 no. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate it, Jim. Hi, I hope you're doing well. Thank you. No, no, no. Ninja, thank you so much for the biddies. I appreciate it, thank you. If you want to borrow somebody, go borrow somebody that you're already talking with. 
Okay? Okay? And also, definitely Stop giving more pennies! Uh, Thank you, Ninja! Accounts on Twitter with my name on them. I, I am. I am. You know what they are? There are no others. Anyway. Lost my train of thought. But anyway. No! 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 Okay? Stop harassing people! Because not only do I like Thank them, you, but Mr. I care about Spooks. some Thank to you. all of Thank them. Thank you! This one for Mr. Spooks, though? And Jim. That's all I have to say for now. Thank you. On that same day, Chris wrote on Facebook that she was feeling lonesome and sad because she still hadn't found her sweetheart. She had not oh given up God. her search, After all but this had time, backed away still, for the huh? moment, praying that her sweetheart would find her. Mr. Saki, response, thank you so much for the minis. Friend, I appreciate William it. Thank Elliot you, thank Waterman, you. Waterman wrote that praying for a sweetheart to find her was a selfish, passive, and defeatist thing to do. He added that he knew married parents Stop. were some of the loneliest people he had ever met, showcasing that finding a sweetheart was not a miracle cure for unhappiness, and encouraged her to do more to enlighten or cleanse her body, you know like what? exercising or meditating to make herself... Honestly, that's true. Anybody who's like, oh, maybe if I had a girlfriend or a boyfriend that I would, you know, things would be better, like, that's not it. Okay, that's, that's not it. Ninja, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you for gifting to Krimbo Jackson. Krimbo Jackson came out of the came out of the lurk just for this, y'all. Seriously. Bovita Cheese Shells is now boarding. Welcome to Live Online. Hope so you have a safe and enjoyable flight. <clears throat> and thank you for fix your damn posture. Thank you. Ninja, thank you so much for gifting to Dune Boy. Thank you very much. Congratulations. But relax and feel happy in her own skin. <laughs> Soon after, Chris's longtime Facebook friend, Jessica Quinn, left a comment, simply writing that the two needed to talk. Presumably after holding a private conversation, Jessica revealed on Facebook that Who's she and Jessica Christine again? began a so-called complicated romantic relationship. What the fuck? Elaborating what the in the fuck? comment section that the two were testing the waters. What is on September 8th, Chris officially declared on YouTube that she was in a relationship with Jessica Quinn. It finally happened. I'm Christine Weston Chandler, and I am in a true, loving relationship. Hasn't Jessica... With my sweetheart. Hasn't Jessica been Jessie. sitting... I'm so confused. Jessica's my been sitting Miss here Jessie. trolling them for the longest time, didn't they? And I'm a little yeah. Miss Christine. What the fuck? It's real true, real good. She and I have been talking to each other for more than a couple of years. She is made aware of y'all trolls and bullies. And it her, it's taking me on, it's choosing me as her sweetheart. Still work in progress this relationship. Well, I'm her champion. I'm gonna defend her from. I don't even know who the bullets. fire death is. Like I've I've I lost all track of everything. in my heart. It's unreal to me. I'm getting used to it. But I, st but I stand straight to arms. I'm not gonna let anybody harass or bother my sweetheart. If y'all have any questions about our relationship, you direct them to me. And upon there being any of which. She and I mutually agree, whether or not, to share or leave offline, period. Our relationship will mainly be offline. Jessica, I love you. Wow. In my heart. And I am yours. Every single Forever time. Honest, Honestly, every me. single time. I'll do my best for you, if not better. <coughs> Excuse me. 
So everybody please respect her as you would respect me very much. Thank you. Have a good safe day. The next day, Kiwi Farms user Moon Man's son had a private uh -huh. conversation with Jessica on Facebook. Uh -huh. They questioned whether she was truly genuine or a troll, with Jessica firmly stating that she was simply trying out their relationship with Chris and seeing if it would work. She revealed that she was well aware of Christine's past actions, admitting that they were poor choices made by Chris, but would still go ahead with their relationship because she felt that things and people can change, wishing that their interactions be kept more private. Even though Jessica firmly stood by her stance as a real woman, genuinely interested in a possible relationship with Christine, most people assumed her to be a troll on the count of her sometimes ethically questionable Facebook posts over the years. Whatever the case, Christine believed, once again, that she had found her sweetheart, a girlfriend like she wished, who could right all her wrongs and change her life. Jesus, I can't believe part 57 and we actually have somebody who seems like they're trying. I don't believe it whatsoever, obviously. Okay, Ashwan, have a good one. Thanks, hon. Wait, I should probably use the bathroom, huh? This is the second to last part. Everybody look away from the screen for a little bit. Let your eyes rest. Whew. I had some caffeine, so now I'm going to try to <sighs> control it with my heart. <laughs> No, 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 I mean, um, I mean more like, you know, just not staring at a screen, just looking elsewhere so your eyes are like a little less strained. Oh, man. Hi, 
Hi, Billy Bob. Okay. <gasps> Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Smooth. Thank you so much for gifting. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Sorry, sorry about that. But also, thank you, Mr. Spook. Please, please. No, 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 no. Thank you, Zilla. On nice September to see 9th, you. Hi, 2017, sweetheart. Christine revealed on Facebook a new drawing of her girlfriend, Jessica Quinn, writing that she had turned out to be the woman initially named Lovely Weather. Chris's destined girlfriend, as depicted in Sonichu issue 10, noting the similarities in their drawn appearances. The next day, Chris went to Twitter to compliment My Little Pony voice actress Andrea Lipman on her cute performance style after seeing the latest episode of the cartoon series. Jessica saw the tweet, which was also shared on Chris's Facebook profile, showing her surprise at Chris's comments. Chris apologized, stating that she only wanted to let Andrea know that she liked the way she said her lines and meant for the comment to stay on Twitter. Jessica wrote that it was odd how Chris wanted to tell the voice actress that she liked the sound of her voice. When Jessica was waiting for Christine to get back to talking to her, Quinn then reminded her that Chris allegedly belonged to her, accompanying her message. With a selfie of threatening aura. Chris yeah, that is very threatening aura. acknowledged that she belonged to Jessica and was not interested at all at pursuing anything more than platonic communications with artists which she liked. On September 11th, Christine wrote an email to controversial illusionist and self proclaimed psychic Yuri Geller asking for his advice regarding psychic powers. Hello, Yuri. Guessing you might predict my email to you. <laughs> Colon close Layton. parentheses. Anyhow, I am Miss Christine Chandler in Rockersville, Virginia, USA. I just read your name in the Psychokinesis chapter of my copy of Develop Your Psychic Skills. I have been working on my own psychic skills. I have found I do have some, and I practice most daily. I am so close to making the trading card I have been practicing with, or even my pen, levitate. If I can, I would like to seek a more expert psychic skill training. I'm a still getting out there artist and creator. Anyhow, should you help me get further on with my skills, or guide me well, I would be most grateful. Thank you. Have a great and safe Ocean day. Ocean Wave 718 is now boarding. Welcome Stay to safe. Airlines. Christine you have a safe W. Chandler. Geller soon responded. Hi Christine, I don't teach one-on-one -on -one or give lessons. Most of my books are free to read on my website. Quite frankly, I believe you are wasting your time. There are more productive things in life than levitating a pen. Put your energy into those. What? Being a motivator, a positive thinker, helping others, a bit of meditation, some spirituality, empowering others, etc, etc, etc. Much energy and love, Yuri. Sent from my iPhone. The next day, Christine responded with another email. I am not wasting my time. I have <laughs> I my psychic friend, Magichan Sonichu, and my own dimensional psychic links to my Quickville and beyond. I have had a lot of deja vu moments in my life. I am not just looking for mere levitation, but I intend to do a lot more good with my psychic powers to bring peace and take down up to all of the internet haters and bullies. I need to do all these in my own control. And I did also ask for recommendations of anyone else who could help me better develop my powers. Your frank response left me feeling disappointed and disgusted with you right now. Until the later time when I recover from this feeling, because I have a lot of other stresses in my life. Ugh. Good day, Yuri. Send for my iPhone. Stay safe. Christine W. Chandler. Also sent from my iPhone. On September 12th, Christine went to Twitter to post a seductive photo of Jessica, possibly sent to her privately, proclaiming that she was a real person and that they had future plans in the making. The next day, it became public knowledge that Chris was listening to the Lazy Cast, a podcast featuring Planet Dolan is now boarding. Welcome to Label Airlines and her boyfriend. Safe and enjoyable flight. On the 14th, Chris changed the payment method for her supporters on Patreon to upfront charging to prevent patrons from joining and then leaving before they were due for payment. Members of the Kiwi Farms noticed that yeah, Chris's announcement post I'm was not, not directly airplane, copied thank you. from a Patreon post written by creator Kip Tay Tay who specialized in illustrating chubby anime girls. On September 16th, Chris showcased an updated full-body drawing of lovely weather, 
modeled after oh, Jessica, well, nice to meet promising you, then, to Airtel. feature her in future Sonichu issues. On that same day, I'm an airline Christine mascot. attended the Charlottesville Pride Festival, later having a picture featuring her in the background printed in the Daily Progress newspaper, wearing her oft-seen headgear of pony ears and unicorn horn. Apart from having a few photos of her taken, little is known of her activity at the event. On September 17th, Christine posted on Facebook a new drawing depicting her girlfriend, Jessica Quinn, in pony form, christening her character Diamond Melody. Soon after, she posted another illustration of Diamond and Chris's pony Thank character, you, I'm glad. Nightstar, together, revealing that they are canonically a couple, or shipped. Jessica herself commended Chris's drawing efforts in the reply section. Two days later, Chris angrily demanded on Twitter for trolls to stop bothering her Jessica, sharing the video regarding their relationship, which she had made over a week prior. Okay, no offense, but she definitely knows what she's doing. Shared both on Twitter and Facebook. Like, Jessica definitely knows what she's doing. all trolls were bad, and then the declaration that she thought kiwis were tasty. Or what was supposed to happen. Members of the kiwi farms felt that her recent posts were prompted by a troll, likely Jessica Quinn. On September 21st, Christine shared on Twitter her tips for growing larger breasts naturally by eating 12 prunes per day and glazing all non-sweet foods with soy sauce. Followers of Chris felt that this ploy of Chris gaining weight and retaining water was the result of Quinn's influence, as she was known to follow several Facebook pages concerning fetishization of overweight women. This was confirmed when Jessica Quinn replied to Chris's post, looking forward to the results of her efforts. I love Mrs. that William Colson just like, Galpa, uh... elaborated that phytoestrogens, as contained in soy and prunes, would not increase breast size and would only result in increased amounts of salty poops. Chris countered her comment with links to online articles from which she gathered information regarding breast increase. Kim found it sad that many girls were deceived by such <laughs> pseudoscience promoted by websites preying on their insecurities to make a quick buck. Christine asked Kim why she couldn't say something supportive or positive instead, to which Kim replied that since Chris had been tricked Kim by generally trolls many has times before, a, like, she was hoping that she it's wouldn't just get not tricked nice, again by these like, websites, not a good way, you know what I mean? but could not support false hope. She wrote that the best way to increase breast size or penis length was either surgery or change in weight. If Chris were to gain weight, some might go to her breasts, and if she lost weight, she would increase the perceived length of her penis. On September 23rd, in response to a tweet, Christine posted a newer photo of her cat, Sorbet, clearly oh showcasing the damage to his eyes. Oh she later clarified that the photo had been taken a couple of months ago and that his one cloudy eye had recovered considerably. On that same day, Chris wrote a long Facebook post featuring her review of the Christian documentary on YouTube made by Sachimo. Sorry, I saw Mary's name, so it says, because he addressed me as the legend, I asked Mary Weathery how I was a legend, or why. He told me I was very well documented, for one thing, and he linked the more recent video, Sonichu 101. But then I was reminded of the, the documentary, which goes up to 2014, and could do with more updating. Is it this one? Is it this one? I was afraid of watching the Christian documentary as I thought is it Gina, would hurt me oh, a different a one, a different one. Okay, because I was like, is Gina talking about their the own documentary? Part. But on the other hand, the there could Chris. have been some commentary from various people talking about how they were inspired by me or something. I don't know. I felt it would be way too much for me to endure watching it, so I covered my eyes with my turby twist. I had my earbuds plugged into my iPod. I listened to the whole thing. I cried at some of the pre-2004 topics, as they were not offensive. They reminded me of times when I was so young that I was like this or that. My tears welled into the turby. For about everything before 2004, it was positive, it was kind. And then, starting with the early days of my sweetheart search, and Megan, and Snyder, Mary Lee Walsh, I had a bunch of oh my god moments in response. How am I that feeling? Was cake. Uh, caffeinated? And then, I heard the old hold song on, hold I sang. On. I have exactly the photo that I'm feeling right now. And, and some of some of you guys have actually seen this photo already. Hold on. Oh, wait. What the fuck? Oh, I guess I deleted it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
It's okay. The, it's the same photo. It's the one with like the skeleton in a chair and like their body is moving, but they're not. <laughs> that makes me cringe now. In Tune 2, I want it that way. Oh, I From know NSYNC, Virgin with Rage, and then the Sagas, with the trolls and the theoretical Hi, exes. Kadu. All of that was a medium sized slice of hell to me. So, in my overall feeling of that documentary, I gave it a thumbs down on YouTube. I feel like it is about 45% hellish Hi, out of the Kadu. whole hour. I really yeah, wish, it is. and I it feel is. it would do me a it whole is, better world of good for a documentary or a full compilation of recorded video testimonies from all of the people who were actually touched by my work or by my kindness and efforts and the genuine positive words to outweigh all that four years of hate. 07 to 11. I <sighs> In the memes channel, yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. <clears throat> Thank you, Karu. Thank you very much for gifting. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for gifting. Bye, Karu. Fucking. Uh. Here's your swallow noises, Whitey. Hi, hon. Excuse me. Shut up, Potter, shut up. You all wanted me to watch I this documentary. I can tell you're losing it? Yeah, I mean, I don't... I have to be... <laughs> Moody, thank you so much for the biddies. Thank you, thank you. I have to be on... I just, I didn't expect it. I didn't expect it. That's why. Because I was like, I was... I, was I, I woke up this morning and I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, I'll probably end today. Yeah. And then Mr. Spook came by. And, and, and... Moody yesterday. And who else in the morning? Oh, Moody this morning. And then I was just like, I don't know anything. That's the time I have left. Yeah, I said, I said Mr. Spooks. That's the time I have left. I started September 2nd at 1 p.m. That was, how long was that ago, guys? You sound sleepy. It's because yesterday I sang for seven hours straight. <clears throat> so now my, uh, my voice is dead. 56 hours ago. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've been sleeping through it. My sleep hasn't been that good, but I've been sleeping through it. Um, and then while I'm sleeping, I have content that I pre-recorded to put up. Um, but, but I'm still very, like, confusion. You don't believe me in what? And that I sang for seven hours yesterday? I mean, there's plenty of people here who, will, who can attest to that. Difficulties listening to it. It is done. There will not be any reaction video of me watching this documentary ever. Soon after. She wrote an update regarding her want for an updated documentary. Oh, this is fun. This is fun. Spook says that's cheating. <clears throat> well, guess what, Spooks? The uncapped subathon has me live. So I can be live. It doesn't say what I'm going to do live. So I can be live. It's okay, Layton. I don't know. I don't know. Featuring testimonies from the many people, for example those she met at BronyCon, who she had touched positively. Chris also felt that trimming down the trolling sagas to summaries and showing off more of her No pausing during the marathon? Never fucking said that! The documentary. She addressed her past homophobic remarks, clarifying that the trollsome imagery on her Wikipedia website badly triggered her. But she became tolerant of gay men by then, as long the as behind closed The first day, I was yelling all day to playing GTA 5, so my on voice September 26th, <coughs> Christine posted screenshots of tweets that she had liked from creators No Whacking and Doopy Do-Over, both of whom had her blocked. Okay, 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 hold on, hold on. Of doing so an updated documentary featuring testimonies from the many people, oh. for example, those she met at BronyCon, who she had touched positively. Chris also felt that trimming down the trolling sagas to summaries and showing off more of her kindness and personality would benefit the documentary. 
She addressed her past homophobic remarks, oh, okay, clarifying okay, I that see the troll's yeah, imagery right. on her Wikipedia website badly triggered her, but she became tolerant of gay men by then, as long as behind closed door content was, was not pushed Was the general onto sitting her. on front of you? On September it's, uh, 26th, it's chat bear. Christine posted screenshots of tweets chat, that chat she had gets liked upset when we watch Chris Tons, so I put chat bear on my lap so they Both feel a little better. Had her blocked. Which would have He's prevented her from seeing their Twitter activity. He's dressed up as a pilot. This meant that she was using another account, bypassing their block. However, Kiwi Farms users noticed that upon checking the activity on her other known account, Nightstar2891, they found that the account's like history did not match the screenshots Chris posted, which meant that she was likely using yet another Twitter account, most probably twice Parlicious, which some followers had previously suspected of being Christine. She gave her name on the site as Kurt Varnson, a name near identical to a pseudonym used by Jerry Seinfeld in the TV show Seinfeld. Possibly after seeing the information posted Not on the forums, Jessica confronted back, Chris psychic. for secretly following female creators like Doopy and broke off their Jesus. relationship. Chris changed her relationship status on Facebook to It's Complicated, while Quinn changed hers to Single. Jessica oh. followed up with a short post oh. and replies to comments regarding her irritation at a certain lying, untrustworthy individual without explicitly referring to Chris. Christine then wrote a post, regretting lying to protect from a truth and sneaking to hide from the bullies. Shortly after, she updated her Facebook profile picture to a 7 second long video of herself crying and pleading for Jessica to not leave her. Oh my god. Jessica, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't want to lose you. <laughs> Jessica accused her of lying because she thought she could get away with it, saying not to blame her actions on the bullies, and attached a photo of herself scowling. Soon after, Christine the wrote that, that her Jessica head was being is like and that she would be taking really some time off away from her phone. Presumably after a private conversation, the two changed their relationship status back to being in a complicated relationship with each other. Like the other, other ones where they're Shortly like, remember, after, I'm your Chris girlfriend, it's really creepy that she was too. to regrettably quit following the LazyCast podcast featuring Doopy Doo Over, apologizing to them for unsubscribing. Jessica replied, thanking Chris for her decision. Christine then unfollowed Doopy and no whacking on her twice parlicious Twitter account. She elaborated on Facebook that cutting off these ties felt like she was conceding defeat against her will, but did so to fulfill her promise. A Facebook friend expressed concern over her willingness to cut the aforementioned ties if she was being forced into it, while Quinn showed surprise at Chris claiming that her actions were being done against her will. Two days later, Christine posted new unfinished pages of Sonichu, which revealed possible influence from Jessica Quinn in the fact that Rose Chu had begun to excessively eat and became overweight. Later on, Twitter user Yvonne Mora accused Chris of stealing a work of fan art by Gabriel Montero to use for the banner of her Patreon page. Chris defended herself, writing that it was a lovely piece of art and was using it in full appreciation of the artist who drew it. It was also not considered stealing because Sonichu, Rose Chu, and the city of Quickville were her creations. On October 3rd, Chris launched a new store on the merchandise creation site Red You're Bubble, kidding! selling items branded with photographs of Chris before her transition, which included skirts or framed photographs, priced oh at up to $80. Oh my god! The next day, Christine recorded a second interview for the podcast Internet Dream Lounge with the hosts Meriwether and Easy K, promising to ask more tough questions and plan out the interview accordingly to make it more entertaining than the previous effort, which had to be scrapped. I'm good, You're doing quite fine. Oh my god, I love him, I love him! Sorry, 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 hold on. Mrs. Boo, thank you so much for getting to the Kuroko. I appreciate it. Thank you. We already did this interview already. I uh, just want to re-record it because the last one was quite boring. Uh, and also a few times I slipped up and didn't call you by your proper pronoun. So what was it you told me to do this time uh, in care, like in order to make sure I don't slip up and call you he instead of she? Thank you, Layton. And you're, you're talking with Natalie Portman. Hello, I'm Miss Natalie Portman. Let's have fun today, all right? Wow. Dude, wow. Is Natalie Portman in the room right now? Wow. Uh, apparently, she is. Is Natalie Portman well, here? Uh, anyway, um... Oh my god. They briefly discussed the villains of the Sonichu universe and the politics of Quickville before moving on to the babysitter who allegedly kickstarted Chris's descent into autism. 
early back in your timeline, like the farthest back you can remember, there was an event which shaped you as a person. It was when your childhood uh, babysitter, who I believe she's called Miss Roach, <clears throat> and she locked you in your room because you were interrupting her phone call. Now, I asked you this question in a private chat between you and I, but I would like to ask you again so you can elaborate on it in uh, our interview. Would you ever consider putting Miss uh, Roach into your comic as a villain? Very unlikely, because I have very little information or recollection about her. <laughs> Hold on, who said that? Who's, who said that? which shaped you as a person. It was when your childhood uh, babysitter, who I believe she's called Miss Roach, and oh, she locked you Gino in your room that? because you were interrupting her phone oh. call. Now, I asked you this well, question I'm sure that Gino, in private sorry, chat between I'm sure you and I, but Gino I would like to ask you again so you can elaborate it on it that's in how Chris uh, our interview. To it. Like, that's would how you Chris ever consider putting this. Miss uh, Roach into your comic as a villain? Very unlikely, because I have very little information or recollection about her past or current appearance, much less her first name. So that would be a big no. Okay, very well. Uh, because a lot, uh, like, that's kind of like the, the ground zero of everything Christian, <coughs> of everything Christery, as, as it's called. Do you know oh that term, god. Christery? Yeah, oh a, my yeah, god! Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> that's good. You like Mitch's that Mitch's thank you so yeah. much yeah. for gifting to right. Luigi uh, fan. Uh, Chris, I let's play a game it. of thank Fuck, you. Marry, Kill. All right. Uh, you, you, I, it's kind of a party game, so I, I guess you haven't really had a chance to play it. It's not Luigi something fan. you do in high school. Um, I will mention three people, and here's the rules. You have to fuck one, you have to marry one, and you mm. have to kill one. Okay. So, Okay, so let's start out with Barack Obama. No, I just Hillary actually Clinton, having because because they Donald usually J. say Trump. it here, right? Well, like in the chat, but uh, I, uh, it's funny to hear it like in the Hillary video. Clinton. Yes. Uh, let's see. Oh well, let me swap that. I'd marry Hillary Clinton, and okay, I'll f I'll play with Barack hmm. Obama, and I would kill Donald Trump. Okay. Yeah, you don't like Trump very much, do you? <clears throat> yes, I do not. I had watched the political debates before the election, all three of them, and I could saw see. If here, here, here! Notice this, notice this, because they originally were saying. See. Oh well, let me swap. Hold on. They were they were very very willing to say that they'd have sex with Hillary, right? But then when it came to Barack Obama, immediately it was like ah, ah f f f f f play. You know what I mean? No, Chris made public death threats to Trump before this series, like dur in in a, during the series. Do not. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, you don't like Trump oh, shit, very sorry. much, do you? Yes, I do not. I had watched the political debates before the election, all three of them, and I could saw see from a mile away that he was an obvious narcissist. Or the, so the psycholo psychologists have coined a phrase. He is a malignant narcissist and his actions <laughs> since he came into office have definitely reflected all that i see all right well let's not get too into politics uh do we have anything thank else? you mary oh, mm, right. mary's got um, it mary's got it <laughs> just a brief moment chris what's your biggest regret Ooh, that's a good uh, question biggest regret yeah albeit seemingly minor I'd have to say my biggest regret was when one of my theoretical exes told me that she was fascinated with wow. cake farts. Wow. And I paid $11 for this beautiful chocolate cake from Walmart that I had actually cut and a piece out of beforehand. And well, I sat bare ass on the cake. And uh, after that, it was made not it was made not edible, and then I end up having to trash their, that remaining cake that I sat on. Jesus. Uh, I mean, well, that that's I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, that sorry about like the it, cake, man. Uh, the... I love that, like man. 
Uh, easy is like, easy is like trying so hard to hold it in. And Mary's like, well, <laughs> you know, I, I, Mar I, no, I think Mary knew. I think Mary knew, right? I think Mary knew. So Mary was like, okay, I'm, I'm prepared. Mary's a professional. Mary's a professional. Easy, I'm sure is great too, but it was just kind of funny to hear that Easy is a Easy was kind of holding it back. Other than that, uh, like just trying to, to hold ask, the, uh, Chris, the, the uh, you back. are obviously more and more aware these days that you do have a sort of uh, ironic kind of infamy around you and your comic. Um, why do you think people kind of are so Thank fascinated you, by specifically I'm, I'm, you? I love my chat bear too. Um, I'm not really sure, but I'd like to think among which I actually was a victim of s a whole bunch of internet trolls and cyber boys, the real actual bad people, and that I stood against them the best as I was able to. And while I was down and out for a while, I definitely made a rebound and came back around. They continue to discuss Mrs. topics Foos, largely thank covered you very much. during their thank first you, thank attempt, you. I such as her history with trolls, to Nobuyuki. comic <laughs> developments, and prospect of you jobs. You finally got one, Nobu. You finally <laughs> got one. Portman or Christine Weston thank Chandler. You, thank you, thank Mrs. you very Foos. much for joining in. Do you want to do uh, a little bit uh, exit? Uh, our, our podcast name is Internet Dream Lounge. Do you want to give us an exit? Yes, this has been the Internet Dream Lounge. You have been listening to Miss Christine Weston Chandler and Easy Going. Y'all have a great oh. day. Stay safe. Well, almost, well, almost. Permafrost one 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 is Christine, now boarding. Welcome to Airlines. <laughs> Hope you have a safe and enjoyable flight. <laughs> what do you mean you did, dude? Chris, Chris literally doxes everybody, dude. God. Also on October fourth. Christine created a new account on the site Kiwi Farms using the username Legendary Christorian and announced via a lengthy post that she came to gather respectful questions directed at her from forum members and planned to answer them in video form. She aimed to come back once per week to take well, yeah, on any new not. questions and allowed her That's responses to be shared in the possible development I'd be upset of too. a better video documentary or series of her characters. As far as I know, Mary Later is that name. She live streamed her responses to 40 questions on YouTube. First off, yes, that was me on the aforementioned Kiwi Farms. That I made the one post. I shall never make another post again on that web forum. But I felt need to yeah, establish yeah, that's, that's, uh, Mary's, that uh, podcast. I am to face the trolls, good and bad. Because we're all still individual people. And very importantly, I do this because this is like eventually happening, been waiting to happen. I face my demons of the past that have been lingering on to me for so many years. I have not been able to since I was naive, either in regular, even with regular or superpowers I have to I still need to address these concerns individually and then we can move forward and thus Kazel Kazel thank you so much for taking your folks on tour hello tourists my name is Leval I love to travel and I'm just trying my fucking best we're currently watching Chris Chan, A Comprehensive History, part 58. So I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But also, uh, oh, Cosmo was playing Destiny too. How fucking, yeah, how was that? How was it? That's allowing me to ultimately find true peace of mind. We managed. And uh, there's plenty of airplanes with bars. Excuse and my me. sweetheart. And of which she has definitely voice concerns but it's nice to see you. against Hope me you're doing, doing well. this but this is something that just was gonna eventually be done anyway so to you my sweetie I just yeah while your comments between our back and forth earlier today they did sting me quite a bit but 
I do this. It's okay. Iron Banner. Iron Banner is that. Trust my love. Right? That's, that's Iron Banner. Believe you me. My heart, my soul is in the right place. Okay, so without further ado, we'll answer some questions. But firstly, uh, two questions that were proposed uh, to me I don't really Twitter, plan on doing more docu-series. No. If there was anything you could change in your future message uh, that you had made on your 25th birthday... I think birthday, this is a, a good one enough, what to be would honest. It be? Initially, I would definitely remove the stay straight and swap that with find yourself for who you are rather you be straight gay lesbian bisexual trans whatever you are you pretty sure that's against you are copyright individual. I'm gonna get you should love that, I'm pretty sure. accept and also, appreciate Tofu yourself also Tofu69 is now boarding welcome to Label Airlines hope you have a safe and enjoyable flight I'll answer this one it's just be, it's over my head yeah, over Iron my Banner knowledge is just that way. but have you ever thought about applying for such an 8 Housing. Oh, I know um, Section 8 housing. As far Thanks, as I'm, I'm glad concerned, you like the new model. I'll take Thank that you, a, under consideration. But at the moment, at this present time, I am not looking to move out just yet. Eventually, I may, but that is still years later. I can't say for certain right now. Thought about making medallions again. That is in the process. As we, uh, it's, as uh, me and my associates, where it's we're working on expanding our businesses, the business and I'm sorry, whatnot, what associates? We just opened a uh, brown bubble, red bubble store just yesterday. We'll eventually find somebody who can make the medallions. And, I, and I don't think behalf. his mom's doing anything either. And those will be well to go. Okay, yes, this is a very valid question. Do I believe that Quickville, Equestria, and other such places exist in dim different dimensions? Yes! Yes! I believe very much in the different dimensions! And... I have... Access. If I access to some, to all those dimensions, I can view it into them just like... My OC, Night Star, can see you to our dimension, our reality, watching our YouTube videos. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What is happening? I'm sorry. What is, what are they saying? I believe very much in the different dimensions. And I have access if i access to some to all those dimensions i can view it into them just like my oc night star can see you to our dimension our reality watching our youtube videos and visiting us visiting our dimensions Doctor Who does it all the time, too. He's the doctor. Who's the doctor? Yes, he's the doctor. Doctor Who? Yes, he's the doctor. I'm the duck. Who's the duck? Yes, he's the doctor. Jumping gigawatts. I'm... Moving on, um, although possibility of children after my full oh, transformation into being a full woman 
I have heard it's successful. I can eventually bear my own child, but I'll just leave that up to future events when that can actually happen. As of at this moment, that's still debatable. And I'm not going to fret too much over that right now. That's all the questions. Uh, so now, with this fate, with this task, I've taken a first step towards facing my demons of my past. And once again, I empathize. I want to reiterate: do not contact any of my friends, any of my family, or any of my associates. And including and especially my sweetheart, then I will not answer any more questions. Okay, well, aside from that, I think I'm good for this time. So, until the next video I record or the next question I answer, everybody, y'all have a great, safe day. Thank you for your kindness and your respect and listening. <laughs> <laughs> on October 5th, Chris posted on Facebook in disbelief after finding <laughs> no, out that Jessica yeah, Quinn's fine, Facebook fine, profile fine, had been just... deactivated. <laughs> in a hasty effort on? to make contact with her, Chris made a short YouTube video. <gasps> what? <laughs> Sweetie, love, I just noticed your Facebook account is being deactivated. What the hell is going on? <laughs> I'm worried. What the hell? Are you really? Are you really an engineer, are you? There's something going on. I need you to tell me right away, please. Oh. You can reach me at my phone number. Text me. No. No. What's going on, sweetie? What the hell? Jessica soon messaged her, telling here. her that the trolls hacked her true <laughs> Facebook account because Chris had interacted with them on the farms, in spite of her warnings. She called for an end to their relationship because her involvement with the trolls and cyberbullies would badly affect her personal and professional you reputation. You fucking knew this! Christine then posted a screenshot of their last conversation Jesse fucking Facebook, knew this. saying goodbye to Jessica and telling either Jessica or the trolls that they would have the rest of their life to think about it. She then wrote that she had been backstabbed by people she had decided to forgive, referring to the trolls. In the replies, Chris's trolls from gal pal, Kim Wilson, wrote that she was sorry that Jessica had stabbed Christine in the back. Chris clarified that it was the trolls that stabbed her in the back by hacking into Quinn's account. Kim asked how did they do that, to which Chris replied by calling her an unsupportive friend, as well as a drunk, high aqua teen addict with her sweetheart. Chris further added that Kim was high, wow. shitted up, and stuck up her ass in comments wow. and replies. Kim Wilson did not understand why I Chris mean, was to so be angry fair, with her, Kim with Chris sucks, later telling the trolls right? that Kim but could like, tell them who was damn. the magical man who appeared in a YouTube video with Chris in 2010, because Chris could not remember his name. Not long after, Christine posted another video on YouTube. No, Kim, Kim's always been bad. Kim's been a shit person for a long time, but no. wow. I open Can myself up to you damn bunch of internet trolls, you damn bitch! Oh, they're angry now. They got really angry what again. What the fuck? You had to know!
Wow, I don't think I've ever this heard them say- This is not funny and you'll laugh at this is not funny! It's Sayer! He's killing us! Turn it off with and board over! You all are just ultimately really crazily you are so super fucked up cursed oh my god they regressed they just cursed Good. us Bye. they literally regressed so hard dude we've gotten Crystal like 20 parts without being fucking Barbara cursed Barbara dude coming to console her with a tissue on facebook Accompanied by Barbara's personalized message to Jessica. Things can be fixed, but broken hearts suffer. Please give Christine another chance. Christine then changed her Facebook profile picture to the video of her crying for Quinn. She later returned to Kiwi Farms to write one final post. Thanks a lot, you goddamn bunch of bastardous children! Her life is ruined, and it was my fault for trying to make peace with you lot! I really wish I never created this new account and tried to reach out. Good fucking bye. On October 6th, she wrote on Facebook angrily that she was the infamous centerfold that every stalker followed, who nobody wanted to be around because of her bloody fans, sharing the music video for the song Centerfold by artist Jay Giles Band. She soon after added, Is that that song? <laughs> Is that that song? Okay. That she was experiencing celebrity infamy discrimination. This was soon followed by an apparent attempt by Jessica Quinn to apologize and reconnect. It was soon uncovered that this was not the same account which had been deactivated and likely the attempt of a troll. Quinn herself returned to leave a comment for Chris, apologizing for the madness, and confirmed that the previous message was a troll attempt. She confessed that she was still open to Chris as a friend, and would leave her Facebook account open only for Chris to message her if she wanted, with all of her post and comment history deleted. Doopy Doover then returned to the Kiwi Farms to leave a few comments on the thread regarding the fake Jessica interaction after becoming upset by the relationship situation. Chris also returned to the farms to read through the thread and leave likes and ratings on Doopy's posts. Afterwards, Chris resumed watching Doopy Do Over on YouTube and also the LazyCast podcast which featured her. Christine then lashed out both on Twitter and Facebook, lamenting that she did not have Jessica to feed her and have her watch her belly grow like her Sonichu characters. She shared a photo of a large ice cream candy cup she was having, feeling discorded because she was not sharing it this with Jessica. Really weird. This was soon followed by another photo, this time focusing on Chris's large belly, writing that all of Why it could have been Jessica's. Her next photo was presumably her maybe? reaction Jessica after receiving fetish? a brain freeze from eating ice cream, placing her headache on Jessica's conscious. The next day, Chris went to see the new My Little Pony prequel movie at the I mean, cinema, I don't yuck anyone's yums, but I'm just trying to figure that out. League club, which she would attend at the End Games card game shop. She wrote on Twitter oh. that while she was waiting to meet up with her friends, she reflected that her girlfriend was unsurprisingly absent from the movie event because she broke up with Christine due to her fan base. Later that day, she confessed that she felt she was famous like a princess and had the difficult obligation to keep as many people and loved close ones as possible happy. This was soon followed by an announcement that she was recovering and was not going to kill herself as life and her work resumed. She then went to Twitter to reveal that the zip code of Quickville, Virginia was 16429. Not long after, Chris updated her followers with a new page from Sonichu, showing Sonichu's dramatic weight loss to return back to normal. On October 8th, she reminisced on Facebook that she missed the original Sonichu medallion, which was destroyed by a group of trolls pretending to be her first theoretical ex-girlfriend, Blanca Weiss, in 2008. She announced, for the sake of Christery, that their prank was not only not funny, but disastrous, as its destruction caused four years of memories, soulful energy, and perhaps even real magic to disappear. She wished for a moment of silence for her first medallion, and hoped to continue wearing her current third iteration forevermore. 
On October 9th, Christine made a new video, focusing on updates to her Patreon page. <clears throat> Hello there, citizens of Quickville and the internet. Y'all know me? I'm Christine Weston Chandler, formerly Christian, Christopher. You being her 40, and I'm the two the morning, last being her son, the electric you picture of Pokemon for 15 years. <sighs> and I've been drawing my books and for better or for worse. Uh, it has affected thousands of readers over the years. This is an updated introduction to my Patreon. Because not only do I need money to help pay the household bills, but to expand on the merchandising. Including finding somebody to make Look, the we're custom almost there. We're Sachin almost Rose there. Sachin Rose figures of the whole set. Anybody interested in y'all? Uh, y'all say that all the time. Jesus to uh, become a become a custom crafter of the Abibo figures and medallions, they may submit their applications to my associate. Where I'll put that communication email address in below this video upon uploading. She goes through the available donation tiers, ranging from ten dollars to five hundred dollars, and explains their varying rewards. So anyway. I thank everyone for their continued support over the years, and to all Christorians uh, and all their support yeah, Chris and everything. Is very draining. Chris Again, is I am Miss Christine Weston Chandler, female pronoun pronouns. Thank you Hi, very much, Yvina. and have a great and awesome safe I'm day. I'm just trying my best. That's it. That's, that's, I'm just trying my best. It was around that time <laughs> that members of the QB Farms noticed a curious occurrence in the latest episode of My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, titled Once Upon a Zeppelin. In it, a background pony character is spotted a few times, wearing large glasses, a striped greenish polo shirt, and had a faded green mane. In one moment, he was the only character in the shot frowning and not showing happiness for another pony winning a contest. There was also no an way. older pony couple who some former members suggested to be representative of Chris's parents. Wait, 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 wait hold on. That actually. Okay, okay. That one. I mean, this one, I was like, you know, maybe you're reaching. Maybe you're reaching. But this one kind of actually looks like them. In addition, these three were the only ponies in the shot to be wearing clothing. Christine later acknowledged the speculation and doubted that the aforementioned pony was based on her previous likeness. Mm -hmm. She added that she would prefer yeah, maybe to appear if it just on seems the show as the voice like the of her original shirt, character, but like, Night I don't know. Star, and believed that the possible parody Apparently of Christine that happened, that's like happening a lot. Shit. by a direct statement from voice actress Tara Strong or someone else involved in the production of the cartoon. On October 9th, Chris left a comment yeah, it on looked her past like friend, I'm not gonna lie. business's Facebook page, featuring her handcrafted felt anthropomorphic animals. Christine complimented Megan's talents and sent her and her family many blessing. On the 10th, Chris wrote a lengthy post after watching a YouTube video from My Little Pony commentator, Dr. Wolf, which focused on fanfiction. She remembered how appalled and disgruntled she felt after discovering the Aspergue comic series created by the troll Alec Benson Leary due to the lack of love and respect for the Sonichu characters and story which had inspired it. However, she had grown up mentally and emotionally since that time and acknowledged previously detested fan works as stepping stones for fan artists who would continue to refine their craft and create bigger and better stories in the future. The next day, she reviewed the fan comic Sonichu Finale by Harry Darths. While Chris applauded the artist's drawing style and plotline, she greatly disapproved of the banning and killing of LGBTQ characters. Later that day, she requested that she wanted Thanks, the love. artists Thank of the you. various fan it's works just, of Sonichu it's just Chris to print Chan. physical. Chris Chan itself. Christian themselves are so like remember before this every time that I was streaming it was like three episodes of Christian at a time like the fourth episode I'd be drained it's it, and and this is the eighth episode we're watching in a row and I'm you know this is this was the goal right that we got we met for Layton's fundraiser but they are really really draining they're super draining just their story is incredibly draining so it's, <laughs> but we're, we're getting there. Yeah, we're getting there. Also, cat, cat chat is now boarding. Welcome to Lava Airlines. Hope you have a safe and enjoyable flight. 
I know. I know. Oh, are they lagging? Oh, shit. Are we good? Are we good? Okay, okay. I figured it out. I, fi I figured it out. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. But yeah, my point is just that, you know, it's it's because of Chris. Chris themselves is incredibly draining, and so is their story. So, but we're almost there. <laughs> we're almost there, and we said it would be okay. Go copies of the comics and then send them to her, including Alec Benson Leary, to whom Chris apologized for reacting the way she did in response to his Aspertrue comics. On October 12th, Christine commended the fan comic Rose True's Story by notable Kiwi Farms user Tricky, sharing a page from the comic. At a later point, she recreated the depicted scene from the comic in the form of a series of photos featuring Lego Pokemon and her customized Sonichu Amiibo figurines. Also on October 12th, Chris wrote that she was feeling melancholy and was missing a certain her, likely referring to Jessica Quinn. The next day, Chris expressed her emotional jealousy at the YouTuber PewDiePie, who had met his sweetheart over Facebook and eventually met her in person after messaging for a long time. Unlike Chris's sweetheart Jessica, PewDiePie's partner was not intimidated by his fanbase. Later again, Christine frustratingly tweeted that she missed her sweetheart, who was scared off by the bullying trolls online. She added that the pony characters she created to represent herself and Quinn, Nightstar and Diamond Melody, respectively, were allegedly still together as a couple. On October 15th, Chris confessed once again on Facebook that she missed Jessica and called her trolls uncouth cads because they scared Quinn off by either hacking into or reporting her Facebook account. Over Twitter, Christine defended Jessica's legitimacy and demanded trolls to stop pretending to be her in private conversations or badmouthing her. The next day, Chris came upon the realization that if Jessica had truly been a troll, then their private conversations would have been leaked. Though heartbroken by her breakup with Jessica Quinn, Christine sought comfort in the possibility, however unlikely, that the nature of their relationship was genuine. This created a feeling of success, a belief that Chris did, in fact, have and lost a true sweetheart, giving her the strength to start again and keep moving forward, producing more merchandise and exploring new stories, new characters, and new ideas. Okay, first of all, Mr. Spoof, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you for gifting to Shadow Man. And also, Shadow Man, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Shadow Man. Happy birthday to you. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> can we take that, um, can we take that, that comment out? That I'm just very uncomfortable with that word. One more. Thank you. Sorry. <sighs> oh my god. You know that one part in Harry Potter uh, where he's literally like, <sighs> Dumbledore is like, please, no more. And he's like, I have to. I'm sorry. I have to. You know, he said that. You know, he's like, yeah, this is how I feel about that. Okay, I'm gonna use the bath. I'm so sorry. We only have one more, you guys. I'm gonna use the bathroom.
<sighs> Hi, y'all. How you doing? Am I good? Uh, thank you, thank you. Um, uh, nothing different than regular Christian suffering. Yeah, 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 so that's what I'm saying. I'm saying that part right there. Also, um, my stomach is like not talking well to me. My stomach is not really being nice. <laughs> so I'm gonna have some tea. Some ginger and probiotics tea. Let's do it, you guys. After, I, I will mention that after this, right? After this right here, the last episode, part 59, after this right here, I will <clears throat> be playing because the lovely Meriwether um thank you blah good night unicorn Russell. thank you the lovely Mer merryweather was so kind and generous enough to uh unlist the video just for our viewing pleasure um this time of the interview so we will see it let's see how, how long is it oh it's a full hour it's a full hour so we'll sit and listen to a little bit of it, um, but then we could probably listen to more of it after. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna sit down. It's it's from the Internet Dream Lounge, so I believe that it is. Yeah, they I'm it's like it's from their podcast YouTube. The second or first one, I believe it's the second one. Yeah. So we'll listen to a little bit of uh, a little bit of it. And then um, we'll stop and then we can listen to it, more of it, like maybe tomorrow or something. <sighs> is his name censored in it? I mean, I believe so. This is the one that he sent me. So I assume that he censored his name. <laughs> this is the one that he gave me. So, you know, he, he linked it to me. Yeah, I'll probably go to bed earlier today. Not too soon, but I, I'll probably go to... You know what they say about assuming? Well, I, I can't very much well ask him, you know? What and it's not until well? the end anyways, but I'll make sure to ask him tomorrow. What is the attraction? Sure. What keeps this is us the last fascinated? one, you guys. The final stretch. This is the story of Christian. I'll, I'll ask him. Yeah, I'll, I'll double check. Let's go! <laughs> On October 16th, 2017, Christine published the final pages of Sonichu issue 12, marking its completion. The comic begins with episodes 25, To Be or Not, A Tom Girl, told from the perspective of Sonichu's then son, Robert Sonichu, who reminisces that when he was still a young boy, he did not find destruction and violence fascinating like the other boys, and wondered why violence made him feel sad. He spoke with his already evolved sisters, looking for guidance. Sarah told him that boys were not supposed to be slow and cruel, but many were, and that Robert was one of the nice ones. Christine told him much the same sentiment. Upon speaking to his parents, Sonichu told him that he was without question a boy, I, I don't while know Rostri told him that they would Possibly. still love him for who he Possibly. was. Magichan told Robert that she knew what would happen to his life, but saying so would defeat the purpose of the young Sonny's journey of self-reflection and discovery. Magichan revealed that Robert's soul was female, and how he was to handle this information was up to him. Robert researched gender identities and sexual orientations online, and wrote a report on the topic, for which the teacher gave her an A+. Afterwards, while being bullied by Farah, a schoolboy, Robert revealed that she was learning to embrace her trans identity, which made Farah emotional, confessing that he was gay. 
Robert said that she was a lesbian and that they were both part of the SLGBTQ community. And Farah told her that he had they a so-called bro time. dude, Doug Dawson, whom he loved. The two reconciled and went their separate ways. Later that day, Robert confessed to her two sisters that she decided to be full woman, just like the mayor of Quickville, Christine Weston Chandler. Sarah and Christine hugged her in love and support as she suddenly evolved into her final form. The three then became embarrassed as Roberta spontaneously ejaculated. Sometime later, Roberta meets with Magichan up in the tower high above the police department. Magichan gives her a gift from the future, a CD filled with binaural beats designed to transform her body from male to female after consistent listening at night for at least two weeks, without any need for surgery but nevertheless would have the process expedited with periodic boosts of Magichan's psychic pores. After four weeks, Roberta develops double D-cup breasts, and after a further two more weeks, her penis shrinks and her vagina sp I think- <laughs> sprouts out. After a few months, Magichan examines her body with x-ray vision and confirms that she no. has become a fully functioning female, no. requesting to return to him the binaural beats CD, while still taking the doctor prescribed medication until she would be told to stop. Roberta receives a life achievement trophy in the style of an achievement achieved in a PlayStation game. She goes on to reflect on her relationship experiences over the years, recounting her dates with her classmate Volva Pie an original character created by the troll Alec Benson Leary, playing the part of Chris's online girlfriend, Jackie. In the comic, Jackie is the mother of Volva, and after ending her relationship with Chris and leaking private information, she leaves Quickville, taking her daughter with her, and thus ending Roberta's short relationship with Volva Pie. <laughs> a few years later, she meets Mimi, a green rose chew, at Quickville Shopping Center, and after a lengthy conversation, start dating, and continue this to hang came out, out July casually. 31st of this Finally, year. Roberta reflects on a more recent accomplishment. In 2015, with her sisters Sarah and Christine helping her record the event, Roberta runs into the sky to do some okay. skywriting and then performs a sonic rain boom, an action lifted from the My Little Pony Friendship is Magic cartoon, consisting of her releasing a grand burst of energy and creating a gigantic rainbow yep, in the sky, which July lasted for only one minute and could be seen from all across the That's east coast of the United States. In her closing statement, she states that she is loved by her family. Oh no, I'm sorry, this video. No, 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 not the Sonic 2 comic, sorry, this video. Friends, Hi, and Zach. encourages her readers to love themselves for who they are. The next nice episode features a prologue set in the middle of a fight scene between Christian Sonichu and the Sonichu form of Reldneck, as Christian monologues about love and hate. The story then goes back in time to reflect on the events which led up to the fight. Episode 26, Prideful, is set during the first annual SLGBTQ Pride Festival of Quakeville. At one of the stalls, Angelica Rosechu meets one no, Dennis it doesn't Steckel, mean, we don't even get to that part. There's to still, the still just in this year right who here. had donated $1,000 to Christine to further the production of the Sonichu comics. You know, it's because she it's a very Mr. detailed Steckel for his documentary, not exactly to the town's yeah. soup hotels. So it Meanwhile, doesn't in park, uh, include most Christine, of the Christine, her twin sister Crystal, and other main characters are having a picnic and chatting on the grass. Gradually, more and more main characters appear and join them. Heather Iglesias, the nanny, brings over Christine's self-conceived Sonichu children, Russell and Cynthia, oh, and they briefly you. embrace. Next, more characters enter the scene, including Patty, Bionic, and Megaji. Then, Reldneck also shows up, shocked that Chris had turned into a woman since the last time they saw each other. The villain explains Maybe, that when he Shinobi. was changed Maybe. back into Nate Cirk and was reunited with Kel, they started hanging out again and joining Pokemon tournaments. However, after some time, Naturk became fascinated with men again and could not stop thinking about being more powerful as Reldneck. Then one day, he found himself changed back into Reldneck Natsu Naturk, though he could not achieve his previous Sonichu wow. form anymore. He left a note wow? for Kel, stole a motorcycle, and made his way back to Quickville. He didn't know where Chris lived, so decided to attend the Pride Fest. Uh. Sushi, thank you so much for taking your folks on tour. Hello, tourists. My name is Leva. I love to travel when I'm just trying. 
my fucking best. We are on the... Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, sorry. I had I felt that one. Uh, it is no, 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 no. Uh, uh, how was Genshin Impact? Also, um, sorry, tourists, you did come in to the last part of the Christian a comprehensive history stream or er, episode. Yeah, yeah. We're on the last Christian episode, so good luck. But hello, tourists. Hope you enjoy your time here. How am I doing today? You know, I spent the last like six hours watching Christian. So I'm, I'm dying. But we're almost there. We're almost there. Uh. Festival because he thought Chris would go there to fulfill mayoral duties. Reldneck the goes on to complain stretch, to Chris to her stretch. face via a near full page of text, calling her homophobic because she had wanted to cure his gayness. He yells that Chris would not work because she is afraid of being fired. She hid behind signs while looking for women. Oh, thank you for the Looked picture, like a posture, perverted Kenza. freak. Appreciate was it. incredibly introverted. Let herself get blackmailed and deceived many times by those she called trolling stupid and would not work for herself while she remained stuck in her supposed depression and naive shell. Christine counters his arguments in a similarly constructed page of text annotating that this was in reference to Chris and Roldneck being mirror opposites of each other. Does she already she leave? She admits How that she Genshin? used to be naive and depressed for a long time, but has matured mentally and emotionally since then. She notifies him that she became more accepting, kind, and understanding ever since she came out as a lesbian trans woman, and that she is very needed at home. Christine apologizes for forcing Roldneck into becoming something he was not. To be he fair, my handwriting is not any better, and commences honestly. to feel neutral towards her. He then leaves the group amicably to eat a relish dog with mayonnaise, when suddenly, he seemingly enters a pocket dimension and disappears from sight. Magichan appears to tell the group that Reldneck's aura had vanished, and suspected their arch-nemesis Count Graduan pulled him into a void to re-enlist him for his services, and predicts that an attack would soon fall upon everyone attending the festival. In the void, oh, Graduan, okay. while still constructing a body for himself from spare parts found on the moon, tells Roldneck that he could give him back his hatred and powers if he were to serve Graduan again. Roldneck accepts the offer. Meanwhile, Christine puts the festivities on hold as her and the Sonichu is ready for battle. She also reveals that she is in the possession of a subspace cube, which could be used. Yeah, if you want some more information about the timer on the top left, um, you can go ahead and just read that. It's about my uncapped subathon. Used to send people into a subspace or an interdimensional void of suspended animation where individuals, such as Jerkops, could be sent and could not be called upon by Graduan to act for him as he wished. Magichan announces to all the festival goers that an army of Jerkops was approaching as Graduan transforms Reldneck into Reldneck Hotak Sonichu and orders him to lead the troops into battle. I, I just can't right then, now. Christine Christian has is a future vision of her half-brother, Cole Smithy, sneaking up behind her and knocking her out. It's Christine's okay, positive. I do, get sleep. I do get sleep. As they both cry out, electric hedgehog power and transform into their respective Sonichu forms. Christian Sonichu and Crystalina Rosechu. Together, they are known as Christian Pure. Natsurk shows up to reflect how he had soul-searched to find his true self, one filled with hatred, and acquires an Xbox Life achievement for fully finding himself. He transforms into a Sonichu form and unleashes an army of Jerkops and those Thank possessed you. by Graduan onto uh, the heroes. Christian dodges like an attack like, from I, her Graduan-possessed half-brother, so Cole really Smithy, can't even, and then like, pay knocks him out. So hard. Upon realizing that it was in fact her half-brother she had knocked unconscious, she sends Cole into the subspace, where he would be safe from Graduan's influence. Reldneck pulls Christian Sonichu into a void, where they fight the fight that was previously seen in the opening pages of the episode. What the fuck? Meanwhile, the Sonichu- What the fuck? That's weird. No, it is not 525 in California. It's 1025. That's weird. Choose, Rose Choose, and citizens of Quickville fight back against the onslaught of foes. Thank you After for the patties, I appreciate many it. Many of the enemies are knocked out, while others are sent into the subspace for their own protection. 
Then, wow, that's weird. Christian transforms back into Christine and steps out of Reldneck's different dimension, carrying an unconscious Reldneck in her arms. While updating her citizens on what had transpired, Reldneck disappears from Chris's arms. The episode concludes with Magichan, Silvana, and Chris confirming that their new subspace cube is effective. As a bonus, the <laughs> next two pages reflect on Chris's real life transformation into womanhood. I think I have she the shows wrong command that when he started it, wearing skirts in 2010, his father was vehemently against it, while his mother was hesitant. Before his passing, Bob told Chris that he accepted him for who he was and told Barbara that he loved her. Oh. Chris's mother grew more accepting of his changes through the years, up to and including 2014, when Chris formally made the transition into a lesbian trans woman. She recalls that in her past life, she was a lesbian who had attended the Woodstock Music Festival in 1969. During her transition, Christine acknowledged that she had been naive and homophobic in the past, but had since changed and had become more accepting and now feels more positive, confident, and happy with herself. The final story, episode 24, part 2, The Clip Show, is a continuation of the conclusion of issue 11, where Sonichu and Silvana, theoretically playing the part of Sonic the Hedgehog, discuss past events. Sonichu goes on to talk about his and Roshu's wedding in 2007, which features an event that was inspired by a moment Moore, from a Sonichu so fan it's comic really so by John Crayon. Despite several nervous episodes and misunderstandings, Sonichu and Roshu get married. Sonichu then moves on to discuss a later event, which starts with Roshu, who after shopping at the mall, falls down a flight of stairs and is not able to get up. At Franklin Chandler Hospital, it is revealed that she had broken both of her legs and is to stay at the hospital for two weeks. During this time, she enjoys a lot of food from the downstairs cafeteria and by the time she has to go home, Roshu discovers that she had put on some weight. On the first night back home, Sonichu and his children cook up a large feast which Roshu uncontrollably gorges down and develops this, I think, is like a large pot belly right instantly. Now? While she goes upstairs for a shower, Sonichu gives Roberta money to buy a pizza for herself and her sisters while he goes well, up to have a serious 20, talk I'm sorry, with his not 2014. Wife. This is 20... While squeezing into her pajamas, Roshu states that she feels yeah. great after her stay at the hospital and does not apparently Thank notice you. that she had gained weight. Sonichu adds that while he was waiting for Roshu, Roberta offered him two slices of their large supreme pizza with spinach and pineapple, which was very good and filling. So he pokes belly. Roshu then breaks down crying admitting that she is disappointed is with herself episode. because she had We're gained all that weight. Sonichu comforts her by saying that he still loves her, Remember, no matter how her appearance a, uh, may change. He then embraces the her fat belly and comments how very, comfortable very it feels, resting his head on it. The money next for. morning, Sarah meets her mother and, and is shocked by her appearance. Fun, Sarah makes a joke about Roshu looking pregnant to lighten the mood. Sarah becomes distraught because Roshu is only <laughs> concerned with eating. She becomes unwell. So Roberta records a video of Sarah explaining that she feels she is unable to function because their mother is big like Godzilla. Feeling angry, she walks away, debating on whether to punch her what punching bag or eat a cupcake out what of frustration. As time went on, Rosechu gets bigger, and so does her daughter, Sarah. Then, on the night of May 1st, 2009, Sonichu has a dream in which he is transported to the opening of a reddish cave by Count Graduon who informs him that he has kidnapped Christine Weston Chandler and Rosechu, and Sonichu must pass through three challenges in order to reach and rescue them. First, he must cross a green river of a mystery liquid and would discover what it is by throwing a nearby cucumber into it as instructed. Upon doing so, Sonichu realizes that it is in fact a pickled brine river through which he must swim. Oh my god! As he through this the brine, his body swells and he begins to fatten. <laughs> He finally reaches the end and climbs oh. out, appearing to oh. be greatly overweight. His next challenge is to climb through a tunnel, which would progressively get narrower as he climbs. Does. Sonichu enters, and the slime at the bottom of the tunnel helps to turn him back into his normal physique, and he squeezes through the rest of it, up to the opening at the top. He is met with two doors, behind each of which are two rooms which are on fire. One contains Christine Chandler, and the other, Rosechu and Sonichu must decide to only save one. After contemplation, he chooses to save Rosechu. 
As he enters, he finds her in the middle of punching a hole through the wall into the other room, through which Christine Thanks, climbs Kenta. through, Bye. and all Have three exit to safety. After a loving hug, Christine and Rosechu fuse together and become the overweight form of Rosechu, who falls onto Sonichu, crushing him. Sonichu then wakes up in bed on top of Rosechu and confesses his dream. Rosechu reveals that despite enjoying indulging herself, she prefers a more active lifestyle and wishes to lose her weight. She teams up with Sarah and they both proceed to train and exercise to eventually burn off their excess weight. Thusly Sonichu concludes his reminiscing to Sonic, and then the men meet up again with their partners, Rosechu and Amy Rose respectively, and part ways. In a behind the scenes epilogue, Silvana changes back from her Sonic disguise, while it is revealed that a shape-shifting Pokemon called Ditto played the part of Amy Rose in the episode. In a further epilogue, DJ Jamsta Sonichu and Elisa Rosechu sing the song Love is Love, Not You've Been Pwned. On October 17th, Christine published the cover art for the upcoming comic book, Sonichu Issue 15, which was a recreation of the cover for Issue 0, with the original Christian form replaced with her current Christine iteration. She promised the issue would be somewhat of a recreation of the first three episodes, except with more details, commentary, and dialogue from the characters. On Twitter, Chris reflected that when comparing the artwork of the covers for issues Welcome 0 back, and 15, Razor. she found that her art style had improved quite well. Also on that day, she made a YouTube video detailing how to make one of her Sonichu medallions. Captain's log, star date 1018 I'm suffering. 1017-2017. Do I have to do that every time? Because I have the sea log and the date written in the type typed in the title of this video. The reason I am making this video today is for the fans, definitely for the fans. But also, I want to make make it perfectly clear that this video is not to instigate anybody looking to make fake or quote unquote fake. <laughs> medallions. Lane. I mean, because I oh pretty God. much have gone out of the market of making them myself. Um, model magic. You will need some white model magic. Oh shit. And let's we can see. Make one now? You're gonna need some crazy glue. You can buy two pack, a pack of two. We can of make crazy some of glue our own. at any family dollar store for like a. I think it was like two. It's like three or four dollars. And of course, you'll need paint brushes, so write go ahead down, and get yourself an assortment pack so you can Bye, have, Razor, have a, good a one. large one Thank to you. cover large services or thin ones to cover these detailed thin areas. And of course, you'll need acrylic paints. These are obtainable at uh, any craft store or Walmart. Did everybody Pretty bring the craft? Products. Come on! All right, so... Uh, does anybody have I'll, extra crazy glue? I ran this out. Up later. But anyway, okay, bye. this is the main, the one. full head of the medallion. That's a big part. That's for the spikes. You're gonna end up making four of those. That's the muzzle oh mouth area. Uh. This is the nose. Uh, pretty much the diameter of the nose and the length of the nose. And this is an ear. You're gonna make two ears. Okay. <sighs> she goes through the process of crafting the medallion out of clay. And I think that's about it, so don't forget this and that the other oh my thing. God, we have to figure it do out. Do this, do that. Gino skipped like, it. Subscribe. Everything. Send money. Because we need to hire people and gotta pay bills. Ain't free. <laughs> so I think that's about it, so <laughs> You can also follow me on Twitter and Facebook. You know where they are. So, everybody have a great and safe day. Be geek. Be proud. FOM! <laughs> of course it is, hopeful. Of course it is. <laughs> M go. Shitty. Shitty, shitty person. Have a good day. Be safe. Be good. It was also on that day 
that Chris released a video which was largely a reenactment of a viral 2010 video made by YouTube personality, Copper Cab in which he rants about the claim made by the adult cartoon series South Park oh my God. of people with ginger hair not having souls. Gingers have souls. Oh my God, I remember and, this. Uh, concerning what he had said back then in response to a certain episode of South Park. But yeah, it's like, th I can totally relate to this. I mean, you can put this against anybody really, anybody who's being discriminated against in minority, including anybody in the, S in the LGBTQ, or hell, might even say blue hair, blue greenish hair, whatever, but still, anyway, I can relate, I can empathize, so, again, this is a reenactment, his words, not mine, but I'm gonna, but just pretend for the moment, my hair would be red, and I have, and pretend I have freckles, like oh Apple Oh my god, Jack. this is, wait. Fuck mm. you, bitches. Fuck you. Bitches, you. Jesus For Christ. real. You get sick and tired of everybody making fun of red hair people. What are, what are they doing? What are they doing? She's ginger. She's ginger. She's ginger. <laughs> yeah. Really. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to call ginger ginger every day, every single day at school. Every day of my You're life. Right. None of this matters. We're almost there. We're almost I've there. I've got to buy suicide. All sorts of things. It pisses me off. Ginger people do have souls. All right. I'm red hair. I'm red hair. Got red hair. I'm proud of it. All right. In response to this, Copper Cab, shortly after, released his recreation of the video Chris had made for the Parappa the Rapper song oh competition God. in 2007. Hey, P Station. My name is Christian Chandler. I live in Atlanta. Wait, so is this the original, like, Ginger Kid guy? Or, or who is this? Oh, it is. I'm in Georgia. I have a PSP. I like to rap. I play for rapper. And go with him now. The only song I know is Master Onion, which I got from a demo I borrowed from my friend Cameron. This was soon followed by an interview video with Christine, hosted by Copper Cab and his friend and video editor, Cameron Oh, what the fuck? The what the fuck? Pretend to start. Okay, hello everybody. Welcome. Hello. <laughs> hello. Welcome Thanks, to this Hellshawn. special Bye, interview hung, we've well. got with Christine. Thank you. Have a good lunch. And Copper Christine. Cab. This isn't just Christine. This is an internet legend. This, this is, is. an internet figure. I mean, come on. This is Chris. This is Christine Christian Weston Chandler, the this creator is. of Roman Roast You, the greatest fucking comic book <laughs> on the internet that ever came, like in the internet. Like, this is amazing. This is a huge deal. They discuss the origin it's of the Sonic like, yeah, comics, at this moment, the house it fire, literally is and her like, struggles with Chris exploring is, is her identity within the household. Thing. I'm curious. You handle it so well. You <laughs> know, so just like, is how did Barbara? Center? Does she support We all know who it is. Uh, what are yeah, you my talking mom about? Was a bit put off at first. Um, I think it was kind of like a sudden. I kind of slid into Fuck, it. What's his name? I know exactly which I'd one it is. God which, damn it. Uh, years before I figured myself out and realized that I was. Female soul was. I started well, yeah. I started wearing. Hold uh, on, hold on. Sport, I started wearing sports bras, and uh, I also definitely swapped to. I definitely changed my underwear, yeah. and uh, and then I started wearing skirts, and I felt more comfortable in the skirts. And now, and that was when my no, father no, was still no, alive. Not deal. But then after he passed on, I started wearing skirts and dresses more often. Yeah, and so it's, 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 it's just kind of like a visually, it was kind of like easing in before I finally did come out in June or July 2014. And my mother was actually, Hold on, I'm figuring my mother it out. was actually quite supportive about that. My, my father was like, Oh, you boy, you don't wear a skirt. Now go put your pants on. Yeah. I was going to ask, how, how do you think he would be? Like, is he supportive of that stuff or is he not as um, accepted? Or was well, he not? Well, I don't know about part I, I, eight, but much hold on. His uh, deathbed, his lo his uh, last words to me, Dad, it's he loved me and he accepted me for 
who I am no matter what. That's, That's good. good. They move on to other topics, such as the trolls, South Park, Yeah, he kind of reminds me of Moody Blues, a little, but yeah, there's definitely better JoJo stands. Those would become my theoretical exes, but they turned out to be the trolls among which pretend It's fine, it's fine. I mean, I thought, and then I looked up Moody Blues, and it's not too much like them, so it's okay. They were not sincere. They were trolling me for a prank. They trolled me to blackmail and deception, and it was just a whole big bunch of horrible oh, messes. Christine, I know they got the, one of them got the original medallion. Oh, yeah. Horrible. I don't know. How, do you have PTSD from any of that? Oh! The video suddenly concludes with a promise no, to upload no, the continuation not Yoshi, Yoshi, of the interview, the person, not the but stand. it was never released. On October 19th, Christine reflected on Facebook that a woman right for her should be prepared to handle Chris's trolls. But for the moment, she felt that she was fully capable of being happy with herself by herself. Oh, On the 20th, wow! It Chris only took like, what, 38 years? If anyone years? wanted to interview her, they could pay her and discuss the details by emailing sonatumanager at gmail.com, an email run by her so called associates. A day later, she did another interview, this time live on YouTube. Hosted by Sachmo, the creator of the Christian documentary. The interview oh, the has since one. been made oh, private, Sachimo. and no copy of it is thought to exist, though it can be gathered through discussions regarding it on Kiwi Farms that Chris revealed that she was using Estradio and Spironolactone, gender transitioning medication. The interview was widely panned by forum members for being boring and seen as an attempt by Sachmo to generate more attention by interacting with Christine. The next day, Chris addressed on Facebook a recent interview question regarding the most influential person in her life. Aside from her parents, she felt that it was her Providence middle school teacher, Virginia Sanford, that was a really nice for one. she was strong-minded and willed, and had encouraged Chris to be more confident and positively pushed her to do better and be herself as an individual To be fair, person. a lot of people do, like, on October get 24th, paid to do interviews. Chris announced on Patreon that she was working on Sonichu-themed Christmas cards, which would be made available from her Redbubble merchandise store. On October 25th, Joshua Wise, a man who had previously commissioned Chris to make a drawing, made contact again with her under the name John Yamada, Whoa. claiming to be a soldier from game industry, the main setting in the Japanese game and anime series Hyperdimension Neptunia, a franchise which is influenced by existing rivaling video game consoles and loosely symbolizes their war for success. Wise asked Chris if she was still in possession of her old Sega Dreamcast console which, according to him, could hold a portal within that could actually transport Chris to her city of Quickville. From here, Joshua commenced a long campaign of trickery and deception with Christine, influencing her thoughts and creative process by convincing her of alternate dimensions via the use of online role-playing as varying characters through constant messaging and the oh sending God. of edited photos and audio clips. Oh God. One such early clip, known as Red Forest, was purported to have been recorded by Wise's character, John Yamada, in the forests of Chernobyl while on the search for magical artifact, referencing the video game series Stalker. The recording was, in fact, a collage of audio effects and sound bites taken from a wide range of sources and features the voices of Hyperdimension Neptunia characters Nepgear, IF, and Neptune. While walking through the forest, they get ambushed by Akan, a Russian antagonist from the action film Hardcore Henry. Is this just really this good editing? What the fuck is that happening? That Neptunia characters could travel to her real life dimension. A later publicly unreleased sound file created by Wise featured fuck? edited clips of audio from one of Christine's past interviews which made Chris think that it was a recording of her alternate dimension self oh speaking God. to the people of Quickville. Joshua Wise later Shut confessed up, that his initial goal was to simply mess with Chris and perhaps speed up the output of the Sonichu comics by influencing how the story developed. Jesus Christ. On October 27th, in a forum post, Chris's Facebook friend, I'm William there, Elliot guys, Waterman's there. friend, like informed more other minutes, readers more that minutes. Waterman had suggested to Chris to donate some of her Patreon earnings to charity. Chris said that she would take that suggestion under advisement. 
She also had relinquished control of her profile on an unnamed dating site, feeling tired from having to deal with trolls, and gave William her login details so he could manage it on her behalf. The next day, she updated her Facebook profile photo to a picture of herself, holding up a page from her latest Sonichu issue, depicting Jamsta and Lolisa's duet, which was barely captured at the edge of the photo. On the final day of October, Chris notified her patrons that she was having some me time due to some mental quandaries, which caused a delay in uploads of new Sonichu pages. On November 4th, Christine updated her patrons with new Sonichu pages, telling them that they were delayed due to many unforeseen events over the past couple of weeks, and that she would be working on a very significant commission piece, which was claimed to have not been paid for by a mystery sweetheart to dispel Isn't rumors. Isn't still like a... Don't they also still have that day, orders that they have Chris to do based off her of like the eBay and the to buy the PlayStation 4 game Hyper Dimension Neptunia because the world of game industry and goddesses needed their help. On the 6th, Chris uploaded two new drawings and a Facebook post detailing a supposed power struggle occurring in Quickville, after hearing about it from Joshua Wise. I can't explain as much with just these two drawings, but there was a reason why I asked y'all to share your shares stream? with Wasn't the that goddesses of Neptunia. Like, there recently have been troubles from the, the foes of, of game <laughs> industry, and some of them have invaded my city of Quickville. They hit us big, with Graduon and crew, last Saturday afternoon. I have had to personally astral project and share my power with Christine there. Plus, Uzume was with us in Seoul. What the I will fuck? tell more with what more visuals fuck? in two days on here. But it is crucial that everyone in this reality and world put their love and shares to Neptune, Blanc, Noir, and Vert, so we can take out our mutual enemies and prevent our realities and dimensions from clashing, or even much worse. We all thank you for your support. Wow, well, I can't believe Marvel's In the replies to her post, off of fucking Jessica Chris. Quinn returned to simply write, What? In confusion. Surprised by her comment, Christine messaged Jessica to ask her to prove herself <laughs> by sending via text message what? a picture of herself with a piece of paper of the current date, after which point <laughs> they would meet in person, with a chance of Chris changing her Facebook relationship status afterwards. Oh, Jessica did not agree to the offer letting her know that she was only reaching out in friendship because she could not handle the trolls. Christine accepted her words of friendship with understanding. What was that day, not part? That was definitely part of it, okay? We're all, we all, we're all the thinking profile it. profile she used to play Xbox games, revealing that she had, in fact, purchased an Xbox One game console. It was also on that day that the new Sonic the Hedgehog game, Sonic Forces, was released. Chris quickly purchased the PS4 version. The game featured a mode where players could custom create playable characters, and Chris used this feature to attempt to design Sonichu. Upon creating the character, she shared her attempt with the troll playing the part of Arthur Spatchcock via the screen sharing feature. Oh my god, Arthur's play. still in this? Spatchcock recorded Chris's showcase. Chris shared her design effort over Twitter and asked that someone with good programming skills make and send her a better version of Sonichu. She would later buy the game for the Nintendo Switch and the Xbox One consoles. On November 8th, Chris wrote a lengthy Facebook post to elaborate on what has been happening in her life, convinced that it was all true from constant interactions with Joshua Wise role-playing as various characters. Hi? She reminisced that a couple of weeks ago, Around the time Wise made first no, contact, I, I, I wouldn't think any less of you, no. had teleported into her room to scan her Sega Dreamcast console and found it but to I contain sure hope dormant it's good. power. <laughs> Chris charged it for a full day and then placed her hand upon it, opened her third eye, Who am I and to claimed judge, really? that an immense surge but I don't know of power why you would want to just eat it with her. ketchup. She realized Maybe a butter? that she I don't had know. allegedly been possessed by Uzume, a CPU, or goddess, from Hyperdimension Neptunia. Wait a minute, is this... Ever since that time, Uzume had been oh! in Chris's body and could apparently take Hi? control and speak through Chris's mouth. What followed was a brief account of interdimensional travel carried out by Silvana, Magichan, and Chris herself, apparently meeting with the other CPUs of the Neptunia universe. Okay, I'll, I'll tackle because this Because of their tomorrow. generosity, I'll, I'll see Christine you later, acquired I'll have to tackle the powers that of five goddesses. She then recounted the struggles against Uzume's evil twin, Kurome 
fighting the people of the city of Quickville and the state of Virginia. This was followed by a brief account of an outing to the End Games card game store, while accompanied by Discord, a dragon-like character from Discord, I hear it! Chris had asked one of her friends there if she could see Discord, but she did not. Suffice to say, from personal experiences from the past two weeks, it is all real! Please, do heed my words and take advantage of my sound advice of helping power up our goddesses. You don't have to do much. Playing the Hyper Dimension Neptunia games, watching the of anime, course, and so forth is well side, and huh? good. But all you really need to do well, is think of them positively. Me at, like, they are a needed good seven force, hours of watching and they can't help Chris us Tom, if so we I'm don't very... help them. I sure as sugar am helping them uh, out. Gone. <laughs> Please, follow our lead. Thank I'll always you. be on your side, Sincerely though. and love, Miss Christine Weston Chandler. On November 12th, PewDiePie, the largest creator on YouTube, published a video offering up a short history of Chris Chan and their internet infamy, oh, eventually damn. acquiring millions of views. Oh, jeez. Oh my god! There's other fake girlfriends appearing. Ivy say Saga as well. Hi, Ivy. I love you. Mm, I can't stop thinking about you. Listen, everyone. This girl is my new girlfriend. You all best be nice to her. Wow. Or I will wow. seriously see This is funny because just earlier here. Chris was mentioning funny. PewDiePie too. I dedicate this music video to Ivy. Also, in addition to, if anyone messes up this relationship, if anyone messes up Ivy, period, I swear to God and Jesus that I will cease drawing my comics. Where have all the good men gone and where are all the gods? He even uh, included uh, Ivy in his uh, uh, yeah, Sonic yeah. 2 series, uh, 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 taking off his famous sweater in the sunset. Uh, Ivy. Uh, Afterwards, Christine tweeted at PewDiePie, asking him to direct message her. Oh my god, please. No conversation between the two is thought to have occurred. <gasps> PewDiePie has since made his video on Chris private, though other re-uploads are still viewable on the site. Uh... On November 13th, Christine explained via a lengthy Facebook post well, that she had not been possessed by Uzume from Hyperdimension Neptunia, but rather a clone of her. It was also on this day that Chris started fulfilling paid video requests on YouTube again. First was a performance of the song I Dreamed a Dream from the musical <laughs> Les Miserables. This was soon followed by a cover of the song Sorry Not Sorry by Demi Lovato. Oh, I think I do know a little bit of it. On November 14th, Chris was convinced by Joshua Wise that Silvana Rostu <gasps> had been kidnapped by Akan, the Russian villain. Fortunately, oh she was God, told that a so-called <laughs> rescue mission, codenamed Operation Barbarossa, was in place to this save her. On Facebook, Chris posted a photo of the apparent soldier who would be saving Silvana, who was in fact Novislav Jajic, a Serbian militant, and the still was taken from an infamous music video for the morale-boosting propaganda song Bogje Sirbini Onče Nas Čuvati, or what the? God is a Serb and he will protect oh, us. Damn? Commonly referred to online simply Gino as really Remove Kebab, made during the Yugoslav Wars of the 1990s. Do you know really pronounce that not perfectly? Aware of the shit. To further support the soldiers' efforts in rescuing Silvana, Wise encouraged Christine to make a freestyle dance video set to the music of Remove Kebab. People of the world, Christine Chandler coming to you from live from home, and the world is in great need of your services as well as my own. Most darling. So dance with me if you will to this lovely little polka. And put on a tinfoil hat to show that the man will not take over your mind. What the fuck? Mr. Ray will also suffice well. Ah! Uh Oh my god. 
This recent development made Kiwi Farms members suspect that someone was influencing her actions, though there was yet no evidence of such tampering. The next day, Chris was told by Joshua an elaborate story detailing the outcome of Operation Barbarossa, injected with references to cloakers, or enemies from the game Payday 2, and to concentration and extermination camps of Nazi Germany. She notified her followers of the news on Facebook. Operation Barbarossa was well and good. Silvana Rostu has been rescued. There was the battle of the war of our new common enemy that lasted the past couple of days. Also, after Silvana got captured, until the mutual foe is down for good this at least. So Count Graduan and Quickville's Christine Weston like, Chandler signed a peace treaty as Graduan offered from, his like, troops and services life. for the effort. Seriously. The fight was north this beyond Rutgersville, crazy. and the commander of the enemy waves were going to push the fight into Charlottesville. Thankfully, with the help of the Quick Defense, Army Division, my oh Autobots, my God, and end. my family, I can hear it. our the large group coming. kept this is the, the enemy back. This is the end, you guys. Then, Christine initiated a very smart operation. Final solution. There were cloakers and similar bad people of interest in Quickville, not counting Graduan and his crew. They rounded the cloakers and baddies up, and in a large plot of land, Graduan donated. A prison camp with great facilities for reforming the bad pawns to good people. Graduan donated a lot of land to build prison camps full of large ovens to keep the people warm, oh and even top-notch dentistry with well-trained oh doctors oh also running the clinic. The camps also have some of the best showers a prisoner can ask for, shower oh stalls God, with oh privacy walls. We all in Charlottesville, Rutgersville, all places to the north of us, and the people of Quickville can sleep more safely now. Your shares to the game industry goddesses really helped us in this battle. Thank you, everyone, for your love, this kindness, and this most generous disgusting. support. Please continue disgusting. to offer your shares to them for any and all other future conflicts, here on our world, and in all of the other worlds, realities, and dimensions. Have a great day, Earth. We've all helped make it more safe. With Wise seemingly no, in control no of Chris's thoughts, he established how easily convinced Christine could be of outlandish concepts if one were to indulge in her adventurous musings in cartoon realities and alternate dimensions. This was merely the beginning of an insidious cycle of trolling that would cause detrimental effects to her psyche for years to come. Oh my god. And now into, you know, my uncapped, we have watched 59 episodes of Chris Chan. I have both learned way too much and know absolutely nothing. It's... Oh my god. I... It's so crazy. It's literally I don't care. I don't care. I don't I don't care that that the story is still on. I don't care. I don't care. I did this. 
I did it. You guys did it. We did it. Babby, thank you so much for lurking. I don't care. We did it. We got to 59. And from from here on out, if there's more parts, then okay, so be it. I'll decide then. But I we, we finally did it. We said we would, and we finally fucking did it. And we finished 59 parts of Chris John, A Comprehensive History by Gino Samuel. We did it. part of this also i'm so sorry yeah so we're gonna we're i'm gonna wait until tomorrow to do the merryweather thing um firstly to make sure that you know we didn't get the doc oh, you know the docs is edited but also i have to be honest i am so drained i haven't been this drained yeah that's the last one so far so i have not been this drained in a long time in a long time Google Translate is now boarding. Welcome to Little Airlines. Hope you have a safe and enjoyable flight. Shinobi, thank you so much for lurking. I appreciate it. The Merryweather thing? Yeah. So Merryweather so wonderfully shared with us um, their the full podcast that they had uh, with with Chris. And and we'll hopefully we'll be able to take a look tomorrow. Yeah. Like I had seven hours of karaoke, but this is what did it in. How long is the podcast is actually like an hour or something. Thank you so much for lurking, you guys. Thank you, thank you. All right, so here's the deal. Here's the deal. I. Yeah, it's late and uh, we did this sober. And I think this is just a good time for a lot of people. I see everybody's already lurking, so it's it's fine, you know? This is not what I'm trying to find. Sorry. It's a, it's obviously earlier than, uh, well, actually not too much earlier. It's probably a little bit earlier than the first night. Yeah, Meriwether the Doggo VTuber, yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. I am going to go rest because... For, for obvious reasons, I'm going to go rest. Thank you so much for lurking. Um, also...